Mm. Okay. Mm. I think we're live again. Live? Are we live, everybody? If we're live, I have something important to share with the class. Well, it's going to take a second, I guess, for people to get back in. Mm. Um, mm. So hold on. Let me. I guess I have to check if we're live. So let me do this. Also, I can hear like an ambulance or something. Your channel. Okay, here I'm we go. Share with the class. Well, it's gonna take a second, I guess, for people to get. All right. Well, there is a. I'm oh, sorry. All the things are happening right now. All right. So Quest Quest says we're live. That's good. So that's at least one person who can actually hear us. Um, I gotta... All right. So we're live. Welcome everybody. The 24-hour stream just now starts at 12:50. <laughs> um <laughs> yep all right so we're back i think we're officially back everything is good uh so people will probably start trickling in again welcome back yep here we go yes you're live hello we lit audio good all right everything is back i don't know Ooh. where we left off with but we, oh okay, i was talking um, about cam's revenge tour um because you went on to top both events that weekend that were in real life and the competition was definitely stiff yeah so congratulations to you on that. But that just, you know, I just want to make sure that people know that, again, playing for content and playing actually, in, especially in real life, is just way different. Like, there are two different things entirely. Uh, I don't know. And, like, to some extent, like, uh, you know, I don't consider myself, like, some, you know, absolutely insane player. Like, no, no I'm not, like, some legendary guy or anything like that. But, like... Yeah, Who is? yeah. They don't, they don't play for content. They don't record their games. They don't talk to other people they play. Yeah, and they don't, you know, think like how to be entertaining while also winning a duel and stuff. It's like right. that's the and, thing. Like, don't let it get to you. You know, I know that's hard. It's easier said than done. But right, yeah. this happens with everything. Like, I'll, I'll just use Smash as an example because it's probably the thing I'm most familiar with. But it's so fucking often that the con the chat, the the even the commentators. They're watching two amazing, like, two people playing that are better than everyone else in the fucking world, better than the thousand people in chat, better than the commentators. And they're like, why did he do that there? He should have done this. And it's like, you're sitting down <laughs> eating Doritos. Like, <laughs> like, you, in order to judge, and these are like people playing, like, people always say, like, oh, he did the wrong play there. He did the wrong this there. It's like, you're eating fucking Doritos. There's a reason why you're not in grand finals with Mango and Armada. Why they gotta be eating Doritos? <laughs> That's what they're doing. Because know why they're eating Doritos? It's to show how not ready their hands are to even play at that level. <laughs> like they can't hold a fucking contr a controller with all the Dorito dust. So anyway, that just always happens. When especially the better you get and the more you play, I feel like online for people to see, the more people that are gonna say like, "Oh, this ha this person's actually a scrub. This that person's actually really bad. He's this. He's that." And they're gonna just talk shit on you. And it's like, you're not making content. You're not topping any of these tournaments. You're eating fucking Doritos. It's really hard to make content and also perform at a high level, in my opinion, because it's very time consuming. And the two things are kind of at odds with each other. Just speaking from, I guess, me and Cam's perspective, it's like content people like a lot of casual stuff, right? Yeah. And we're competitive and we like just basically the S tier stuff. And we might fiddle around with like an A tier or a quick draw deck or something like that. But, but for the most part, like, you know, you're playing Diva Hero Beat and you're out there topping tournaments. You're playing Diva Frogs and you're out here topping tournaments. Those are all S tier decks. That's the competitive yeah. stuff. That doesn't exactly appeal to a broad audience of people as 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 relative to what appeals to the casuals. Um, but even so, like all that said, the technical play that's required to use like some of these S tier decks and stuff, it's it's a lot. And when you use any of your brain's bandwidth to talk and explain yourself maybe even argue with someone over a play it takes it takes you out of it a bit like it, it really takes you out of it so oh and uh, fraser will argue with you about a play yeah <laughs> and he will <laughs> um yeah. pro storm pro storm has said like if i'm not distracted i'm like a top five player and i think he i don't think he's like off base because like when so i play either. in person i don't have discord i don't have someone talking in my ear you know like a lot of times like i lost a war league match um not not a match. I lost a, I lost game two of a war league match because I went in Discord and said, "Why can't I draw any of my side cards?" And then I forgot to set a fossil diamond. 
Oh, wow. Like I literally lost the game because I was com- because I went I just opened Discord to complain that I couldn't draw like a pulling the rug, and I drew a fossil dino and then I said it. it didn't I, and I forgot to set it and he had enemy controller to kill me and I was like man. <laughs> Maybe like so, like, that. the fact that I distracted myself into losing even one game, I can't do that in person. Yes. That, that's enough. So, uh, Snag brought up an interesting point here that I talk about as well. I always say I'm, like, top two players in the entire game if I'm commentating or spectating because there's no, <laughs> right. there's, there's no pressure on me at all, right? When you're spectating, like, you know everything. You don't have the... All the things that go into a person's mind as they're playing the game out slowly, as they're, as they're living through the storyline of the game, because every game is a story, you don't experience any of that. You just mm-hmm. kind of right. sit there, like Kenny said, eating fucking Doritos. <laughs> you have no stakes. You have no skin in the game, right? You have no stakes. And we're going to watch some of these RBET top eight matches after this podcast. But like, you have no skin in it. And it's easy to make decisions that are risky or you know, oh, you just got to go for it here. You just got to, you got to say, F yeah, for it. it's like, like, it's easy to say that when you are not the person who, if they lose, they're out the tournament. Yeah. So, you know, arm, a little armchair commentary, but yeah, snack said, I know that when I'm commentating for DDV, I make a lot of boneheaded suggestions because I'm not anywhere near as focused on the gameplay as I would be if I were actually playing myself. And I agree with that. Like, and it, so that's the opposite end of the spectrum. It's like, you could say things that aren't necessarily good or correct because, again, you're not as into it as someone else, or you're. It's easier to be so honed in on every aspect of what you should yeah. be doing when you when you have no stakes. So it could go either way. Like in my opinion, or not in my opinion, from my perspective, I'm more correct at the game when I'm not playing it and I'm when, when I'm just observing. Like when Cairo, when a true hero plays against Stango, right? They play all the time, like literally all the fucking time. And they really do. They really play like, oh my god! Every time I open Discord, those two are in the group chat. They're dueling or whatever, and they're just going back and forth, and they're having a the time of their lives. But I'll watch the games and I'll be critiquing them. I don't know how either of them have time for a girlfriend. I don't either. It's like because they all they do is play Yu Gi Oh together. Yeah, they're in a, they're in a relationship with each other. If we're being honest, <laughs> like the amount the amount that those two play is crazy, and the amount that I spectate because I I enjoy people don't notice, but I actually don't enjoy playing Yu Gi Oh. Like I I prefer to be on the sidelines. I I like doing commentary. Of voyeur. Yes, I really am though. Like I I do not playing the game is way too stressful in my opinion. I prefer just watching talking about it and i did that for arg for a while too there was a period where i was spectating and commentating on events broadcasting and i like that like that that job to me is so fun because i'm i have the experience to like speak on it at a high level and i can analyze if somebody misplayed or whatever so that for me is really really fun and it, does, it doesn't feel as stressful as obviously playing and having stakes on you and the pressure of performing and all that you know all the stuff that goes into playing um but yeah again at the end of the day right like someone who's doing commentary or someone who is uh performing for content is not going to be at their tippy top tier shape when they're playing by themselves in person as we have to do in person every time we play so just to kind of get that out there and let's see miles greenwood said imagine you're at a ycs and your opponent just pulls out his phone and complains on discord (laughs) (laughs) i've had some moments actually where i in the middle of my match, this is before Discord, so again, oof, I'm old, but there were times where I would be in the top cut of a YCS, and my opponent would be taking, like, outrageously long, or there would be, like, something weird happening where a judge is talking to another judge, and they made us freeze play, and then we're just sitting there for, a, like, a scary amount of time where you start to wonder if somebody's about to get DQ'd, and I'll pull out my phone and just go on Facebook and be like, I don't know what's going on, but... My opponent's playing terrible, and I'm sitting here for 30 minutes. The judges told us to freeze play. I don't know what's happening. And then the judges will come back and be like, you guys can continue. And we don't even know what happened. We have no idea what that was about. Nothing even came of it. I end up winning and then going on. But, like, I'll pull out my phone. They don't really say anything. I think that you're not supposed to have your phone out at, you're not, at, at tournaments. Really. But, like, I, I think in those situations where, like, freeze play, they don't really care. I'll go and write statuses or whatever. It's, you know, who cares? I keep my phone on me to use a calculator because I don't want to carry around some. See, I don't like people like you. People who use their phone I'm, for calculators. I'm with Cameron. I I'm hate with that. Fucking nah, I dude. Hate when that. I do it, I, I I pick up my phone and I show that I'm on the calculator. Okay. app. So my 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 problem here's my problem because I'm such a I'm neuro- <laughs> I'm neurotic as fuck. I think in my head about every possible outcome, and I have played around so many scummy Yu-Gi-Oh players for a a huge chunk of my life. I can't help it. It's just the way my mind is set up. I naturally have a terrible 
I just think about things in a terrible way yeah. sometimes. No, I so, get you. so I know that there are players who use their phone as calculators and then they get text messages with someone's hand that shows, you know, it shows up as a notification. It goes up on the top of the screen, like he has Dark Hole or he has Blizzard or whatever, right? It comes across yeah. the screen real quick. And then they see it and they like might swipe it away or whatever. But like you sitting across the table can't see what that said, especially if you can't read upside down. Um, so stuff like that is just like really because even if you have it on your calculator app, like what you said, you can still get a notification that says like he has yeah, yeah. torrential set or whatever, right? Like, and and just the idea that that could happen makes me not want my opponents to use a phone to do anything. Like I don't want you to use a phone to do literally anything. Not to mention that phones are technically against the rules anyway. So like I'm right, not. Yeah. It's not like I I'm mean, making if I went to like a Konami event, I guess I would have to carry a calculator with me. Yeah, like... I just prefer that you use pen and paper or do what I do. I use a TI eighty three calculator. So it's like, I can't do anything on this thing that would be resembling um, cheating or whatever. Like, it's just a TI-83. So yeah, I hate phones, but that's my personal gripe. I understand that nine nine out of 10 people, maybe even higher than that, are not doing anything suspicious on their phone uh, when they're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! But like, again, I just have too many experiences <laughs> where... Yeah, I have too many experiences. So I think so, Kenny, to answer your question that you just asked me. I think we do. I think. Mm. Uh, I, mm. um, I see. I just wanted to give a quick... Quick, uh, I hate doing this. This is the thing that Kenny hates the most, by the way. That's why Frazier does all of this. I'm a terrible shill. <laughs> but I just want to real quick in the middle of this goddamn podcast do a quick shill real quick. Since we're streaming 24 hours live on YouTube, please like the fucking stream. Because if you like the stream, it might get more exposure and more people can watch it and see it and interact and talk shit. So like the stream. And then if you want, I think they're enabled. I don't really know because I don't stream on YouTube that often. I usually do it on Twitch. But I think we have Super Chats enabled. If you want to do that, you can do that too. Yeah, I think super chats are enabled. So if you guys want to show your support for the Amir podcast, we appreciate all the support. Um, and you can support as easy as just liking the stream, like Kenny yep. said, or you can do a super chat. And I guess that 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 kind of reads off to everybody. I think that's how that works. Like we I don't know. know. I, I'm yeah. I'm pretty inexperienced when it comes to streaming on YouTube. Okay. Specifically. So, so. to pivot from our shilling, uh somebody, Danny, Danny said thoughts on the one one ring in Magic the Gathering. So, yeah, Alex, I agree. We had more likes before the stream had to be reset, which really sucks because that audio issue, it does happen to me every once in a while and I have to like reset everything. So that might happen again throughout this 24 hours. I'm not sure. But uh, it only happens when I'm recording, I think, though. I think I've been in Discord calls for hours and hours and hours and hours and nothing goes wrong. And then specifically when I'm recording, it so, happens. Cam was telling me, I'm going to pull the curtain out. Fuck y'all. <laughs> um, Cam was like, by the way, every single time we record a, a video for YouTube, this happens. So Frazier's <laughs> video goes out, <laughs> Frazier's audio goes out. I don't know what it is. And then uh it's always Frazier too. I you know, you might just have there might be like some interaction in your computer that's not working correctly. Yeah. And like, I don't I, know. I don't know what it is. Yeah. What I what I need to do is the next time I'm recording and it's not this. I don't, I don't want to troubleshoot it like in this instance. Yeah, yeah, we, but, yeah. Yeah, but the next time it happens, I really need to take some time to try to fix it when it happens but all right i want to get back to this one one magic together and sort of one ring to rule them all i don't know if you guys know i probably told the story before but there is a set of magic that came out very recently and inside of it there is a one of one card that is the one ring to rule them all space on lord and rings obviously and basically whoever finds it and it's been found it just got found two days ago but whoever mm -hmm. finds it was guaranteed at least a million dollars if not more um so the person somebody did pack it officially but they were asking thoughts on that i think that that's insane i love the idea of stuff like that like this insanely rare collector's item that you can get for, you know and then you could be not rich because a million dollars in 2023 you're not rich but like you are definitely well off right you're very well off uh, yeah. depending on your age you can you can't live the rest of your life off of it unless you're super frugal i know kenny could because i could bro <laughs> a million dollars fraser said you're not rich and I just think that just shows how expensive Fraser's jeans are. <laughs> because a million dollars, Kenny is fucking rich. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. Austin said Magic players have way bigger pockets, clearly because Yu-Gi-Oh! had a one-of-one -one and it didn't sell for nearly as much. That Tyler the Great Warrior, I believe, is our most expensive card. Yeah, yeah. Magic's also got like much more of a cultural stake in America specifically. Also, and, Tyler the Great Warrior, his story is amazing, but like that's not the one ring to rule them all. All right, right yeah, yeah. that is true. <laughs> it's not the one ring to rule them all. But yeah, that is insane though. A million dollar card. I don't know what it actually sold for, Danny. If you know, you can put it in the chat. 
Um, but I think that it was at least a million dollars. So when he said Fraser's jeans, he meant J J E, uh, because I have some I have some jeans that are like six. Yeah, I meant, hold on. I meant the jeans that you buy in his. I didn't mean what the <laughs> fuck. I didn't mean that Fraser was jean splicing or some shit like that. Yeah, I mean it could be my jeans though, right? It could it could be my yeah, actual, yeah. genetically. My I have expensive jeans. My mom is a very expensive person. That's probably why I have it too. But I like expensive things. I can't help it. Uh, all right, so. Oh, you wanted to go back to K-pop a little bit, Kenny. I'll give you this this room to oh, talk. I mean, yeah, I just know that um, we talked a little bit about how, like, for example, uh, I guess I want to ask. I guess you didn't even get into K-pop music until the RuneScape thing, right? Because you said you did it yeah, ironically. Yeah, yeah it was like um, I, I, I listened to I a little bit, tell, but yeah, it was like you're not a thing. Yeah, so go ahead. Um, wait, what, what were you saying? Like, oh no, my, my bad. Yeah, I was just like talking over you a bit. I, I fucked up. But anyway, I was, yeah, so you started as it being ironic, and then I guess at some point you were like, I guess I'll listen to <laughs> to Jun Young's song, and um, you know, you put it on, and then and then apparently you can give like a top five list of the most technically sound K pop artists that ever lived or something. <laughs> like that. Um, I've listened to quite a bit. Uh, in my time, um, most so the majority of what I listen to music wise is like metal, like so. Whoa, drastically different. Dr- yeah, very. Um, yeah, so like that's... progressive metal, like um, like Carnival and like Dream Theater and stuff. Oh, Black I love metal. Dream Theater. Oh, I love Dream Theater, bro. <laughs> that is that is one of my absolute favorite groups, easily. <laughs> She's calling. Yeah, that's that's the normal stuff that I listen to. I'll surprisingly enough. Yeah. Um so like the so first So where did it all go wrong? Where did it all go? Okay, so um <clears throat> I don't play League of Legends, but my friend does. And he would send me League of Legends stuff every once in a while. And oh, they had this group I... KDA. Oh my god. That's that's where it went wrong for everyone. That's kill, where it went wrong. That's where, wrong. that's where it went wrong for everyone. KDA was so fucking popular all right go ahead is it kill yeah and so i get into that and then so i kept on saying kill deaf assholes for kda Not, and no one entertained me i like, just i was no ignoring one. i was just i was just gonna keep it going uh, okay, listen, just it go ahead go ahead okay i'm sorry i'm like trolling at this point okay okay so i get into i look up who the voices of akali and ari are and they're part of an, a korean group called idol and so i start listening to them I'm like wow these these are they're, they're insane this is like this is actually really good and the one who voices ari is me on which is the one that's in all my profile pictures and discord and billy book and stuff so um so like wow this is like this is nuts and then i hear about this group called Dreamcatcher, which has a lot of like rock inspired traits to it and i'm like Okay, so we got the K-pop, we got seven pretty girls, and we got rock music behind it. This is obviously the optimal combination. <laughs> 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 so, so that's so so between Idol and Dreamcatcher, and then like I just started listening to more and more, and like because like it would keep coming on YouTube recommendations, like like new groups that I'd never heard of, and I'll start listening to them. Like, like, no wonder people like this stuff. This is like this is better than American pop music. This is actually like, I. I, I and someone asked me why I like K-pop. I was like, listen, man, you know, you like regular pop music, right? He was like, yeah. I'm like, okay, so what's better than one pretty girl? 13 mm. pretty girls, okay? Mm. So so I'm like, okay, so this is obviously, you know, the superior music genre to to, to the American music that, that, that your plebeian palate just, just like... And but yeah, it's, but it started off pretty ironic, and then it's it's just a thing now. And, so I think you, you've already answered this question because this is funny. But I think you've already answered it. Do you listen yeah. to any boy K pop? Kid that boy K pop groups? Absolutely not. Absolutely, Absolutely not. And no one does. No one. <laughs> no, one no, does. no Americans do. I so like. Some, well, no, that's not true. Because that one group, I don't know their name. Uh, you probably know. I forget their. They're uh, They're somehow Black they're Pink? absurd. No, no. 
it's a boy K-pop group that is gigantic. BTS. BTS. They're gigantic oh, yeah. in America. Like, yeah, I like a few of their songs yeah. actually. Like, every once in a while, one comes on the radio. I'm like, yeah, it sounds pretty, sounds pretty I think decent. Like, are, I don't know why they plays on American radio, but I'm like, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that they're currently in the military or something like that. Yeah, yeah, they got drafted. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone has a mandatory. You have to serve in the military in Korea. I, and, uh, I don't know if that's true. Yeah, no, 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 it is true. Because I remember when I was really in the break dancing. For anybody that doesn't know, between the ages of like 15 and 23, I used to break dance. And at that time, um, there was a really big, and I'm, I'm sure there still is, there's a really big Korean scene in ba- break dancing. And yeah. there was this uh, guy named Hong Ten. Uh, he was a really big South Korean break dancer. And he was kind of like on top of the world for one point. Like, he's really big. He was in like some of the best groups. And then. A lot of people were getting like sad and talking about it because he had to basically put his career on hold as a break dancer because he had to go serve in the military. And um, and then, yeah, that's when I found out that like in South Korea, at least for all males, I'm assuming it's not true for females, but maybe that changed. I don't know. All males have a mandatory military service. They have to serve um, when they reach a certain age in South Korea. I couldn't do it. I am not the yeah, uh, military I, I'd guy. Be... I'd be defecting, you know, Liana. <laughs> yeah, it would be so bad if I was forced into military. I mean, I say that now. I don't know how bad or whatever it actually is, but my perception of it is not good. Like, just being yelled Most, at over and over and over again. Yeah, like, that's kind of the thing. Like, the whole boot camp type of thing. Like, most times, like, it's just, like, you, you like, hearing times of peace when it happens. Yeah. Like, Oh, yeah, so, I'm not worried about... I'm, I'm literally not going to war. So that's, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's like, not... It's, it's not even, like... That's not even on the it's, table. It's just, yeah, it's I, just wasn't like, really about, I wasn't even talking about. I wasn't even talking about fighting. <laughs> yeah. I was talking about literally just being in the military, like the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you That's start funny. talking about war, you got me fucked you up. You got me all the way. You fucked got up. me all the way fucked Crazy, up. Like, you want to know how fa- you want to see how fast I can lose a foot? <laughs> how fast you want to see how fast I can lose a foot? <laughs> First of all, I have asthma. Thankfully, like it's not all bad. Honestly, being being born Korea, being way. born with bad lungs is not all that bad. Somebody said, "Wiggle your finger." <laughs> Being born with bad lungs is not actually all that bad because you you can't serve in the military from what I understand. Like I'm too sickly to serve in the military. And honestly, I'm not mad at it because I'm, I'm low mad. key. I'm not really that sickly, but like on paper, I'm virtually paper. dying. Like I, mm. I got, I, I got asthma. I got eczema, which is like um, bad skin or like dry skin or whatever. Uh, well, let me, let me think. Oh, I got, I got bad allergies. I have terrible allergies. So I'm always like blowing my nose and stuff. So yeah, they wouldn't want me anyway. Like I would not. Yeah, I would give yeah, our same. position away because I'm always sniffling. That's awesome. Yeah. Also, they'd be able to. Oh my god, they'd be able to find the the American base camp because they would just follow a trail of tissues that <laughs> Fraser <laughs> leaves everywhere. Literally, and just follow him home. Speaking from actual experience right now, I was never been to his house. Ass Asthma gang unite. Yeah, Quest, you got that inhaler on you. But, um, y'all, y'all remember the iconic inhaler from Peter Chang, Me versus Peter? Y'all remember that, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. E- K-pop and not even just K-pop, but uh, other mu- music in general. I got into listening to like music where there's lyrics that I don't understand. Um, just well, that through anime. anime. An- yeah, I was about to say anime yeah. did that too. Like, us. there's so many anime openings where I'm like, oh my god, this song's fucking amazing. Like Death Note openings or Fire Force opening or um, Demon Slayer has some good openings. My Hero has a ton of good openings, and we can go on Naruto, One Piece, whatever. Um, yeah. Sure. Just great fucking openings, and that I think opened the door. That even opened my the door to my musical palette because when I was really young, I was basically like rap or nothing. Like I didn't like rock. I didn't like any genre of music that wasn't just straight up rap when right. I was really young. But at one point, I realized like, oh, I'm an asshole because there's all these am- anime openings that are just like rock music, like blatantly rock music. It's just a Japanese guy singing that I really like. That sound really good, and that opened my palette up to be- realize I'm like, oh, there's other just genres of music that i do like i'm just being stupid and um and yeah and that that goes into a bunch of other things i don't know a shit ton about k-pop you probably know more than me but my favorite group for anybody that's interested is mama moo i think they're awesome i like them they have some really good songs (laughs) um yeah they're really cool but i'm not as invested i just there's and let me ask you this are you able to listen to full albums i'm not a full album guy there's songs from these groups that i like and I'll like there's songs I like. I have a K-pop playlist on my YouTube music, and but I can't listen like even for groups I like, I can't put on an album and just listen to all the songs. I I, I mean my favorite genre of music is progressive metal. Like I have songs that are album like album length on their own. Like I'm I'm a full yeah. album guy. 
Yeah. I'm a full album guy for like different kinds of music. Like certain rap albums, especially if the rap album album has an entire theme and a story being told to it. Like I was obsessed with um the weekend Dawn FM. Oh my god. I was god. obsessed with that Love fucking it. album and I was able to listen to it front to back. It's over also and over a story, and over again. Though. I think that's a bit different, right? That's, like, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. if the album has a story and like it goes somewhere, listening to the full album I can really get into. Um but I can't do that for you know, just other random albums. Yeah, same. It's really hard. Um but okay, so it is one twelve, and what I'm thinking is we should wrap this one up. This can be a full episode that'll be released on the podcast once I edit the audio and all that stuff. But then we definitely have to have Cam back to continue this conversation because clearly we have oh, a lot yeah. to talk about and there's a lot of uh there's a lot of questions in chat and stuff like that. There's no like there this can go on until 5 p.m. and Cam has somewhere to be. So because of that, mm. we scheduled this to start at 11 a.m. and it's now like 1, you know, 1 oh. 13 or whatever. But yeah, yeah. we're definitely going to have you back, Cam. I mean, we're on the same team. We talk all the time. Uh, but this was a pleasure having you, man. I really enjoyed this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, whenever you want to like do a second run of this or whatever, I'm Yeah, I'm we'll do it without the, without the live stream. So that way, if we have any technical issues, they don't have to be just... broadcast in front of the world, you know. We can just work yeah, finally. Sure. Uh, yeah, well, and um, well, before yeah, we, we I mean, I feel like as much as we play you, yeah, we barely even scratch the surface. I mean, it's all we talked about for like the first hour. Yeah, but, like it's still I, something it feels like crazy. we barely. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. I also want to. You mentioned earlier that you got into you go through the you go anime. So, do you watch anime in general or no? Um, not. I don't watch any TV anymore in general. Um, mm. yeah, it's just I. The last anime I watched was, um, like, God, when did, um, when did Blue Exorcist come out? That was, that was a while ago. <laughs> ages ago. Yeah. It's was, straight up. Like, that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah. That was the last anime that I watched. It's like gotta be like, what, eight years or something. A long yeah. time. That's pretty cool. But yeah, yeah we'll, we'll dig up some things to talk about in the next one. And easily you guys can rant about. 700 different Yu-Gi-Oh things so <laughs> all right so before we get out of here i gotta do my patreon gotta give a shout out to everybody because this is technically a podcast episode so thank you for everyone who has subscribed to the i'm their podcast patreon if you are not please check it out you can show support with as little as three dollars for the lowest tier and then we have other tiers with all types of perks one of them includes dueling me no matter win or loss it will be posted on youtube uh you can also join the actual i'm their podcast and do an episode like we just did you saw I recorded with cam uh, we have that as an option as well. And we have other stuff like exclusive episodes that drop every single month that are only on Patreon. So again, check all of that stuff out on I'm their podcast slash Patreon or Patreon slash I'm their podcast rather. Uh, but yeah, next I want to give a shout out to, we have, well, what's happening? Nothing's happening. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Nothing's uh, happening. I'm going to give a Don't shout worry. out to Honey, Ronathan, yes, I'm real. Leon, Stardust Dragon Assault Mode gave me PTSD. <laughs> These are some wild names, by the way. Xavier, Hylian, Dimitri Barnes, Meow, Dominique Roberts, Giovanni Avalos, Alex Flamer, Andre Reynolds, Dan Vrabel, First to Home, S. Akuma, Mitchell Naus, Midwest Gaming, William Shapiro, Dimitri Safiridis, Vince Marquette, Dallas Bailey, KJ, Roz Weiss, Nick Stango, Hanto, our two time national champion. Ka Chan is a poorly written character. Sarah Maria. Oh. Uh, Sunny Top Cut Podcast, Alex Ahern, Philip Campa, Chris Lynn, Wookie 159, Edison Club, Kyle Vitelho, Brandon Moore, Sugal, Nick, Mr. Soltai, Nafa, Corey Falzer, Omar Ramos, Elijah Barfalth, and then a true hero, Tyler Tadeo, Majora X, Anthony, Volvi's Other Hand, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Big Stinky Crunch Rap, Duty Booty. Duty Booty. Adam Corey, Enraged Peacock, Lilio Bacani, Janitor215, Metal Gear, Volvi2, Sons of Ronathan. Jesus. <laughs> Metal Gear, Volvi2, Sons of Ronathan is unhinged. <laughs> oh. Thomas Rude, Joshua, um, and Steve Rogers, 760, our newest Patreon Special member. And out. also... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say no, special shout it. out to Steve Rogers and Joshua Carroll being our newest two patrons. Uh, Steve Rogers is at the highest possible tier, the optional boss tier, which means that we will be recording an episode together in July. Uh, so, you know, look out for that. He did the optional boss thing. So big, big, big shout out to Steve Rogers. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, Kenny, what did you want to say? 
I was going to say what you just said about Steve Rogers. Okay. Well, yeah. I also love that his name, his actual fucking name is Steve Rogers, which is the name of Captain America for those who don't know. So that's definitely going to be something we talk about in the episode with him. But he's also a Yu-Gi-Oh player and somebody who's played like a lot of other games and has a lot of unique life experiences. I talked to him a bit before uh, he subscribed to the Patreon. And yeah, I think that's going to be a fire episode. So definitely check that out once it drops. But this one with Cam, if you you know didn't hear it here live, then you're going to get to listen to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and everything else when it comes out this week. And uh, yeah, he said, I remember when the Patreon shoutouts only took like 10 seconds. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah, people now. Man. There's a Listen, lot make it people. longer. Yeah, make, make it, it longer. Take longer. Help us out. Go to Patreon and uh, <laughs> join join it. Also, you get access to our Discord server. I'm thinking about this too. So, Cam, if you want to go, we can we can let you go now, so that way you can get ready because I know you have to meet Solchus and everything. Um, oh yeah, doing some NAS so, testing with the teammates. Yes. So definitely, thank you so much again for coming on. Uh, me and Kenny yeah. are going to continue this. I also need to get food. I'm so goddamn hungry. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to watch some of this RBET stuff. But uh, so Cam. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, man. yeah so I'm going to, I think I want to switch my view. I right. want to, I'll let you do your thing. Did you want to drop out? All right. I stopped the recording. Okay. That's good. I'm also going to need, Kenny, can you turn it into audio and send it to me? Because I forgot to click start recording when we came back. Mm. So I'm going to need a your classic. audio. Yeah. Well, <laughs> a classic. This, this is, listen, this, that is a classic. It's been, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while, but it's, it's definitely a classic. Um, so what did I want to say? Okay. Cam is gone. So that picture. Okay. I, for some reason, I think that he's still here because his picture is built. But anyway. Yeah. 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 So what did I want to say? God damn it. I'm like all over the place. I need to get food. I want to watch RBET. Uh, I see this. The chat is still going. Yeah. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. So Patreon people, people who are in the I'm Their Podcast Discord, the only way to get into the I'm Their Podcast Discord is to join the Patreon. Once you join it, though, you have access to our Discord forever. We don't we don't like check to make sure that you're there every month on the Patreon or anything like that. So you can get access to our Discord server by joining the Patreon. Once you're in there, I was thinking about today, maybe after the RBET concludes, I'll do our first ever like tournament. It'll be something small, just like a quick little tournament where like, I don't know some random prize but i wanted to do something where you know we could have like maybe 16 people i don't know how many people are actually going to join it it depends uh but i'll set it up in challenge and see if i can actually run one tonight i know it's sunday and it's like very last minute but if this is something that maybe you're interested in then let me know uh i don't know what kenny's done with that blue background <laughs> i have no idea but you guys can still see me right like i'm still visible right I don't know. I stopped streaming, I think, right? No? You stopped yes. streaming, but I can still... I guess what I'm looking at... Oh, no, at... I didn't stop streaming. I didn't stop streaming. Okay. Yeah, so I can still see you. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to do this. So now it's back to me and yeah. just me. Now, if I do this... Oh, okay, I changed it to be on my other screen. So let me just fix this setup real quick. So RBE We get an IRL pod at Nats. Well, well I not won't, going, yeah, I will not be at Nats. <laughs> yeah, Kenny is not at Nationals. Um Yeah, I won't be there. Oh, perfect. Okay. So I've got the thing about a big events like that is, you know, they take place on the weekend, and that's when I make my money. <laughs> yeah, Kenny works at that exact time. Uh, on the weekends so let me just i'm getting this scene side i know this looks like a rant right now guys but okay so i can close some of this nonsense it would be cool to do IR, irl podcast at some point somehow i just have to get it figured out i'd be more likely to do stuff like that in the winter because even though i still work through the winter i work less yeah and um and if I miss a weekend in the winter, it's not as important. Whereas missing a weekend of work in the summer is like a fucking hit. So. Yes. Yeah. In the summertime when everybody's going out, cause you work at a bar, right? So it's like, yeah, it's like a lot more people. How do I get out of this? Sorry. I'm having like the weirdest. But yeah, maybe something in the winter, if there's like some kind of event that can get set up. Um, how do I? I am okay. Discord is oh exit full screen. Discord was being ridiculous just now. I think Fraser was being ridiculous. I mean, that's what I think two things can be true. 
Uh, Cameron said, good stuff. I think we, I think when we do part two, I want to pick up on where we said that you thought I was an asshole when you first met me and asked what changed, even though I know nothing did. Well, no, some things did change. So yeah, we, we will talk about that in the next one. Cause Cam, I mean, I'm again, I talk to Cam all the time, so we're definitely going to bring him back on. And we, de we went all over the place. Like we did K-pop, we did his profile picture, um, him being a judge, his, how he got started in Yu-Gi-Oh. We didn't even really get to his like competitive Yu-Gi-Oh stuff all that much. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot to cover. Yeah. We're currently watching RBET. I think it's broken. So, right. who do we Love have? It. We have, I think that's Chai T at the bottom. It's going to flip some in dandy. That's Chai T versus Barcode. Because we know if a true hero has played yet. Doesn't that's, let me, let me message him. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to message him. I'm going to message Euros just ended, so you someone else. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yo, I'm going to see. Welcome in everybody who's here from Euros. Hope you guys enjoyed hey. that event and hope you guys are enjoying Did this one as well. Pyro What's play up, yet. Welcome in. So I don't know We've if you played OTS yet. Time Wizard 2010, aka Edison format. You guys oh, can see me, right? You can hear. Ever you can hear everything ever. fine. Like, is everything fine? And we got in the way this looks. Match for you guys. I just want to make sure this that like. This is a big miracle fusion. This can actually banish the dandelion. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you were waiting on Elemental Hero Gaia hitting play for your bingo card yesterday, uh, you just got it. Maybe, maybe Cairo is playing right now, so, and if he is, big thunk on the summon here. Then I can. This is absolutely massive. He's on a Terrorist tournament. We've got yeah, a true hero is on a Terrorist tournament. I can go on Dueling Book and see if he's on. Gaia, so that's that's almost lethal damage. So let me go on Dueling Book. That's a lot of damage. He could well, even if they're doing top eight, maybe I'm wrong. Play, but are they doing top eight so that oh, every top eight match is on wrong. the live Pro stream? Probably. Oh so this is probably God. the first one. Like they're not having them all play. Like all four of the matches will be. Like streams have to be streamed, does a yeah. lot of heavy lifting in this matchup so the fact that he got mirror forced early kind of yeah sucked. one at a time on stream oh, yeah oh, that's what i think he's oh back, uh man. somebody he's said back. gary just he said that he's playing right now in the graveyard think again he dug his way that out, would bro. suck if okay he's hold playing on. And it's not being streamed if he's that yeah suck. that's what i was just told i'm going to full screen this so here is his game and it looks like he's up game one i think that's what that means if i'm reading this correctly um well i guess we're streaming cairo's game then yeah we're streaming it so he ddv'd his opponent which is very good and he also had whirlwind i guess at some point and his opponent had mst okay yeah this is happening right now all right so we got a nice little let me make myself a little bigger make myself let's get big Let's get bigger in here. Ooh, Fast Dino. That card is problematic as hell. Okay. Does he have a back row? Um, you got our stream and the start of the Phillies game up. Oh, the Phillies just started playing today. Yeah. Dude, as a side note, the Phillies fucking. They won like 19 to 4 yesterday. Oh, damn. Yo, that's some football numbers. I heard I heard that they like were getting football numbers. I just don't understand how the Phillies can get 19 points in a game and then like they'll have a game where they don't score. Like what yeah. are y'all doing? Yeah, that's actually insane. 19 is literally not those are not baseball numbers. Yeah, not at all. Like not MLB, not major league baseball. Like that's just insane. Oh, this is risky. One thing I hate doing, I do not like using Ryza on Fossil Dyna. So I want to see how this pans out. Because if that Fossil Dyna comes back out, now granted, his opponent's on very low resources, so the situation is completely different. But um, even a smashing ground right here will be dead, almost deadly. I guess you also drew Sirocco for a turn. So you have multiple outs to it. So it's not that bad. But I, I, I get Ajita the second I have to think about spinning back a Vanity's Fiend, a Fossil Dyna, a Caius, certain things I just do not want you to draw again. Yeah. Do you have the stream open, Kenny? I have the stream open, yeah, but it's, you know, it's delayed. Yeah, it's delayed, yeah. So I'm not able to react as quickly. That's fine. I I try to have the stream set up with ultra low latency, but I don't think that does anything. Like, I feel like it's still... Yeah, the Phil I'll look up the final score of the Phillies game. The Phillies game yesterday, I was at work. That's the only time I ever watch any sports is when I'm at work. Um... 
and it was uh yeah, it was nineteen four. I was correct. Um, that's just insane. I don't know if they were playing against the worst team in the entire league or something, but that's the only way I can see that possible. It's kind of like when I think Kobe scored like eighty one on the Rockets, not the Rockets on the Raptors, like a long, long time ago. Like eighty one is definitely not a real number, and for one person to have in uh basketball just like way too much except the goat of course kobe's like if you're kobe yeah kobe's the goat so i love that uh kobe's last game he went out like a fucking absolute boss yeah dropped like 60 right yeah i think before the game shaq asked him like to drop 50 or to, like shaq said i need 50 or i need 40 he said something like that and kobe was like i'm not going to be able to do that and then he fucking did more <laughs> What just happened to Treeborn? Oh, he sent Treeborn Frog to the grave and then bounced off Frog. I'm up to speed. I was like, what just happened? Pina, 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 rocking everywhere. All right, so they are Balls. perfectly even in card advantage. MJ the goat. It's an argument that can go forever. Yeah. MJ's. I remember I really like there's, uh, there's this video of Kobe where I don't fucking know the, the video, but it's like. They ask you a fucking question. If you don't want to answer it, you have to, like, drink. Um, <laughs> and they, they asked him, like, who... Like, if he had to order, like, Kobe, Michael Jordan, and LeBron James, you know, who, who would it be? And he, he wasn't going to answer. And, like, everybody Book was, like, moon. cheering for him to answer. And he was like, all right, fine. He goes, I'm number one, then MJ, then LeBron. <laughs> yeah. <I> just... <laughs> okay, so this is an interesting spot because he knows that Pina has Sirocco, right? Everyone saw it off a of deck devastation virus, which means this fossil dina is dead. I'm wondering if there is a Sirocco in a true hero's hand. I wonder. Tinker, tinker, tinker. Fossil diner. Fossil diner, when you know your opponent has an out, it's very interesting. The Kobe commercial where he tells Jalen Rose he wants 81. Uh, I think that says uh, maybe olives in his martini. Okay, yeah, olives in his martini because he defended him in that 81 point game. Why send the treeborn? He could have just not summoned it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe at the start of his turn, Miles, he had a different idea of what he wanted to do. And then as the turn played out, he was like, you know what? On, on second thought, I don't want this treeborn here because I don't want it to be Shora food, which is definitely a real consideration. Shora is problematic as hell. Also, I just realized that you guys can't see the life points because this needs to be downsized. So let me, there we go. Should be able to see some life points. Um, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna AFK. Okay. My Uber Eats is almost here. I order Starbucks. Do you guys have Starbucks orders? Do you guys like Starbucks? Because I get the... Uh, I'll tell you exactly what I ordered. I ordered a lot of shit because it's going to be a long-ass day. I still have, like, I don't know. Until 9 a.m., basically, I'm going to be streaming. Uh, Ping is at 5,800. I had to move the thing, but... um, So I ordered the Caramel Ribbon Crunch Frappuccino with almond milk. Uh, banana, walnut, and pecan loaf, the ice lemon loaf, and a double smoked bacon cheddar and egg sandwich. That's what I ordered from Uber Eats. And it is currently outside of my apartment right now being dropped off. Also, what the fuck happened? I turned away for like two seconds and Cairo is in complete and utter control. Oh, I guess just Blizzard happened. <laughs> no, not a deck devastation virus again. Oh, this is interesting. Dark Dust Spirit. Uh, this is interesting. So this, I don't, it says look at the card. It doesn't say that it flips. It says look at your opponent's hand, all monsters they control, and, car, and all cards they draw. It doesn't say that it flips it, though. Also, I'm going to go grab my Starbucks real quick. I'll be right back.
All right. I am back. I got me some Starbucks. I got my drink. Starbucks. Drink. Hmm. Oh, I am very hungry. Very, very hungry. Chair stream. Chair stream. Hbox is cool. Who else? Who else has Hbox is ultimate stream up? Damn, Vincent, you're you're like watching multiple streams. I love that. You know what I hate about Starbucks? At least when I Uber eats it, they don't give you a straw. And I really, really hate that. Um, I feel like a straw should just come with any order that has a drink. But the one near me, they never give me a straw. So I have, I ordered on Amazon these like metal straws, I guess. I don't know. So this is crazy because this is the second deck devastation virus that has resolved this game. He's been under deck devastation virus for six turns total in this game, which is wild. And frogs are still frogging, I guess. I wonder where he got this from. Okay, I am not going to eat and uh, make you guys listen to the sounds of me chewing, so I'm going to mute while I eat for a second. I want to see where this game is going, though. The cheapest solemn you ever did see. So don't we know he has Rejecky Break? All right, game three. Game three. So can I do like polls or something like that? I guess if I want to do that, I have to do that over here. Okay. Uh, true hero or Pina? Who do you guys think is going to win? Who do you guys have? Who do you guys have winning? I guess my poll didn't go through. A true hero, and the other one is Pina.
that deck devastation virus took three cards to execute. So he needs he needs to hit more things off of um he needs to hit more things than just these two. He hit swap frog and substitute. He needs to hit more. There's one more turn on DDV. All right. So this is really interesting because you know that this is his only like live monster or whatever. Is this Gores? Oh my God, that was an insane, that was an insane trap dash you. Dear God, a true hero has divine intervention on his side. Because honestly, that substitute might have been game. Oh shit. I right, don't send back Toad. And Tina said, okay, well, changes what I do here. What is going on? No, Toad does not get off by Deck Devastation Virus. Deck Devi already hit. It saw Swap Frog and Substitute turn one. Turn two, it saw Torrential. Turn three, it saw Ryza or Caius. Okay, I want to say this. I do not think that that, was the, that Heavy Storm was a misplay, one million percent. That was not correct.
I think he's going to regret that heavy storm. Mm. Look at that. So we know he has Caius. We know he has Caius in his hand. And we know he has Treeborn. So his hand is Treeborn Caius. A Genki break. That's why he bounced Treeborn Frog. Okay. So. Now he just has Caius in hand. This is such a scary situation. Oh, he ripped the Ryza. Am I crazy or did he not use the Kaius that he had a long time ago? Oh my God, that Torrential. That Torrential was huge. This could be the turning point. A Fossil Diner right here is GG. A Fossil Diner right here. What'd I say? What'd I say? Give me my money. Give me my money. The Starbucks is amazing, Salt King. Like, absolutely insane. What did I say? That is GG, y'all. Pyro advances to top four. Another one. What could he even draw here? All right. Yeah, he played into that central hard. Yeah, this should have been Armor Master. That's a good point. I don't think anyone... I mean, clearly someone caught it, but they, these two didn't catch it. It was definitely supposed to be Armor Master. That's crazy. It's actually crazy that that just wasn't Armor Master just now. Let me turn the dual sounds on. All right, let's watch this replay. I just want to see what happened because we missed, we missed game one.
What is happening right here? I can't believe that just happened. Did we just really all watch that together? Did that just happen? Am I crazy? Did that just happen? Did he just go brain control attack go? Okay, not the dual sounds. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I did not know that the dual sounds were that bad. I'm so sorry. Uh, what does it say? So that torrential was godlike. Not the dual sounds. Frazier, can you please for Satan's sake mute the dueling sounds? Guess True Hero didn't know what he was playing. Otherwise, you do Soroko. Yeah. How does how does he lose this game? I mean, I see Dark Arm. I can't believe he's going to lose this game. That was the wrong order. He should have attacked. If you're because like if you think about if you're going to attack anyway with Ryza, you should attack with Ryza first. If because they're going to drop Gores on Ryza no matter what. And if you're going to attack with it, and that way at least this can still get in for four hundred afterwards. But if he attacked with the Unifrog first and he ended up dropping the Gores, um, I'm sorry, if he attacked, wait, let me think about this. So he attacked with Unifrog first. Wait, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Never mind. I'm being slow. Oh, is this how, is this where it goes wrong? This is where, okay. All right. This is where it goes wrong. And this is where things go terribly wrong. Wow. That was insane. And I think we saw this game. This is just a double DDV. All right, so I'm going to get out of this. Oh, not me watching myself. All right, let's see what's going on on this channel. All right, there's a lure of darkness. It's going to draw two. Oh, they're playing already? Jeez. Ironically, the Blackwing deck is drawing more than the Dragon Turbo deck on turn one. That's funny. And he's got a whirlwind start, so you really can't complain with this. Uh-oh. Whirlwind Shore. Yeah, Whirlwind Shore is like about as good as it gets. Oh, man. Well, Kenny says that's because you're Edison actually wanting to win. Yeah, I'm playing at the Edison event at um, Nationals. I will be there. Sure. He's going to attack into Whitestone. Whitestone effect is going to activate and search Blue-Eyes White Dragon. He's got to get through Ghost Rider, though, and Ghost Rider was undefeated in Swiss. Like... Ghost Rider is currently undefucking defeated man. So this is not an easy matchup, I would say. You I guys are saying agree. True Hero the Goat? I don't know, man. He's got to be Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider's kind of the Goat. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Ghost Rider's kind of the Goat. This is going to be a tough one for him. How is this going to be tough? Your I'm opponent literally like has Whirlwind Shore. We know what the two back row are. We know what's happening here. Uh, a True Hero, what he should do is he should make he should make like Android or Catastrophe or something. Unless he's representing Icarus, I guess, but. My man literally has Whirlwind, says, Shura, everything resolved this turn, and he's like. Out. A true hero beat him. He's like, oh, I don't know that this matchup is hard. It's not hard when you have these cards. All right. Well, it's a pretty close poll. A lot of people like both these players. Uh, I I think it's pretty up in the air. This matchup is, is pretty volatile. Uh, it can swing one of two ways. Michael Gray says, Ghost Rider is a legend in every format he plays. He's very good. He's very, very good. That's all I'll say. These recklesses better lead to a lot. Is that a D's nuts joke? Okay, double reckless. So we knew what the back row were. He's got nine cards in hand. 
Can he do things? I'm conflict the Ghost Rider's a teammate. One of this is my probably, pick to win for sure, though. Probably, yeah. Yeah, this is one of those probably, matches where this, yeah, this is basically like the finals. Because you give a Dragon Turbo deck nine cards, seeing a tenth now off this upstart, it can probably do something, you know? There's a chance it does something. But is that something going to be enough to win the game through whatever we're seeing here, which is Kalut plus back row? The Walrus King deckless uh, in tournaments don't don't get made public until until after the tournament so the tournament is still going on right now uh you'll be able to okay. see the top eight i can't imagine this, this is tomorrow. this is the start you want with Where dragon turbo always published after the tournament is over jordan my says you feel like it's tough for dragons to make two pushes i don't I got an LCQ Nats. I if don't. I don't make it or scrub the main, I'll play Vortex Edison Sides. Activation. Okay. And that's going to turn on his hand a little bit here. Uh, turn. I think I think Ghost Rider is popping off, as the kids say. Oh, man. Yeah, no problem, Walrus King. What do y'all think he, um, a true hero has in the back row? I hope you enjoy the content. I'm wondering if he has Royal Depression. That's, that's the card that I'm really wondering if he has. Because that, that is a really, really good one, obviously, to have. We're almost there, folks. We're almost at 10K. Can we get to 10K today? I don't know. Also, maybe I should... If you're already subscribed, so I kind of want to see Graveyards. What is this? Let me get out of here real quick. I'm going to go watch the game myself. Sorry for the... We're gonna... Very, very. I want to be able to see these graveyards. Very hype. We'll just... Ghost Rider lost 2200. Damn, did he... Oh, he colluded on... the effect of this thing. Chain to upstart. Oh, he has deck devastation virus. This card has been putting in so much worse. Work, 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 work. Simi la 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 la. Oh, he's just gonna discard his whole hand. Okay, I was about to say. There's a command for that. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this game's over. This game is absolutely over. I wonder what he's saying now. Ah, uh, big villain vibes from a true hero. G G. He's been on the main deck deck dev in in Diva Hero too. Yeah, I can see it. That's probably G gonna win in game one. G G. That is G G. No re. One two three four. He had like four cards off of it, and your opponent can't draw. AXX says value is only eight hundred. Gains 1400 attack until the end of this turn. That is GG. I don't know what format you played guys your first are RBT in. and also, made top 32. He, That's awesome, Faded Face. Congratulations. Did he reveal? Every card drawn. Yo, it's crazy that he attacked into the Vayu. It got colluded and then deck devastated. Deck devastation virus is so broken. Hand is Magical Stone Excavation, Double Rejuve, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragon. <clears throat> Thank you, Alex, for the hand. <laughs> God has abandoned the Dragon Flare. I don't know why, I just sound so... I just sound so rough. God has abandoned the Dragon Player. This game is over. I don't know what's like, it's taken a while, but I assure you that this, there will be no more dueling. 
there will be no more dueling this game. That whirlwind is still there. Deck Dev is going to check everything he draws. So every time he hits a small guy or whatever. All right. He drew Future Fusion. Okay, well, that's good. From what I'm getting from this match, from this game, they're both just OD RNGing each other. This is like the battle of the two luckiest people in the tournament is what it looks like right now. Because the, everything that's happening on both sides of the table just looks outrageously RNG. Like, they're just doing the most back and forth. How many dragons were discarded this turn? I don't know how many he discarded. He play, he discarded one for trade-in. Is that it? All of these got deck devastated. I don't know. And this got killed by Shura. So it's just one, right? Okay, so he's now up to three, three dragons. Well, I see saying two dragons. It's, it's three. I'm about to say it's three. Trade in. Yeah. Yeah, he won't be drawing for two turns because of Reckless. Yeah, it. that's actually what's it's funny. That's what's going to happen, though. I feel like a true hero is going to win this event with Black Wings. And it's not the deck that he's known for. But like he agrees with me, we talk about this all the time that Black Wings is the best deck, and uh, I mean, look at it. He's like a game. Of, well, he's a couple games away from being in the finals, and he draws broken with Black Wings. Like, dear God, these opening hands. Like every time I watch him play, it's just like whirlwind, 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 whirlwind. One sec, bro, what do you mean? Okay, okay. I guess he's checking the logs. He's like, wait a second. I don't believe you. He's been gaslit. He's been gaslit. So he's going to reveal every draw because of deck dev. <laughs> okay. So let's Should, shouldn't it have resolved let's reveal every deck dev you said this is why you put counters on super rejuvenation you shouldn't do that wow it hit one card he drew nine and it hit one card oh two cards the debris as well that's pretty crazy does he discard oh he's discarding trade-ins on the end phase for a turn huh well, if Ghost Rider so, has all spells and he didn't find the last super rejuvenation, I think he loses because he's reckless locked. Depends on the spells, though. Oh, look. More sure to go with the whirlwind. That's GG. insane. He drew a top third of his deck and he didn't see red med. What did he mean by this? Everybody in. Uh, this is game, though, because this describes Kalut or Bora, and that's game. Oh, no, I don't... Math, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. There's nothing about Leakin. I was Last playing Christie's It says, why doesn't oh, no. every deck play Reckless? Well, you saw him resolve two and... No, I didn't, uh, I didn't talk about my run. Well, I did talk about my run, actually, a little earlier. Um, I play Christie's Sworn, and I'll share the replays at some point. It's, it's really funny. Like, both of the replays that I have for my losses in the tournament were very extreme. <laughs> some extreme circumstances happened, so... But that's typically, I mean, you saw the last tournament, DDV4, I topped 
And the way I lost that tournament was the same thing, like extreme circumstances, life swarm milling, three wolves and all that stuff, and just like ODing. It happens to me pretty often. It's kind of weird. Yeah, that took a long time to end, especially when you know it's going to end. K Dill says, hi there, Fraser and friends. What's up? What is up, my guy? Oh, you know what? Kenny did mention that I can drop into the voice channel on the Discord server. Streaming and recording. Okay, so I'm in this channel now. Okay, I move to the screen. Oh, who you guys got for game two? Should I do a poll? Should I do a poll? Ghost Rider, a true hero. Who wins? Who wins game two? Oops. Mass community. Damn it, I always get these polls out too late. Like the now the match is gonna start, it's kinda gonna kinda skew it a bit. Uh oh. Future fusion. I'm telling you, man, I feel like these two are going to RNG each other back and forth. This is a battle of the two people who have been just absolutely drawing nonsense all day and all yesterday. Alex, I like your narrative. Ghost Rider sweeps game two, game three, grindy, a true hero inevitably wins. I, I like that one. Yeah, I agree, right now. It definitely skews the poll knowing that he opened with Future Fusion. Is that, oh God, can I change my vote? Let me just end the poll now. If you didn't vote already, then what are you doing? All right, most people said a true hero, though. Um, Team Kyra all the way. The fact that Ghost Rider opened with Future Fusion affects my vote. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I try to get the poll done before. I need to be quicker on these things. I'm, this is my first time ever doing this type of uh, stream or whatever you want to call it. How far are we into this? Oh, I guess. Okay. So I still have to make it to 9 a.m., which is 17 hours. Is that 17 hours? 12 hours puts me at 2 a.m. And then... Seven hours puts me to 19 yet. 19 more hours. 19 more hours. Yay. <laughs> Pole, pole stream virgin for sure. That was, I just popped my cherry. Also, whirlwind again. Whirlwind again. Bro. You cannot make this shit up. Whirlwind every game. The nuts, the nuts, the nuts, nuts, nuts. All right, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I think that he has. So Darkin's coming out probably. Oh, Stardust. Never mind. I was gonna say if he if Darkin comes out, he has that deck Devi again. Damn. In phase, royal decree. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Other top four match going to game three, Blackwing versus Diva Hero. This is the battle of the RNG. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. They're just RNGing each other back and forth. They're literally just going back and forth, RNGing each other.
It's kind of gross the way they're treating each other. Does he not have red eyes? If you don't have red eyes, you lose. I feel like he loses, but maybe. I have a feeling he doesn't have red eyes. Do you guys feel like he doesn't have red eyes? I feel like he doesn't have red eyes. Losing a game where you open up Future Fusion would be the worst feeling. One of my friends said he was going to a big Edison tournament in person. Do you know about that? Of course I know about that. It's this weekend coming up. It is this weekend coming up. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I don't, I don't think he has red eyes. Frazier should have entered with Eradicator FCK. Yeah, that would have been wild. That would have been absolutely wild. Rowan, Shura, go crazy, bro. This burr. isn't bad because you're not getting black roast because you stole the Stardust. So it's not too bad. Well, he could still being get, said, he could still get all black the black roast setups involve Blizzard, bring back Gale, so you can just have the Stardust run it over main phase two black roast. Shura isn't gonna do it i don't think oh gale's used already maybe he how are the neospatians doing they lost in top eight so sure search collute gale being in the grave he needs like dark eruption to bring back the gale to have a way to clear the whole board yeah the dv hero deck just had the nuts versus the neospatian guy i think he had like triple miracle game one Hmm, so Gale's in a grave. If Gale wasn't in a grave, obviously that would make this super easy. You just attack over Stardust, you get Gale, you Black Rose, all of this shit, and say, let's start over. Right now, though, I don't know what you do. Maybe you still kill this. Okay, he's going for the Debris Dragon. And then he's going to hold Kalut as a wall, which, yes. Yes, all of all of the yes. But wait, this is coming out. Right? Am I crazy? Bob God is coming out. Unless there's an MST. Okay. So far so good. Cleaning up some of the mess. Synchro. Oh, Dark Arm would be nuts. Dark Arm. Oh my God. If he has Dark Armed. All right. That in defense mode makes me kind of feel like he doesn't have Dark Armed. Okay. This is such a trolley. This is such a trolley card right here. I don't know why. Something about that just seemed troll as hell. You know what, though? I'm going to be honest. If a true hero lives this turn, I feel like the crackback is going to be game. I feel like the crackback is going to be absolutely game. Because, like, Rowan's still here. He has this waiting as a ticking time bomb. Yeah, I feel like if he survives this turn, he probably just wins. Oh, man. What a situation. What a situation. So you got six cards. We know you don't have red eyes. I didn't expect Fisher, but it makes sense since people are assigning Consecrated against him. Yes, Fisher absolutely hits Consecrated Light, but it's just funny in this matchup because, uh, huh. Okay, this could mess up my dream of the Dark. All right, well, Dark Arm's not happening this game now. So how many dragons? Three dragons got this. Damn, three. His hand was Duke. Duke. Well, I guess we knew three of these anyway. Okay, so now he has real cards. 
Okay. All right. All right. This game's over. Okay. We're going to game three. How do you, how do you feel about dragons, Frazier? Well, I do not believe in dragon turbo specifically. I I'm not a fan. Um, I feel like Fitz's dragon deck is like more of my thing. Cause there's some dueling to be done. You don't just lose when you open your hand. The like dragon turbo, I feel like nerfs good players. I feel like it's just a blatant nerf. Because you're not really, Dragon Turbo, you're not really dueling. Like, you're not really playing against an opponent. You're virtually playing Solitaire, and your opponent is just a formality. They're a nuisance to you, basically, but that's, that's as much as they can be. And I don't like that when you lose with that deck, specifically, you lose not because of anything that you did wrong, but it's often because you just drew really, really unplayable. And uh, it's unfortunate now. Granted, Ghost Rider is drawing fucking insane. Every, even last game that he lost, he drew insane. He just lost to someone who drew more insane than he did. Like, Ghost Rider's lucky, but a true hero said, I'm luckier. Okay, and this is where the game wraps up, because he's definitely going to go Red Eyes. Red Eyes, bring back guy, attack, 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 and ask GG. And we're going to game three, in which we will see if a true hero opens up Whirlwind again. My money is on. He will. Let me get this poll ready right now for game three, because y'all not about to fucking get me. Who wins game three? Okay. Uh, true hero. Tina. Oh wait, no, that's not that's not Peanut. Ghost Rider. I'm gonna be respectful. I'm not gonna put the the poll up until an official admit defeat happens. I'll wait. I'm going to wait. If this is not Book of Moon or MST, okay, all right, here's my poll. Here is my poll. Of Blizzy, any sort of value. And then on top of that, this is also just game through Battle Fader and through Trag. How did I get to Shonen Jump Championship Dark End? Uh, so the people I'm partnering with, for Moreno Valley, Moreno Valley, I'm partnering with Collectible Exchange. They contributed the Dark End. And then uh, for Versus, uh, we were both we're both uh, contributing to the cost of the dark end for these tournaments. So, how did we get them? We bought them. <laughs> so can, if that's your question that you want, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're giving them away to you guys for first place of the uh, those tournaments. And then on top of that, the other prizes are fucking crazy. Um, for Moreno Valley, second place gets a PlayStation Five. Uh, third and fourth get Nintendo Switches. Like the the the, play, the prizes are fucking crazy. And then for Orlando, I think Top Eight gets Lad Mats. They get fucking sealed twenty fifth edition stuff. It's fucking cool. Yeah, we've got some that. really cool prizes. And Rage OTS Peacock said. Which... And Rage Peacock said it's the same poll. If you do uh whether he opens Future Fusion versus uh, Whirlwind, this match gave me diarrhea. Oh, it's not over yet. Game three, somebody's gonna open the nuts again. We just gotta see who it's gonna be. But yeah, this is this is pretty this is pretty good. All right. Whirlwind Shora does shoot. Oppression. GG. No re. You know what I love? I love when people open up Whirlwind and they like slow roll it a little bit. All right, let me end this poll. Are you going to Orlando RBT? I might. I actually might. <clears throat> Where's my poll results at? Why do I not see anything? Do you guys see the poll results? I don't see anything. Where did my poll go? Oh, there we go. Okay, so 71%, so heavily skewed that 
People think a true hero is going to win. Fossil Dina. We're really close. Oh my gosh, we're so close to 10k. So hype. There's a turn one Dyna, and whoever was asking how to out a Dyna earlier on, Pose. I guess we're going to find out this game. How does he out Dyna? Oh, okay. I didn't know who that was, but that's okay. Kenny. He said hose. <laughs> I was like, yo, you actually scared me because I, I, it didn't make a sound when you joined. That's crazy. Dyna <laughs> no back row means he's got a handful of monsters, but Coming he's not going to be able to unload them with his own Dyna in play. Yeah, so this is game three. Cairo well, is... Says Cairo went first. That's one of the ways you can out a Dyna. His opponent opened... Oh, Cairo opened up Dyna Pass, which is interesting. You know what, though? Cairo has a lot of heart. And That's heart wins ways. games. Heart, heart, heart is valuable. Heart is very valuable. It's a little bit difficult for the Dragon deck to play through Dyna, but there's no back row, so... What is he thinking about? Captain Kenway is back. What's up, Quest? Cryptomine says Wyvern. The Dragon Turbo deck doesn't usually play Wyvern. Sometimes it plays one post board, but he usually doesn't play it, and he usually doesn't side it in in this matchup. Yeah, there's no shot he's playing Wyvern. Okay, we've got Set Monster Pass. A Set Monster Pass, kind of pass does expose well. you a little bit to, like, Dude Kalut, but... Set Monster Pass versus Fossil Dino. Okay, here comes Kalut. You know? Yep, Kalut back with... And a true hero oh. is equally locked under his own Dyna. Like, he can't just, like, slam his whole hand in play if it's a handful of monsters. That's a so Bayou. So, both players Bayou's have decided that they're going to play a very slow game all of a sudden. Um, Which is, you know, it's nice. Oh, I can't... I can't, like, turn my camera on for you, can I, Kenny? No, that's fine. I, I mean, I'm I'm just have the stream open. Yeah, that's fine. I was just like, so there would be no no lag or whatever, but we'll deal with that. Yeah, also, guys, fine. like the stream if you're here. You'd appreciate it. All that good stuff. Whatever, whatever the other people say when they when they do this, you know, like the stream. Yeah. Um, you guys all use YouTube. When you guys watch YouTube and the guys and the YouTubers start shilling, all of the stuff they say, just pretend we just said it and do yeah. that for I Am Nerd Podcast. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Greek Gaming says, the venue where the Orlando RBET is held is my locals. Captain Kenway is back. Yes, he is. I played that cool stuff a lot, but 100 I like versus better. You want to see a Kenny Monarch deck profile? I mean, Kenny Monarchs are just Fraser Monarchs. So That's what Kenny Monarchs are. We just got a Lightning Vortex into Future Fusion. Rocks. He's a fossil. Which is obviously And absurd. that's how you do it. <laughs> um, not familiar with that name. Is he a black Well, well, well. So this, I know, I know that it's like, it looks bad Ladies right now. Ladies and gents. But I actually don't think that, that Cairo is out of this game Lightning yet. Vortex. I actually don't think that this game is over yet unless he dies this turn. Sometimes the reason why I say not that. Quite. I mean, Ghost Rider could have waited another turn. Like, here's my thing it's clear that a true hero has a handful of monsters. And. Okay. It's clear that he has a handful of monsters, right? He's at 6,800. And now he can special summon. I'm talking about a true hero. So it could go either way still. I don't think that it's just over. Like, I don't think that that Lightning Vortex in a future fusion is GG. 9,000 is a lot to take in one turn. Obviously, dragons can, you know, if any deck can do it, it's dragons, right? But still. Um, where is Stango, actually? Let me see. Where the hell is your cousin? Kenny is not Stango. I'm Kenny. Stango is my little cousin, who's not so little anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm Kenny. I'm one half of the I'm Nerd podcast. You think I'm Stank? What the hell? What the hell's me, going on here? Let me at Where is I? Don't know where Stango is today. Where are you at? We are similar people, though. Yes. For better, for better, and for worse. Yeah, not for people. not for both. <laughs> Okay, so we got the summon of 
debris to bring back trooper that's very interesting okay there's a red eyes now the question is what does he want to play around does he want to play around does he want to play around gores or does he want to Okay, so he's opted to say, I'm playing around Gores specifically. Now, again, remember that a true hero has not set a single back row all game. And what that means, how many is that? How many does he draw? And what that means to me. What that means to me is that he has a handful of monsters. Uh oh, they're having a disagreement, guys. He has gores. Um, I don't know. Somebody said Kenny is Stango. No, no, Jeff Bay. Kenny is not Stango. And I know that he already answered that, but that's just funny. Gores isn't good versus Dragon Turbo. Uh, yeah, in most cases, you are correct. I think the thing is, though, you just have to leave gores in anyway, though. Because you probably don't have anything better. Like, you only have so many cards, and most people don't side for Dragon Turbo specifically. They just kind of have cards that are like, okay, well, this is terrible. Like, Heavy Storm is terrible. Um, so you take that out. But then it gets to a point where you just have to leave some stuff in that even might not be the best, but it's kind of high variance. Like, sometimes Gorus can be amazing against Dragon Turbo, right? Like, if they don't have the Drago, and they go attack with Red Eyes, attack with Blue Eyes or something, and you're just like, all right, well, right here, Gorus is actually phenomenal. In most cases, against a good Dragon Turbo player, Gores is going to be pretty shite, but again, that it really depends on if you can even afford to take it out of your your deck after game one, because you probably just don't have that many cards. So three, Lightning Vortex discard Drago. Checking if I use trade in twice this turn. I did so four. Damn. So he's telling him they're having a dispute on how many dragons were discarded, and I I don't know why every time a dragon was discarded, it just wasn't being counted in the chat. Like I I. You guys are being ridiculous. Um, this Ghost is the Rider's definitely not the type of player who would cheat, especially on camera. Uh, yeah. Oh, and Rage Peacock said, I didn't realize till I was on Patreon and saw Stango that Stango is the guy I used to root for when watching SSBM tournaments, Super Smash Bros. Melee tournaments back in the day. It's a small world. Yeah, Stango is top 30 in the world in Melee at his peak. So yep. he is one of the most cracked players of all time in melee. And he um Yeah, you definitely yeah, he, have seen him before doing his thing. He's uh really good. He's really good. Very, very good. In fact, I don't know if he's gonna play Ultimate with us today in this 24 hour stream, but I can't beat him in Ultimate. Um and he doesn't he does not play Ultimate at all. I, I can I can like win a game every once in a while when he wants to just do something like try he tries to be disrespectful. And I can win a game that way. But like if he just he plays clout, his spacing is better, his like execution, everything that he does obviously is better. And it's just not even close. We can't get him off the sticks when he comes over my house. Like he comes yeah, over, we cannot get him off the sticks. He's fucked up. He's cracked. He's fucked up. It's funny because he gets his revenge on me in a way. Like when you know when we play Smash, it's like, all right, well, in this domain, I am God. <laughs> Like, I have all the experience. I'm like, yes, they use his, uh, his domain, his domain expansion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's if crazy Mango that... played Edison, will Dequity played play? Baboon burn. <laughs> Not Baboon burn. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. It's not over. Okay, you can't, okay, he can't special that yet. Mango would just use whatever the most in Mango would use play play Dragon Turbo. He would play whatever the most in deck is. Like All right, whatever think, deck goes in the most. Yes. I think a true hero is looking to clean up some of this damage that has been done. Um Whirlwind Shura. Might as well get that damage in. Another draws if, if you're playing the Black Rose, another draw, it doesn't matter. Maybe he's going to do Fisher. 
is interesting though because his hand has to be a lot of monsters, right? Where are the back row? Is that what we're all wondering? Like, where are the back row? Because he didn't have back row this whole game until just now, and it's not even a back row. That is a spell card, a face up continuous spell card. He still have he's not said he trapped this entire this entire game. I'm really wondering what his hand is, and I'm not going to bother him and ask him or anything like that. That would be wild. Yeah, no, you don't do that. That's rude as fuck. I kind of like watching in a blind side anyway, like in a, in a, I kind of like not knowing, you know, I kind of like not knowing what's happening. It makes it more exciting. He's a madman and he's really, or he's really good at Yu-Gi-Oh as well. I think is what he's trying to say or far at Yu-Gi-Oh as well. I'm not really sure if I understand. I've enjoyed seeing Stengo progress in Edison since we picked up the format at roughly the same time. One way to get him off the sticks, hit his hand with a hammer. I mean, that would do it. Uh, and then it says they both drew cards. Black Rose or Dark End. Dark End, DDV, and Silverwind. Yeah, I don't know what the right play is here. I really don't know his hand. I don't know a true hero's hand. But this game is definitely winnable still. The Red Eyes is halved. The Armor Master is real. There's a Vayu in the grave. And there's an Armor Master. Okay. Is there any way he can drop dad? That'd be cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can banish two. No, not from this position, but he can technically, Kenny, if he goes banish these two, he'll be at four, summon blizzard. We'll put him at exactly three. So dark arm can come out. Um, there's that Fisher I was talking about too. Fisher has been clutch, honestly. And for those who don't know, I assume everyone does know, but for those who don't know, Colossal Fighter is insane right now. Like, there are no warriors, but he's just so hard to beat. Being a monster that just keeps coming back. Okay, so if Cairo gets another turn, he probably wins because the whirlwind is still there. Life points are not high. 5,100 is not a lot, especially when you already have a Colossal and you have a Silver Wind waiting in the grave. All right, Pot of Avarice. He has to deal with this, and this is really hard to deal with. I wonder if... I don't even know if Cairo sides the Crow. Um, but if I'm being honest, I guess they should, I guess they're going to do it anyway. When it comes to DD Crow and Dueling Book, it's very different than in person. Like in person, I'll let you choose all your five targets and I'll crow. On Dueling Book, I will just give you the thumbs up when you play Pot of Avarice because it really doesn't even matter, right? Like you're not going to change your five targets if I tell you that you can just resolve it. Like that's not, that's not going to do it. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're not going to change your five targets. The, char the five you choose are going to be the five you choose no matter what. It would be surprised if no Vortex. Dallas, do they side double Vortex? Because he already played one Vortex. It's in the grave right here. So I don't know whatever out he has to Colossal Fighter. And did they choose not to attack in the track? No, it's not that he chose to not attack in the track, Alex. He attacked to kill the Drago in battle with Shora, use Kalut, and then he got value attacked over Card Trooper. So... Trag, if Trag was on the other side of the table, it could have been dropped already. Um, I have to assume that he doesn't have Trag. Man, that whirlwind card is stupid. Yeah, it turns all your monsters into gadgets. I feel like Ghost Rider has 10 billion ways to win this turn. See, I don't know Dragon Turbo that well. Where's Hydro Pump? Uh, the, way the way Dragon Turbo outs Colossal is Vortex. Yeah, he doesn't have, like, Vortex can't be used. Sometimes they saw three Vortex. Oh, well, if he's siding Triple Vortex, you guys could have just told me. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't have it. He has 13 cards in his deck, and only two of them can be Vortex. If you guys are right about this Triple Vortex thing. Like, I don't know how true that is. Uh, Red Med Drago also outs Colossal. True, because there are no Warriors, right? There are no Warriors. So technically, Red Med would crash, and then he can't bring it back. That is true, actually. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. So then it's actually just not hard to out at all. It needs to be at 2,900 to make it a little bit more difficult, I guess. 
the re double red med game i mean yeah like if you have if you have that i can't say if you have everything if you have that okay so here's an instant fusion which means he has oh brio instant fusion for brio okay well that's not uh yep effect oh okay gg and he does play multiple vortexes and that is game that is game jordan says who do you think is the best edison player what is this oh lightning vortex yep that'll do it yep and that's gonna be the match so we might see dragon turbo GG's win to both players a, a true hero insanely consistent topping with multiple different strategies uh but ghost rider just it seems like he knows this deck really well and he drew really insanely in game three i'm not gonna lie he drew really insanely so that was pretty see cool see you enraged peacock thank cool you for stopping his, by the stream uh, see his deck get all the way to the finals yeah so yeah this is a repeat finals we've seen dragon turbo versus black wings in the finals before um and a lot of people had questions like what do i do versus dragon turbo how do i side versus it you guys saw in those players in those games like it took him a lot of turns to get set up like it, it wasn't just all in like there was that one big turn but even that one big turn like it wasn't the most resilient thing like one let me see if i can grab let me see if so, Caro wants to uh, talk beat ass is the best edison player. yeah beat ass <laughs> kappa throwback oh man okay so we got finals which is ghost rider where the fuck is the text finals ghost rider versus hold up i'm getting the intel for you folks that was that whole match back and forth was some of the, the scariest luckiest shit i've seen from both players i would not have wanted to play against ghost either one rider of them. whirlwind every game Future versus. Fusion, basically every game. I think Future Fusion every game, actually. Hold everyone. Um, even though game Hold one, I don't think everyone. he played Future Fusion, but he did draw it blatantly. Because he got revealed from Deck Devastation Virus. They just, like, Duck both Tracy. went crazy. We haven't watched yeah. Duck Tracy at all this entire tournament, but they've, like, somehow snuck into the finals. <laughs> and they've dodged every single feature match. Pretty crazy. Ghost Rider is running hot, hot, Derek hot. Kinetic Soldier. Is that his new name? He's no longer Derek. <laughs> Duck Tracy, I'm a little bit upset with him because he's not hosting in the classic mode. Okay, so this is done. Uh, so I don't even know. Let me just go to the go back to this. Link zones in our final match. God damn it. All right, so <laughs> finals. Both players. Finals about really hype event. Before we get into the finals, I just want to remind you guys: signups for RBET Moreno Valley and signups for RBET Orlando are now open, and you guys can sign up for them. Both of these tournaments are going to be super hype, over 200 player capacity. Both of them have a Shonen Jump prize card, Dark End for first place, as well as a bunch of other really insane prizes. Uh, you can fi follow these links or the links in the description of this video, or you can find the links in the events tab of the really big Yu-Gi-Oh! Discord, which if you guys are a part of that, you can check that out. And I will be tweeting. Here goes Hydro with his fucking cope again. Literally what the deck is supposed to do. Yeah, every yeah. deck is supposed to do something. Uh, it doesn't mean that it actually does it. To smash like. And we're on to the finals. Pretty hype shit. Pretty hype Don't shit. be slow. Dragon Turbo versus Black Wings. Doc Tracy says out of 11 matches, I've gone first once. That's what you get for not hosting in classic mode. I wish that we that we're in the finals. I feel like I like Cairo as a player, and we've had good talks in the DMs. But happy to see my teammate take the W. Oh yeah, Jacob is the goat. Jacob No Fun Sega is. The <sighs> when people ask me who I think the best player is, it's like number one, my ex girlfriend. <laughs> oh, you guys weren't ready for that bit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jump into Number general chat no on the <laughs> I am their podcast Discord okay. Okay. so I can drag <laughs> you into Wait, the streaming <laughs> chat thing. Maybe Kenny has to do that. I don't even know if I have the ability to do no, that, but Jacob, no fun you should be able to do it. Where as far as I know, we're both like we both have the same Almost, role yeah. or whatever. Yeah. 
the Egyptian gods. We're Egyptian gods. Dragons are still the best deck. Okay. Hey, go Gary. First, more put Edison and Watchers note. Gary. How the hell did Gary join? I told him to join the general thing, and I just dragged him in. Oh, I don't even. I was because yeah, I lost the die roll. Hmm. I was just like looking at Discord, and it looked like he just joined, like raw joined. I did it so quick that you probably never even saw his thing at the like in the general below. Yeah. Gary, can you hear us? Some, uh, yeah. Um, so, thoughts on the thoughts on Cairo's match? So, for people who don't know, Gary is uh, not only my roommate, but he's also uh, the person who's in our group chat that we like. We talk every day, right? Like we, me, a true hero. Uh, who else? Kenny, obviously. Um, Gary's one of them. Stango is in there. Luke Feeney, for people who know who Luke Feeney is. And yeah, so Gary, you were watching the top four match with Cairo versus um, Dragon Turbo. And uh, what, do you, what did you think? Were you on the phone? With, were you on Discord with Cairo at the time? No, he, he, what, he, no, he just played by himself. Okay. Um, so what do you what do you think about that match? Uh, well, I'm I'm watching replay now, and it looked like Kyle was going to lose game one with like double reckless, uh, being flipped that turn. Yeah. And Kyle had this turn turn uh turn one deck heavy with uh when he crashed when Ghost Rider crashed into by was like, oh yeah. this this could be really bad. It was and it was really bad. Yeah, that deck Devi was insane. That deck Devi won him the game. He would he would have lost. Uh, obviously, a hundred percent if that didn't happen. Yep. That and, deck Devi uh, went dummy on the dummy on the D. Yeah, and then game two was honestly a non-game because he went Ghost Rider went uh Future Vision Decree, and he yeah, took Star Was like this. It's he, crazy because even after all of that, like the Future Vision Decree, um, Cairo fired back with whirlwind shora i think or something like that yeah and i was like damn this could actually just go back to Cairo winning you know like that because the cream means that you don't have the fence either the problem is i think game two was the game where he used gale in early turns yep and he needed gale again to like black rose the field i think or something like that right and he couldn't do it and so then five god came out and it was like all right well now now you just lose to that. But it was very yeah. interesting. It could also be like uh Carl's inexperience with the Dragon Turbo matchup, like not expecting a decree there. Um because if he if you recognize that decree would have been there, maybe he wouldn't have went for a Stardust play or use Gale that early. Right. Yeah, making Stardust against this deck is definitely not the way, especially if they have a face down back row. Now you might be reading it as oh it's just Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, a true hero, he's here. Alright, so hey, jump into the general chat on the I am nerd Discord. Okay. Howdy. Hey, a true hero. Howdy, everyone, howdy. Everyone, it's your top four finisher, a true hero. He is here on the I Am There podcast YouTube channel. We are doing a 24-hour live stream. A true hero, congratulations on making top four. I'm going to call you Cairo because that's your fucking name and that's what I've always called you <laughs> your whole life. This is a true hero shit I can't get down with, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, anyway, I was, so I was wondering when that was going to stop. Yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> getting annoyed. I'm forcing myself to say a true hero because that is not what I've called you for. Yeah, you just go a Cairo, aka a true hero, and, and then, then from there, it. his yeah. name's Cairo. Because I'm like, like Naruto, unlike, aka Terrell. Because <laughs> right. like, unlike all your fans, oh, no. I actually know you. So, um, anyways, so yeah, you're in. You were in top four, and we just watched the most volatile Yu-Gi-Oh I've seen all weekend, it bro. Was, very volatile. Bro, I like so I checked the replay. The first thing I did after wishing my opponent good luck after he won, right, is I checked the replay to see if I misplayed. No, he was just so savage. Yeah. He was so savage. Games two and three were just straight future fusion games. Turn one, and, and I had Dinah game three to stop the future fusion. But like you know, Dinah with no back rows, no MST, nothing is only going to last for so long. 
Right. That was just mind blowing. And then game two, when I lost game two, I checked the replay when he went pot of Avarice. He drew literally the two cards off of Avarice that he needed to kill me. Are you which serious? Were, yes, he drew. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. He drew Can Future Fusion and he that? drew Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. He drew both of those cards off Avarice. Wow. Yes. See, yes. the thing is, we can't tell. Obviously, we can't tell because it's just him shuffle, draw two shuffle hands. So you don't know what just happened. Right. Yeah. I mean, at the time, the I had no idea what happened either. But then I went back and watched it. And I was just like, I can't believe it because he had no way of doing game. Right. He had a um, five head on the field. and I had my Android in defense. So yeah. there was no I was at like 70, like 73 or something like that. Yeah, so I was like, 73. Right. Yeah. Right. I was like, all right, this should be fine. Like he shouldn't be able to do practically 8000 in one push. But then, I mean, he pulls the best two cards off of Avarice. And he was able to, you know, Future Fusion, get the dragon, banish the dragon, summon Red Eyes, Red Eyes Effect, summon Kokimaru Dragu, uh, Dragu run over Andrew in defense, attack, attack, 78. Just like that. I was like, wow. Yeah, that sounds uh, pretty absurd. Yeah, you know. I mean, he definitely played well, right? I don't want to discredit his play. Like, he played well. But it was just absolute just savagery you know and like whirlwind is great right because i had whirlwind a fair amount of games but like i would rather choose me not drawing whirlwind and he not drawing future fusion like future fusion outclasses whirlwind so much yeah that's not even a question but you wouldn't even be able to play the game without whirlwind so it's like yes. you gotta take your blows where you can and just pray that matchup is just a prayer because you know what to do like you're not dumb you know that you have to rush him down and that's all there is to it and if he kills you he kills you and there's nothing you can do about it game three yep. uh, well how about this can you send a replay to me in the group chat yeah. i want to put it on stream so we can watch it and go through it sure let's do that that would be we watched very- your um top eight match against the frog player and he he did not play the best you know i've seen no Listen, I'm going to say this, right? So everyone, top eight is public knowledge because obviously everyone's been playing an event. So I was making a list of what decks each player in the top eight is using, right? And I was like, oh, there's two players that I don't know what deck they're using. And then Gary's like, oh, this guy's on Veyu Turbo. I'm like, oh, cool. I'll play him tomorrow. Thanks, Gary. You're the best. I play him (laughs) and turn one. I make a play assuming that he's on value turbo because I go summon value attack into his face down and it's a fucking dupe frog. And I'm just like, I was so mad. I, would I was so curious. mad. But I mean, of course, I have no one to blame but myself, right? I should have double checked. But still, I'm just like, ah, oh, I was furious. Gary, I was furious. What do you have to say about that? Well, all I got to say is that Rage helped to win that, win that game. <laughs> Gary sure. is the king of misinformation. Okay, if you know our yeah. friend group, for some reason Gary will give you the answer to something that he actually doesn't know the answer to. It is the <laughs> weirdest thing that he does. He will just like you'll be like Gary, did you know if the trash people came today? And he'll be like, oh yeah, they came. And then you'll go outside, and everyone has their trash out on the whole street. It's like <laughs> I'm like Gary. Yeah, you said yeah, the trash like a personal, like it really happened. By the way, yeah, I that, sent you the replay personally. I yeah, no, it to you. I'm uh, we have it up on stream. So, oh, do you need a copy of the stream because you can see what's actually? Yes. Okay, actually, I can just pull it up on YouTube. So let me pull it up on YouTube. Okay, because I just finished the thing. I was watching the stream earlier. Obviously, I came in. I said, "Hey, yeah." But now let me. Oh pull yeah, it up you did. Yeah, YouTube. you were one of the first people to say, "Hey," actually. Yeah. Gary, Gary, okay. sabotage. Yeah, Gary is scary. You gotta be. If it's something important. Just don't trust Gary. <laughs> like, yeah. like if it's something that yeah. actually, if like life and death, if you're like Gary, which one of these pills will kill me? And Gary's like, oh, is that one? Like, just take no, the no, other, no. just you take the opposite, cool take the you opposite of whatever cool. he says. Gary will get yeah. you got out here. It's real bad. Um, yeah. Let me know. You have the stream up, Cairo? Yeah, I got it up. I'm looking at it. Okay. All right. So, I guess like the finals is happening. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not like the most enthusiastic about this, just because. It's Dragon Turbo, but like, uh, yeah. I guess we let, let, let's be let's be respectful at least and just finish. And this let's out. watch the final first. All yeah, right, let's just finish that. this because it's the I, same. I it's the same exact matchup that we just saw. Like same exact matchup. Let's see if so. let's see if uh, Duck Tracy has a better luck than than you did. I mean, he, yeah, he, the guy who won both games. Yeah, he All had right. win, but uh, I'm actually going to let me get out of here in one second. So I want to watch. I want to watch it from here. Cool. I'm just going to watch it on your stream. That makes it easier. Yeah. Or I'm about to say, okay, I want to know what's been used. So, oh, he has value and thing. Oh, he's dead this turn. No. 
Not Dragons winning another tournament. Oh. Yeah, it's um it's kind of crazy, but this is two weeks in a row of dragons just being dragons. This is a different build too. Like they don't even play the same. They play completely nope. different. Like this is this is all or nothing. Man, this shit got bad. I do love that though. That's just like cool. Like in terms of Edison format, just like Yes, that is definitely an Edison thing too, for sure. Like you don't get several weeks of the same deck winning. And even this is not um it's not the same deck that won last week like yeah red eyes is in it but blue eyes was not in the deck last week at all and neither were and like the deck last week played like 12 traps or some shit well it's probably game i yeah, mean not I, probably I don't, I don't imagine that this is not gg no re because like what's gassed here yeah okay we don't even get to see it's just gg it's, it's 96 he took off 86 unless my math is wrong um, two two red eyes is fifty six oh, plus three thousand is eighty six. Okay, cool. Yeah, my math is wrong. Yeah, don't worry, King. You don't need to do math. Do we have calculators yeah. for that? That's right. I have Fraser for that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I am the math guy. Every time I go out to eat dinner with my friends, they're always when the check comes, they're like, "All right, give it to the accountant." And I'm like, "Are y'all serious?" Yeah. yeah. When I do math, I do it on my calculator and I tell Frazier to check my work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just call what you said. I, I'm just saying, yeah, and I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> I do it on a calculator, then I say, hey. Well, listen, listen, Kenny, are you going to trust Frazier or are you going to trust Gary? Because you know he's Asian, so I'm who are you going to trust? We just went over this. I'm trusting <laughs> Frazier. <laughs> Kenny's like, I don't know what the discussion's about. Like, He's like, what are we on about? Fitz was on Snowman and Ryko Hamster oh, stuff. Right? Yeah, Fitz was Fitz was on a dueling deck. Fitz was on a straight up dueling let me, deck. Let me add on to some Gary hate. Right, we're on the Gary hate real quick. You guys mm. ready for this? Mm. So me and Gary, we meet up at like three a.m. like last week, right, to play some Hyper DBZ. We're trying to like get Hyper DBZ to work on Parsec, and um, it's good stuff. So we meet up at like three a.m. There's a guy that's supposed to help us get Parsec working because we were having trouble getting Parsec to work with Hyper specifically. So that happens. We meet up. He's like, you need this certain Parsec driver. And I go to install the driver, and my computer does not like that driver. It locks my entire computer up. I, nothing works. My keyboard doesn't work. My mouse doesn't work. Everything gets fucking locked up. And then... Gary and this other guy on Discord, they get Hyper DBZ to work. And then I'm like, they're like, oh, cool, great, we got it to work. I was like, all right, cool. I was like, we have another problem. My computer is completely locked up. And then they're like, oh, man, that sucks. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to fix it now. Um, and I go, Gary, I might need your help. And then Gary and this other guy proceed to just start playing Hyper DBZ while my computer is <laughs> completely fucking locked up at 3 a.m. And they play like seven games. And I'm kind of like... Being like, oh, yeah, my computer's locked up. Mm, I tried this, I tried that. Until finally I go, Gary, what do you do? Like, yeah. stop playing Hyper DBZ and help me, god damn it. <laughs> yep, that's a, that's a Gary thing. Gary's great. Gary For people who don't know. So this guy has the dust shoot, but I don't think dust shoot's really going to save him, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know what. <laughs> you know what to say? It's just like you gotta pray. This mat is not a real matchup. You just have to pray. Everything is a fucking yeah. prayer. And look at this: stone discard double white stone, add double blue eyes, then trade. Like these openings are crazy. Yep. So I got, I got to sneak in my imperial order. That's what I got to do to beat dragons. Yeah. So, so Fraser, so you know how you need luck to win. You do need luck so to win. What do, you, yeah. what do you call this? Where you do this all day? Luck, obviously, yeah, you need luck to win. I'm not. What do you want me to recant? Like, no. I, every time anyone's ever won a tournament, they got lucky. That's that's just how it is. It's not a bad thing. I'm not shitting on people for getting lucky. I got lucky. I've got lucky multiple times in my life. I've won multiple tournaments. It's like if you win anything ever in a card game, there was some essence of luck, some semblance of luck involved in that victory. Uh, and obviously, as a good player, you put yourself in a position to be lucky as often as possible, which will get you very far. That's all you can do. That's basically what every car game is. It's putting yourself in a position to be lucky anyway. 
Like you keep on making your position better and better so that that way you do have outs. You play to your outs. You play to your top decks and stuff like that. And then, of course, you know, it's easier because we're not all playing against computers. So our opponents are going to make misplays and they're going to do things that give us wins where we overwatch shouldn't have. But the number of games that I play in Yu-Gi-Oh where I should not have won is crazy. Like, it's just crazy. So what you're saying is Cairo should have used the Ice Beam. Ice, ice beam? Oh, yeah, because it freezes a Pokemon. What's, what's the opportunity? What's the chance? 10%, right? 10%, yeah. yeah but there was, right. a, there was a famous like Pokemon match with Cairo where he literally had no... You were playing on the ladder, right? Was This, this was right. on the ladder. He was That's playing right. on the ladder. He had no... Like, he could not win. And he's... The Pokemon out on the other team was like a water type, which resists ice. And Cairo goes, I'm just going to ice beam him, and it'll freeze. And like Ice Beam's going to do no damage, because like, oh, yeah. and, and he he Ice Beams him, and then he fucking freezes the guy, and then like <laughs> proceeds to win. That's right. That's exactly right. Ten percent. And he, the guy was fuming, by the way. He got <laughs> so angry, and you know, you got to get lucky to win. I would, be mad, I would be mad if I knew that you said you were going to do it. Yeah, right before. Was I said it. I announced it. Whoa, I whoa, it whoa. Oh, this is game two. Never mind. I was about to say. Yeah. Okay. Game two. Uh, Duck Tracy's down a game. Yo, what if there's a car called Metal Dragon? What if? Is what there if? a car called Metal Dragon in Yu Gi Oh? I'm going to do a quick search. Metal Dragon. I would say that this is what he said. Rare Metal Dragon. I remember Rare Metal Dragon. Oh, wait, this 2400 is... four-star, right? Or is it 2100 uh, four-star? It is a 2400, I think it was. Yeah, 2400 four-star. Right? 20, yep, yep. And it can't be normal summoned. Yep. I do think with Prohibition, you need to call the card accurately. I mean, you're online. You can search up the card's name. There's kind of no excuse. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm joking only because I know that in real life, you're allowed to just describe the card. Um, oh really? Yeah, in real life, you don't have to be accurate. Like, if I don't know the name of a card that you play, I don't have to know the name. I just have to give you a roundabout. Like, if I don't know what Lumina's name is, I could just say the Light Swarm monster that someone's went back from the graveyard. You discard a card. Uh, I could describe her as best as possible, and that that works. That's like official oh. Konami ruling. Wow, that's cool. I didn't yeah. know that. Same thing for Mind Crush and stuff like that. Anything that requires you to name a card, DD Designator, you don't have to know the exact card name. You could just describe it. So like when he said Metal Dragon, like sure there is, there are multiple cars that have right. Metal Dragon in their name, but at the end of the day, you could just be like, well, I'm talking about the 2800 monster that's like brings back a guy from the grave or from out the hand, uh, you know, and you describe it and they'll be like, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Because they yeah, basically you know feel like you shouldn't be punished for not knowing the name of something, especially like if you don't play it, you know what I mean? Right, and that does make logical sense. Because think about right now, there are too many decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! Modern, like, modern Yu-Gi-Oh! right now has way too many decks. And I'm going to be honest, I think most of the players don't know the names of all the cards right now because the card pool is way too big. Yes. Like, it's just way too big. It's, there's no way you're going to know the names of every single thing. It's like, okay, like I'm sorry, I don't fucking know what that thing is called. But I couldn't name a single pearly card right now. I have no idea what the pearlies are called. Okay, back to game three. So both oh. Blackwing players were able to take a game off of Ghost Rider, but then game three, man, is the kiss of death. When you open up Fossil Dyna Pass, I was like, what could his hand possibly be that Fossil Dyna Pass is his play? You thought for a long, long time, too. Because the play was either Summon Fossil Dyna or Sat Bayou. Yeah, I Summon Fossil Dyna every time. Uh, yep. All right. As you said, G3. So this is what it comes down to. Oh, I should have did my poll. I suck at this. I mean, that's the perfect time. It's 1-1. One, one, so there yeah. you go. Let me see if I can create it in time. Okay. Oh, I don't even see the poll button there. Where is the poll button? Oh, wait. I'm on Keegan's stream. I'm so slow. I'm on Keegan's stream. <laughs> and keep in mind that um, uh, the dragon player goes first. Ghost? Yeah. Duck. All right. If Duck, is luck if Duck is lucky, Ghost Rider won't open up the turn one Future Fusion. I'm going to pop that chat out. I'm going to go back to this. Go back to... No, wait, I keep going to this replay. Okay, this is game three. 
You know, I saw a double Frazier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for a second, right? Kind of cool. There's also a Fusion A Metal Dragon. Pearly is bad, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Not you hating on the cats. Ghost got this great GOAT format player. Ghost I'm about to end the poll in five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right. If you voted. I didn't get a chance to vote. But my vote would have been for your uh, dragons. Yep. So 66% of people said ghost. Okay. Ghost, 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 ghost. Space ghost, ghost. Is the only other time Dragon Turbo won a tournament Hydro Pump? I don't think Hydro Pump won a tournament. Did he? I thought, hmm, I thought he did. When we he had got, Hydro Pump on the podcast, was that not him winning or is that just the top? I think that might have been a top. I don't. Okay. Oh, I could be wrong. It's either, it was either first or second. Yeah, Hydro. I know you Hydro Pump Hydro, did really good that tournament. Oh, Hydro, did you remember. win a tournament with Dragon Turbo? Like a um, online tournament with Dragon Turbo? I don't think so, though. I thought when we had him on, but I, I could, it could have been him getting second. I don't yeah. remember. I got. Second. He got second. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was going to yeah. say I don't recall him winning a tournament with that at all. Um, because I remember thinking to myself, Dragon Turbo hasn't won a tournament, but mm. that's that's about to change right now. I mean, he's drawing, drawing, drawing. Is it one? My uh, bad, Hydra. I tried to give you some credit. I tried to, you know, Fraser was here to knock knock me out. <laughs> I was trying to big you up. Fraser was like, "Nah, fuck that." Look at look at them being all chatty. Thanks for the life. No problem. <laughs> so he draws six here. He's about to draw six. So he he's going to end turn one with six cards in hand and two cards. So he's going to end turn one with a plus two, which is fucking absurd. And what's up, Gary Brown? Oh, Gary Brown, you're really going to be out here for 24 hours. That's correct. Well, Gary, the stream started at 9 a.m. So I'm going until 9 a.m. Um, Monday. Monday, Monday morning. Yeah, we had the. Like for technical difficulty issues, I had to end the first stream that went about four hours. So I don't have that much long left though, Cope. Uh it's not too bad. Cope. I was laughing so fucking hard because I went to go make a salad and eat a salad. And I had the stream on and <laughs> me and Connie were laughing because <laughs> you started going you started counting how many hours you have left. I was like, bro, <laughs> he's not even out of the first quarter. Like he needs to relax. <laughs> I got this. Okay, it's three o'clock. I've been doing this since nine a.m. How many hours? So I've been six hours. I got eighteen left. <laughs> Damn, when you say it like that, <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling great. I have Starbucks. Look, I got my Starbucks cup. You can do it. You can do it. I got my Starbucks. I've done. I... I think I've done two, maybe three twenty. I think I've only done two twenty-four hour streams. Well, um. Dropping Future Fusion is nice. Listen, the good thing for me is that it's two of us. So if I get tired, Kenny just will take over the stream. You know, I can do my best. Unfortunately, there's not much. I wish, like I was saying the other day, I wish there was a way to easily transition take it, yeah. it over. But yeah, um, yeah, I've had not... a couple close to 24 hour streams, dude. When Bravely Default 2 came out, bro, those nights were crazy. I had, I had some streams that went. I remember, I think it was the, either the night Bravely Default 2 came out or like the next night. But I started the stream at, I think, 7 o'clock at night. And the stream went until, I think, 3 or 4 in the afternoon the next yeah. day. Like, it was a... I so, played the shit out of that game. So, wow. he uh, did decree. not... Yeah, he did not decree him, which is huge. Um, he discarded Future Fusion, which is telling. Fossiline is such a good card, which is true. Send you all the power DBZ style for the 24 hours. Thank you, Enraged Peacock. I see you're back. Uh, what else? Thanks, Kenny. What the fuck, Frazier Hydro Pump. I'm not sure what part he was responding to because that was a little while ago, but. And he sent back, what was it? Whiff Trap Dash Shoot? Do we know yet? Red eyes. So, guard, debris, 
Instant Juve Prime. This doesn't sound good. What the hell? This seems ass. Okay, he had trade in. Doc Tracy looking nice. I mean, Heavy Storm has not seen the grave yet. Uh, one on Juve. Oh, look, Doc Tracy's actually counting the number. You guys were making me have so much agita during your round, Cairo, because y'all kept having these disputes over Super Juve, and I'm like, why is no one putting the number of discards in the chat? Like, I feel like the Dragon Turbo player should be doing it, but if they're not going to do it, I'm doing it, because the last thing I want right. is for you to draw extra cards. And you were obviously very nervous about it, because you said, wait a second, let me check the chat. Um, yeah. Lightning Vortex. And here goes the beginning of the end. When right. darkness turns to light, it ends tonight. What's that back row? Pot Avers, maybe? He set the back row on turn one when he, when he knew that he would have to discard cards out of his hand. So it could be anything, because you just set whatever you have. Like, you can't really read what that back row is. Uh, so I'm just curious. I'm a little curious boy. A little curious George? A little curious. I used to be called Curious George in one of my relationships. Okay. That was that was a thing. That was a thing that happened. I that hope your weird I hope your weird. your relationship partner was black. Or else I might have some problems. He was black, yes. He was I half have... black, half Puerto Rican. Then that's that's and fine. He, and he said because of my ears I look like Curious George. And I thought it I thought it was it, it was fine. I didn't mind it. Yeah, well, I guess it fine. Would you would you have been fine if his name was Harold? <laughs> so I don't actually know anything about Curious George, but like, is that a character in that show or something? He's a monkey. Uh, Curious George. Is no, a no, monkey. no. I know. I know. Curious George is a monkey. He's like a, a cute little monkey with like a yellow raincoat or some shit. Okay, um, cool. No, I know Curious George. I'm talking about who the fuck is Harold? I was just. Doing a generic white name. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, if his name was, if <laughs> I thought about, uh, Hey Arnold is what I thought about. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, if his name was Harold, first of all, we wouldn't be in a relationship. Let's just start there. <laughs> so let's just, let's just start with that. I would not be in a relationship with someone named Harold. Watch God be like, bitch, I'm going to show you right now. Yeah. The love of your life is going to be named Harold. And I'm going to be so angry. You know, you could call him Harold of orange light. <laughs> Harold, Harold the orange light. Okay, it's time for you to go to bed. Yeah. Go to bed. Take a nap so that way you can come. You can cover me when I need to take a nap because you are on one right now. Harold of orange light is unhinged. Harold of orange light. I wonder if it says magical stone since he discarded future fusion without stone in hand. I agree on noting in chat. Ghost Rider is an honorable player, but error is to human, and that way there's no question i agree with enraged peacock only if they spelled it harold and then does anyone remember in hey arnold when he karate chops that dude's clothes off <laughs> hey arnold has some of the absolute best stuff oh god he's going for card trooper which means he's going for oh when he said trooper i thought he meant card trooper he just means this trooper vortex yo i didn't know that this was a debris target that's wild is every card named trooper a debris target True. <laughs> Also, this is such a good card to bring back. Yeah, it's an interesting tech choice. This is such a good card to bring back. Yeah, obviously Pryo. He's like, you're not just going to get me, though. You're not just going to get me. Okay, I think that this is the most dueling we've seen in a long time, though, from the Dragon deck. Yeah. They're both even, basically. I mean, he went first, so he has four cards, and his opponent's going to draw to four. This is the most even we've ever seen it. Mm -hmm. Keep falling, bro. I'm going to be oh, honest, man. though. I do think that there is... Oh, wait. Never mind. Fuck. Yeah, he's super due for five. Oh, never mind. I yeah. was not paying attention because I was doing other stuff. I did not know that he was going to rejuve for five at the end of the turn. This is not even at all. Not even a little God. bit. The game's probably over. The game is over. 
black wings don't kill you. Not, well, it's funny to say that. Black wings don't kill you from this position. And all this deck does is kill you. So yeah, it looks like Dragon Turbo. Two weeks of dragons. Is that going to affect nationals? Do you guys think that dragons will make a big wave at nationals? Because nationals is coming up. It's this, this next week and seven days from today, we're going to have a champion. We're going to have a person who walks away with a giant black rose dragon cart, which is estimated to be valuable as hell maybe even up to let's say five thousand dollars i've heard rumblings of maybe 5k maybe more um, just rumblings just, rum <laughs> just little rumbling 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 hard you know what i like though this blackwing player they're fighting the heart heart is valuable yeah yeah <laughs> the way you're saying it you don't sound convinced <laughs> Okay, so one red eyes is banished. There are two more red eyes, though, and I do not see them in the grave, and there are only four cards in deck. So unless Ghost Rider's luck has just absolutely become shit tier, he has both of those red eyes in his deck, or in his hand. Heavy Storm is not in the grave, still. I mean, yeah, that would be some bad luck, considering he'll have four cards in his deck. Like... Yeah. Yeah. Play around Vortex is nice. Yeah, you don't touch this card because it makes them draw. And of course, unless it's time for them to draw their last pathetic card, Kaiba. Hmm. And then you just Wabaku and you win the game. Like, frogs theoretically could win attacking this and like threatening or threatening or threatening or something. Some crazy shit like that. I actually beat a Lice player like that when we uh, topped me, you, and Stango topped Gladi Gladiators of Edison. I played against a Lice player and I literally threatening roared him twice and battle fader him when he had jd and a big field and like he just milled to death he actually scooped the game because i went set go he would pay a thousand i went chain threatening where he just scooped on the spot we were we were a good team you we did well we really were we really were uh no truly also no no lightning vortex with prime not giving them an extra card is good too. Yeah, you definitely don't want your opponent. I mean, more cards, more options, right? Um, here comes the red eyes. Another one. Another one. Mm, hit him with the DJ Khaled, baby. Where is Royal Oppression when you need it? What if his opponent, what if Duck had Oppression set and the reason why he didn't use it is because he had the Blizzard and he was like, I'm going to bottom list the, blue, uh, the red eyes and then I'm going to Blizzard and then I'm going to flip the Oppression now, even though clearly that's not what's happening. But. <sighs> yeah, this is. Touch the glass. Like Touch that glass. Mirror force? No. Oh, uh, no. He has nothing. He has actual nothing. Oh. What do y'all what do y'all even think that those back rows are? Like, in all honesty, what do you think they could possibly be? They didn't do anything to the summon, to the attack. What do Black Wings even play? Oh. Icarus attack. Icarus, MST. He has Icarus attack. He has to admit defeat soon. That's what he has to do. Damn. His opponent has plus four. He has doubled the cards. That second Vortex, though. Did he play two? I don't know what he's talking about. Didn't we talk about this during Cairo's game? Didn't somebody say he plays three? Somebody said he plays three. He definitely plays more than one. We saw that. I don't know if it's three, but he definitely plays more than one. Okay. If he can just live for like two more turns. That's a lot of turns. That's a lot of turns. I don't like y'all. I'm just saying. All right, this is getting lighting vortex with the quick with the quickness. Unfortunately, this is catching the meanest lightning vortex in the world. Oh wah! <laughs> oh wah! I used to love that. Get down with the sickness. <laughs> Royal decree. Oh, so he did have decree. Well, he just got decree set last turn, but yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm lagging on the stream. I'm so sad. So. Yeah, it's um 
It's Jober. Yeah, there's the Icarus. And that's game. And that's game. Man, this was crazy. This was crazy. I think Great. Ghost could Colossal Armory Arm OTK. Get back Lightning Vortex. Yeah, yep. Yep, yep, yep. GG's. It's funny because Duck Tracy, he sent me a PM after the set because he thought I won. He's like, dang, I really wanted to play the Black Mimira. I'm like, I bet you did. I bet you did. Yep. I bet you did too. Man. Yes. Oh my God. He didn't have to do all that. He didn't have to do all that. Damn. All right. I just want to quickly uh, just see what they both had. I just want to know. Show both. I just want to know. I just want to yeah, know. I just know. I okay. just want he opened up know. the best opening, World Insura. And he ends up losing this game, doesn't he? And they really were dueling for a second. Okay, things are going decent. Oh wow, this was a, this was a great card destruction for uh, Duck. That was insane. You lose all cards you want to lose. Oh yeah, wow. I see it. Uh yeah, things are going wrong. Oh my god. His next card was oppression. Wow. That's insane. Wow. That was a crazy string of draws. Oh, good. I, I mean, you know, misery loves company, so I'm happy it happened to him, too. <laughs> that was a crazy string of draws. Misery loves company. I mean, okay. when, it's your, when it's your day, it's your day. Like, there's nothing anybody can do. Okay, what do y'all think about doing like I was thinking like Colossal Fighter and then call Lightning Vortex or something, but I guess that doesn't even work, damn. Does, does they have Trune, they have Heavy. You really can't. And he has Compulse here with this. It's bad. This is just all bad. Mounds went 11.01 this weekend. Pretty wild. That is wild. Wait. I'm confused. Is what? the one a tie? Yeah, it is. It's a draw. It's a tie. Yeah. 11.01. Oh. How the hell did that happen? Listen, man, when you're on a heater. No, how did you get it? What did the tie happen? How did the tie happen? Oh, because this was a Swiss <laughs> tournament. This is a Swiss tournament and... If you win game one and your opponent wins game two, then and you guys are already in time at the end of game two. Oh, I that's, see. Yeah, that's how it happens. Hey, I was so confused. I was like, yeah, what? Usually, usually these are double elimination, but they're starting to do Swiss, which I prefer. Oh, 10. He was 10 01. Um, but yeah, Swiss is Swiss is definitely the correct way that you, your tournament should be. This is where we kind of came in. So I want to see. So he, this is where I thought that they were even. They were not even. And he has Icarus and Road here, which really sucks because these are great cards. But your opponent never drew Heavy Storm until it was like the until he had Decree up. So you can't stop a Mirror Force right here would have been. Game, right? Like Mirror Force, Mirror Force right there for these two. 
with you having this in hand and Goyo and uh, his prime material would have actually been game. Decree heavy stone, get back vortex, bring back guy. Uh, yeah. All right. So that's the end of the tournament. Congrats to Ghost Rider on winning. And let's see a true hero. So this is you versus him. This is game one. Now his hand is absolutely wild. It's just multiples of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Three white stones, which is not ideal. Um, and two reckless, which is super ideal. So it's like, huh, you take the good with the bad. You open up right. Whirlwind Shora, of course, with the deck <laughs> devastation virus in the main, which is gonna literally solo this game. Exactly right. All right. Here we go. And he's going to crash into value. And this is where things go terribly wrong. Yeah. So actually what I was thinking about, because like I said, I'm lagging a little bit on your stream. Yeah. What I was thinking about at the end of, or rather during my main phase two, was special summoning Bora and making Cataster. That way I can activate deck Devi whenever I wanted to. Right. But then I was just like, mm, I don't want to waste my resources. So I was like, I think he's going to attack into this value because it looks vulnerable. You and if not, right. value really like attacking the Shora. And so, yeah, same thing. You'll get your deck you off no matter what. And he actually was playing a little bit fast because what I was going to do is I was going to deck Devi him actually at the end of uh, his battle phase, right? But he just goes instantly main phase two, activate upstart, and I'm like, sure. <laughs> You're like, at this point, I might as well let you go a little further. Yeah. So you end up winning game one. Oh, Jalen gave us two dollars. Thank you, Jalen. Hey, my guy. Love you, Frey. <laughs> Would have been a punishment. I mean, yeah. Heavy or right, bro, yeah, I definitely thought about that too. I I agree with you, right? If he had a way to get rid of my back rows, then uh, I wouldn't have been able to activate deck Devi. But also at the same time, like. I didn't think that deck Devi would be as critical as it was to that game because it's dragons and generally dragons play a lot of big monsters. So I was like, if I get it resolved, cool. And if not, then it's fine. But I mean, I agree with you. Probably would have been better than special Bora. Yeah, it, it actually did. That deck Devi did the most. This was, this was a pretty decent position right here too. Until, you know. Decree. Until Decree. Oh, you actually have the MST too. You're going to die this turn, right? Uh, like I said, you're a little bit ahead of me, but oh, I died yeah. to when yeah, I so, have um, after I make Android in defense. Okay, yeah, that's where this is going. Whoever did that shape up is legendary. Uh, the shape up is done by me. I cut my own hair, as well as my friend Jalen, who just gave us our first ever super chat. I cut Jalen's hair, I cut my hair, I cut Gary's hair. Yeah, so it's just like... I was thinking to myself, should I have brought out Android in attack mode instead of defense? But obviously, I didn't want to take just 26 for nothing. Yeah, your hand is actually fucking dog here. Yes. Like, and uh, look, look what, look at the two cards he drew off of the Avrice. It was Future Fusion and um, Red Eyes. Yeah, it's insane. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone plays this deck at nationals. Dragons or black wings? Dragons. Dragons, dragons, dragons. Dragons, dragons, dragons. Because two things. One, oh, most dragon turbo players are shit, so they're not gonna they're not gonna execute very well. And two, this deck is wildly inconsistent, especially when you're shit. So you're probably not gonna yeah. go far anyway. So that's kind of what i'm saying like ghost yeah, rider crazy. ghost rider is very good so he knows exactly what he's doing at every turn and then like other good players including myself he's also very lucky so it's like on top of being good yeah i can see that right because 
the second card he pulled off of trade in was the vortex, which is exactly what he needed. Yep. Game three. And he already has the Alta Colossal Fighter, so he was never worried. Yeah. Because I was thinking about here either making Stardust or Colossal Fighter. Yeah. But I was like, at the end of the day, they die to the same cards, which are Lightning Vortex and Brain Control. So if I have to choose between the two, I would rather choose Colossal Fighter. Yeah, no, that was wild. That was insane. Okay, where is Dueling Book? Damn, I was still in Dueling Book that whole time. Who's on? I'm about to, uh, let's see, what decks do I have up here? I got Christy Sworn that I used recently. Junk Hero Frogs. I don't know, what's, what's Junk Hero Frog 2? Okay, this is like a build I was playing around with Malicious. Um... I got this Josh Schmidt deck, which is like all over the place. Should I play somebody with this, Cairo? Yeah, you know, play one quick set. I'll be with you got for one set, and then I'm going to bounce, because you know over here it's like 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. I, um, I'll just go to bed a sad man. No, no, no. You made top four. That's not sad. Luigi. Simply Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. Let me see if I can get an opponent. Thank you, Peacock. I appreciate it. Great run, Cairo. Ugh. I was rooting for you yesterday and today. Great job, man. Yes, Cairo almost had it all. Oh, here we go. All right, so I always use my random die generator. All right, I got three, four. Boom. All right. We're going second. Oh. Let me actually watch your game from Dueling Book. That way I can watch it without a delay because I'm still lagging. This is Joshua Schmidt's top four deck. Okay. Let me watch. Okay, starts off with a set monster. Cool. Oh my god. Hands like this. This is why I can't, I can't, certain decks I will just never play in real life. <laughs> because what is this? What even is this? Yep. Yeah, I don't know when it started, but the classic thing is broken. Oh no, do we book? The classic is broken? Yeah, because look, you have like pendulum, you have like pendulum zones. And oh, I didn't even notice. Wait, do I? Oh, I do have pendulum zones. I guess they're not even there when you do a. Uh... No. Oh, I milled a dandelion. Well, that you was also, actually you also use your zones and stuff. That was actually broken, by the way. All right, I don't know what this can search, so I'm just going to activate it now to see. So mm. we got Stratos, we got Alias, and I think that that might actually be it. Like, not even kidding. Yep, that is actually it. Okay. So All right, what, there you go. Not that deck. So what do we? What do you think I should do here? Should I black rose the field or and get two tokens, or should I just go Stratos and crash? Like I can do either. Uh, well, he just has a back row. I don't and a set monster. Yeah, I don't know what the set monster is. It's, it's Snow Manager, right? It's actually just. Snow I, I feel like I feel like it's just better to save debris for when you need it, right? I mean, like unless you want to make Stardust here, right? You can also make Stardust. No, I don't want to make Stardust here. I, I kind of want to do this because this gets this gets the thing out of my deck. The uh, alias that this one let me. Okay. I could also plasma right here for memes. <laughs> uh, plasma. Hmm. Well, then. I would, uh, I, I'm mistaken, hmm. You can go Stardust and Plasma, right? Once, once I. Will I be able to do that? That's if I keep all these tokens. That's assuming that all the tokens stay. Uh, I don't think it's okay. saying again because this is. See, this. I'm I'm still lagging, but uh, let me read Dandelion. What's this say? You could have went what what summon debris, make Stardust, Synchro, then you get three tokens, tribute all three tokens for Plasma, right? Yeah, all in one turn. Right. I think that's probably would have been good, but that definitely would have been good. Um, yeah, but I couldn't say it because you know I'm lagging. But yeah. anyway. Oh, let's see. So I have, I'm assuming one more Ryko. Yeah, I have one more Ryko in deck. Oh, he has, he has that thing. Oof, this is bad. Well, I guess it's not that bad. Dandy. 
My hand is awful. I don't know if this is how this deck naturally draws. But this is not it. Yeah. I definitely agree you're not in a strong spot now. Yep. He's, he said, I'm getting my search right now. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said, I'm getting my search right now. And you know what, King? I don't blame you. Uh... Yep, because he knows Stratos would have missed timing. Yeah, this also makes me feel comfortable that he doesn't have Starlight Road. Because he wouldn't have did that if you have Starlight Road. Right, like, the way he just, yeah. played, the way he just played his turn is very telling to yeah. me. Exactly. He knew also, you were going for Black Rings. Yep. Also, this Snowmater is what I was reading, turn one. Yep, and you called that. Ooh. Okay, well, we can do the fucking most. Okay? We can do the unmitigated absolute most. Oh, well, yeah, that's exactly right. This is about to go just a little bit. A little bit crazy? Is there anything a little bit wanna... crazy? Oh, oh, oh man. Huh? What did oh, you say? What a crazy uh, you have, you have yeah. another debris? Yeah, my hand. I have a normal summon okay. unit. Oh, that's that's it. That's it. Yeah. This is exact you can do exactly the play I mentioned earlier. And it's yep. even better here now because he doesn't have any back rows. Yep, 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 yep. This got so out of hand. Yep. Poor poor J Jane. He doesn't even know what's about to happen to him. He doesn't oh even know. Oh my gosh, this guy is so out of hand. Uh, I'm going to do this now. Let me make sure. Yeah. One, two, I'm styling. Mm -hmm. Three, mm -hmm. four. Stratos has nothing to search, so we'll just do this for five. One, two. Oh my Draw god. Draw two very good Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh my lord. He's like, what's happening? Are you summoning a god card? Oh yes. Give him to me. I sacrifice God. Oh, let me move him to here. Okay. Time to take big damage. Yep, 1900 divided by 2 is 950. So I'm 2850, if I did that right. Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. He doesn't have anything. Mirror phase 2. So I can get Miracled here. He'll crash into Stardust and kill my Plasma, which is fine, I guess. But um, let's see. Yeah, I kind of like want... I don't need to commit anymore. Yeah. It's like Stardust is so good and so bad. I know the attacks that I said it, Stardust was 2550 or even 2450. It would be ridiculous. Like more ridiculous yep. than it already is. But this I is agree. an awkward attack stat. The good thing is we took so much life off of him doing this. Yeah. Zero. Yep. Oh, he could have summoned this before, unless he was playing around Gores. Okay, I don't have a light, but I can get a light. Uh, mm. Man, so many plays. So, I could even just, just like set... Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I could even just set a monster, and it's just still, like, so broken. Well, in my delayed stream, you have a Raikou in your hand. So I, I just drew you... Hamster. I just drew him stuff, oh, okay. so like I'm. I mean, I can't yeah. die. Yeah, I'm just gonna do from this. eight thousand. I don't yeah. see it. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, the up. the best thing that can happen is he goes Diva Miracle Fusion, and I take seven thousand nine hundred. So that still doesn't kill me. Right. But I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna just do this. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good too. Setting a monster. Yep. Yep, and he's weak. 
I mean, he's playing double ocean for one. I don't know why he's doing that. A lot of people do that. Well, this, deck, this deck, once it gets going, it feels really good. Uh, yeah. Slash. That's what I thought it was. Take out the unknown. Yep. Build all of your your hand traps. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I could just summon Alias, attack over his ocean, and pass, or I could chaos sorcerer him right now. Um, I want to see what he does. Oh. I want to see what he does here. Yeah. I think summon Alias first as bait, yeah. and then attack over his ocean and main phase two summon Chaos Sorcerer. That's, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want him to use his back row, because this is the only problem. Like, it's not really a problem, but I just want it dead. I just don't want it recurring cards. Uh, and this could be Gemini Spark. I don't really care. Like, he'll just trade. Yeah. He will just trade with me. Um... So nothing really, anything that will kill Chaos Sorcerer in attack will also kill it in defense and vice versa. So I don't yeah. really have to care. I'm going to put it in defense. Because anything that would kill it. Oh, he just drew a card. Okay. Yeah. Yep. He's like, all right, I'm done. Yes. I mean, I got so bad. Yeah, so fast, right? Yeah, I got really bad. So it's pretty much a monster mash deck. That's what it seems like. This is yeah, the Joshua Schmidt deck. Yeah, it's the better monster mash deck. Yeah, it's it's definitely like a really good deck if you do a lot of plays, but you also have to get started. Right. Like once I milled that dandelion, the game got so out of hand. I have no idea how to side deck with this though. Um, yeah, I can't. Okay, uh, yeah. one Caius can come out. How do I feel about treacherous against heroes? I don't. Okay, now I finally caught up. Um, he's playing heroes. Yeah. I'm yeah, definitely double cyber. Definitely uh, back row hate. Oh, I don't I'm think not, I know I'm you're not. not a big fan of um DD Crow, but I like one crow. Ooh, one crow gets okay. We'll try it, but I I don't know if he's playing Diva right now. He's actually not playing Diva. He's playing an ocean build. So Crow is really good against that build. Fair. That's uh, actually, yeah, yeah, that's yeah Crow, fair. like Crow is good against yeah, the, the non Devo one. Yeah. Okay. I do agree with you. So I need to side in three more cards. This is hard. Uh, what to take out? What to take out? Oh, you're only playing one Miracle Fusion. Interesting. This is, don't say me. Josh was only playing one Miracle Fusion. Don't take out an Avarice. Uh, okay. As far as these monsters, like this hero package is kind of meh. Yeah, all those cards are kind of like essential. Um, because I have to, if I take, I can't take out the heroes because I have to play this miracle fusion package, which is like so awkward. Yeah, you could take out like if you want to take out a card, you could take out Book of Moon. That's not yeah, really. It's definitely an ass card. Yeah, not really helping that much. Um, I like Hamster. I like Snowman. And I like Ryko. Car Trooper's amazing in this matchup. Sangan's good for searching the other part of my deck that I'm missing. One, two, three, four. So we need to take out one more card. Um. I don't know if also, this is good against this deck. I'm gonna take this out. I think, or maybe no. Wait. I think it, I think Miracle Fusion is quite nice. No, no, I, I didn't touch Miracle Fusion. I was thinking about okay. um, Trigger. I'm gonna take out Trigger. Sorry, because it's the lag. It's the lag. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man. Here we go. All right. Ooh, it's funny because hands nice. here we go. Here we go. Let's see what you got. You call for Stratos. I mean, we're just full sending it. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll catch Mama up. never raised the bitch. No, she didn't. Damn. Damn. How do you feel? How do you feel right now, Jane? The, Tell me how you feel. They had the Starlight Road. Okay. Um. All right. So I do I want to kill the Stratos in battle with Sidra? And then I could. I'm thinking if I want to set Sang, no, set Ryko, I can deal with this, the Stardust that way. Oh, uh, let's see. 
I kind of don't want to throw the Cyber Dragon away to the wolves, though, at the same time. Well, oh, cool. You have Future Fusion, too. Yes, oh. I have Future Fusion. Future Fusion can send Dandelion. I don't have any synergy with Dandelion right now, but that doesn't mean I can't get some. So... Well, then... Yeah, Stardust is not an issue because you have DD Crow, right? You can always... And you have Raikou too. Like you got well, a lot it's, of ways. It's not a, it's not a real starter. So this DD Crow doesn't matter. It's, oh yeah, it's, it's you have to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of think. Mm, yeah. All right. I'm a specialist. What if God was one of us? Hmm. 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 Okay. What can Sangan search? That's the thing. I don't know this deck that well, but Sangan can search Debris Dragon. That's the card that I have in my head. Okay. So it can search Debris Dragon. Uh, also, Future Fusion. So we're definitely doing this now. So I have to reveal before I even... I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to do this the other way. I'm going to actually go through my deck and decide what I want to to reveal. Uh, okay, so we can send Treeborn Frog and a hero. Definitely Plasma. I don't want to see Plasma in this game. So, or we could send Alias and Dandelion to get the two tokens, and I feel like the tokens are needed this game. So it really depends on what... Uh, what hero you want, if you want Gaia or Zero. Well, Zero is obviously a better um, yeah. fusion, but Gaia gives you a better field presence right now. Um, he only has a Stardust, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think going for absolute zero is probably better. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Cause you don't even have anything that can combo with the dandy tokens right now. That's the thing, yeah. And I'll have to wait another turn to get um saying and to search it and like Yeah. Yeah. I just want to get this off the damn field. Yep. So this'll take four hundred here. Yeah, like this is all fine. You get a search. Oh, oh. okay. Or he, he doesn't attack. That's also fine, too. Okay. Uh, main phase one. Well, we didn't come this far not hmm. to flip this. You didn't come this far to come this far? Destroy. Yes, of course. We gotta get rid of that guy. All right, boom. That problem is gone. Yep. Okay. So now I feel like I can just set Sanjan. So he has three back row. Yeah, he probably has a spark, right? And if he sparks your future fusion, you're okay with that. Like, yeah. You don't care. I was seeing if Debris had any targets, but <clears throat> right now I don't. <laughs> chain. Make a little iron chain dragon. Mm-hmm. But the good thing is, what, four, five, six, seven? Next turn, you can make Black Rose. With what? Uh, bring back... Well, I'm assuming he's going to Gemini Spark this Future Fusion. I don't see this staying on the field, right? So yeah. if he gets rid of it, then... It depends when he gets rid of it. I'm going to assume, once again, in standby phase. Bring back Treeborn, Summon Debris, get back Raikou. Four, five, six, seven. I kind of want to get Card Trooper here to crash with one of these. Uh, I can get Card Trooper, I can get Snowman, or I can get... I mean, there's so many things. Snowman's pretty good. What do you think? Uh, Car Trooper, I Snowman? Think, I think it's better just to keep playing defensively because you already have an offensive card, which is Debris Dragon. So I think it's better to build up your defense. Okay, I'm going to play it your way. All right, 1900. Okay, here, draw face, standby. So, yep, and just like I said, Spark comes out. So now you have the option to Black Rose, if you want. But he hasn't played, he's played Starlight Road, so he probably has Solemn, but I think you're okay with, you know, him Soloming. I don't see him killing you unless he has a Miracle Fusion. Yeah, it would take a lot for him to kill me from this position. To kill me is insane. So I don't, yeah. think, I'm, I don't think I'm going to die at 57 against Heroes. We definitely can go for this Black Rose play. Right, go. Mm. 
and you're also okay with a Gemini Spark. So, and if he has double Starlight Road, he's just a fucking god. Okay, like that's fine. And that's why the one DD Crow goes to fucking work. Look at that, Frazier. I said the one DD Crow. I said it. <laughs> so for people listening to the stream right now, this is how Cairo is literally all the time. This is literally <laughs> him. Every time you play Yu-Gi-Oh with this fucking guy, this is literally how he is every time. And the Black Rose goes off for gold. Yes! <laughs> this is literally Kyra. I fucking called all his plays! <laughs> What's up, Vados? Vados, you got topped with uh, last week with Diva Hero, right? Ichigo Kurosaki, I think. is the, or, or were you the Flanvel player? I forget which one. Uh, yeah, we're done here. Yo, Black Rose is nice. Also, that DD Crow was nice. Oh, Ooh, thank, thank God I saw it in that DD Crow. Thank God I had the foresight to do that. Oh, yeah. Thank God he had thank, the foresight. Thank God I had the foresight <laughs> to side in that DD Crow because whoo, what would I have done? Great. <laughs> Whatever right. would I have done? Okay, so we got one from one Cyber Valley, but I don't want to get rid of this. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess your three cards are one for one Cyber Valley and uh, Snowman Eater. So, yeah, yeah you just, you, just, just, you know, like gonna, I said, we I'm got our chill. defensive up. I think you're in a solid position. I do too. Yeah, two of his aliases are gone. He probably has no man either of his own set. I like to think I'm in a good position as well, King. Where's that alias? So he has snowman eater set, so I can attack his, then flip mine. Then I can one for one for Cyber Valley main phase two. Um not terrible. Definitely not terrible. Does that deck, your deck play Caius? It does. Oh, yeah, right. You signed one out, so you have two. Yep. Uh, I mean, that's an okay play, but what I'm scared of is him Miracle Fusion afterwards, and then, like, it'll be hard for you to get rid of Absolute Zero, right? I have Treacherous Trap Hole with Treeborn constantly coming back. Oh, okay. I didn't know you have Treacherous, because that's not a thing. Then I think, yeah, I think that's fine, then. Okay. You don't have anything to worry about. Yeah. I'll take 100. Yep. He thinks he's so good. He I got it. you. I got you. Time to draw some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh my, that was amazing. Yes, it is. Okay. So let's see. I kind of want to keep my advantage up. So one, two. Uh, let's see. Three. We just want power cards right now. Four. Well, I need a light and a dark, so I'll keep. I'll keep enough lights and darks. This DD oh. Crow. Let me check his grave. So Two aliases are gone. Yeah, and if I get rid of One a, a war monster, he can't three. miracle fusion. So this is actually good to put on top. Yep. Uh. Okay. Foolish. Just sends dandelion, I think. Um, I think we're good to just pass here. Like, I don't know what. Yeah, foolish, treacherous, and what are the other two? Uh, foolish, treacherous, chaos sorcerer with light and dark and grave and dandelion. Oh yeah. Oh, you have dandy in your hand too. Yeah. Oh, okay. You kind of like got like double dandy basically. All right. Yeah. yeah, I think you're good. Yeah. Yeah, I basically drew two dandelions in a way. I want to see him, like you said, Miracle Fusion is a card, so I want him to commit. Okay. That is actually really good here. Yep. So we have MST. We have Treacherous. We have Treacherous with Dandelion, which is really good. Uh, yeah. 
my only fear is like obviously if he has something to stop yeah i would my fear is like he has like mst or dust tornado of his own i think of that or solemn judgment he really shouldn't have those cards because i was just about to say the same thing yeah like he shouldn't he shouldn't have those cards but like it's 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 a random on db so it's like i don't i don't really know also he's born in 98 so this is like a kid i think I think your best play is just set dandy, set treacherous pass, I and I, said, your other back, your other back row too. Yeah, I was just in say, case he has yeah, I think I'm gonna set both. At least make him guess. All right. Ooh. And if he summons another monster, then that's good for me. Oh, okay. Oh, or this if he is... does nothing, that's also good. You could just play the draw pass. I'm definitely playing draw pass. You got me chopped. This favors me. Yep. Come on, Caius. Yeah, right? Where you at? We've been waiting on you. Okay, okay. That ain't terrible. That ain't terrible. We're okay with that. Because guess what? You got to do something next turn. Guess what, guy? That ain't terrible. Okay, so he could have Solemn. I'm just going to keep on going like this. Yeah, just keep attacking. Yeah. He might have deep prison, but it's okay. We got to get rid of these back rows one way or another. Oh, well, if you just don't have anything. <laughs> if you just don't have anything. I wonder if he has that pesky call in a haunt, and I have MST to cover it. Not that I really yeah, care, though. You're looking pretty, King. You're looking pretty. Thank you. I love compliments. Cyber Dragon. Okay. I don't think I care about that. Yeah, I don't think he treacherous here. I think you have to save treacherous for something that's actually scary. Like, yeah, like that wasn't it. Okay, there's a dead rota. I knew that that would happen eventually. Uh, I think just tribute for Caius is fine here. Yeah, if you have Caius, that's what I would go for as well. And also, it's good because if he has Solomon, he has to use it here. And you're super okay with uh, him going half on 77. Yep, 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 yep. Burn out all your real cards, my guy. Burn out mm -hmm. all your real cards. Double bottomless is gone. Torrential is gone. One deep prison is gone. Keep burning them cards. That was a fake yeah. ink emoji every time. Yep. Okay. Okay, so Hero Blast could be set. Right. And we don't have our, our lovely one crow again. No, we don't. Um, he's just picking off my tokens. We said what? I said, interestingly enough, he still hasn't drawn into a Miracle Fusion yet. He's yeah. halfway into his deck. Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't. I pray a true hero plays out loud like this in real life. He doesn't. Not, <laughs> not, not unless, not yeah. unless he's winning. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if he's winning all bets are off, I don't know what to tell you. Listen, for fun, for fun. I wouldn't do that in a tournament setting against my opponent. Yeah. I, I try to be respectful against all my opponents, win or lose. Yeah, no, it's not it's definitely not a respect thing at all I'm talking about. Um I think I'm just gonna do this. I mean, tell, two days ago you were like you were like this on DC. That's different. I mean that's DC, DC, DC with my different. close friends. Yeah. DC playing with my close friends. Against people like, you know, who I don't know well. Mm. Uh, hmm. I guess send yeah, I would trooper in to die. I would say more input, but just, yeah, the problem is just I can't see what's going on. Yeah, well, right now I have a hamster set. I just drew card trooper. 
So I'm thinking, oh, okay. I, I can run this car trooper into the, the, he has an ocean on the field and he's trying to do that thing. Yeah, I can see his field clearly since I'm watching from my screen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, I mean, you got to get rid of ocean, right? You don't want him to get straddles again. Yeah, I'm just thinking about, the, I have different ways to approach the situation. So car troopers one, the Bree dragon is the other. Uh, and then I also have treacherous, so I can deal with this thing in many, many ways. So I think I'm going to do this. Well, your attacks have been going through, right? So they have. I don't think he, he doesn't have anything to stop an attack. And I do like the car trooper method because worst comes to worst, if he magically does have something, right? And you have to treacherous there, which honestly, it's probably debatable if it's worth it or not. Because you also have chaos Sorcerer too, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you, that guy's just not going to stay on the field. Mirror Force is gone. I just realized that that's why I'm flipping. Yeah. Most of his attack stoppers are gone. He can only have potentially another two D prisons left, but he hasn't been stopping your attack, so. He hasn't. Well, I don't. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, GG's. Nice. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Well, All right. Well, a win oh, is a win. A win is a, a win. A win is definitely a win. That was uh, that was interesting. Yeah. All right. A win is a win. I want to know what he had. You know, I love I mean, when people rage quit. I have to know. What he had happened. oppression and compulse. I had he MST and, and thing. Like he he had good cards. I just had them cooked. Yep. Cooked. Cooked. It's crazy because he opened up so well with the the Starlight Road against my heavy. And the way that game was going was just like, I don't even know how far ahead I was, but I was I was pretty far ahead. Man. Oh yeah, Enrage Peacock. So I made that comment about the guy yesterday because I think it's just kind of unsportsmanlike if you wish your opponent good luck, have fun, and they don't say anything back. Uh, Not even like an okay or nothing. Like literally just ignore your comment. And it's just like, okay, that's that's fine. This was so rude. Oh, thank you, King Vegeta. This was so... This play was nuts. Like, this, yep. whole, this whole thing that's about to happen. Yep, the whole sequence of events. Wonderful. The one crow, yes! yes. <laughs> all doing its part to uh, Fraser's hindsight to sign in that one crow. Yes. Yeah, all, right. I'm so glad that I had the idea to sign in that crow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fraser's idea. It was all yeah, Fraser's really, idea. Really, really helped. Yeah. You know, I identified, here I identified, I identified <laughs> that he wasn't playing D.Va, and I was like, you know what would be really good, Cairo? <laughs> DD right. Crow. Just, one, just right. one, too. Just one. Listen. Just like that vanity speed, but whatever. Oh, oh, all right. Now I'll let you have the DD Crow, but you're not getting vanity speed in a monarch deck. Oh, he had double the <laughs> Oh, man. Man, this guy had double OP on me. You down with OPP? You know me. Yo, I'm glad, I, I'm glad I never went. I'm glad I never went with a Black Rose play ever. He had double oppression. I would have went summoned, debris activate, he would have went oppression. I'd have brought back Dandy, then I would have synchro, he would have won oppression. That's wild. Yeah, that's actually so annoying to think about. Um, but then he would have killed all his Miracle Fusions for the rest of the game at the same time, so it's like... I know. think that's why he scooped, because he realized if he flips oppression, he just loses. Because you yeah. flipped Hamster, he had oppression too, but he didn't do anything. Yeah, that was a wild, that was a wild game. I want to play... Alright, let me see what other mean decks I got. I'm, I gotta go. Okay, it's 5am yeah. and I gotta be up. All right. But it was definitely fun. Jumping on the stream. Um, Thank you so much for when stopping I wake by. Up, when I wake up, if you guys are still around, I mean, I know you'll be oh, around, but Stango, I'll, I'll try. Jump into general chat. Oh, I'll let me chat to Stango real quick. Let me chat to Stango real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'll, he's about to come on to stream. I'm getting really hot. Okay, so he said I'm already... Oh, wait. I'm sweaty. All right, let me bring him. All right, Stango, oh. you are now here. Nikki Stang. <laughs> Hello, hello. Stango joins the chat. Everyone say hello to Stango. We are how many hours into the 24 hour stream? Like eight? I think we're like eight hours in. How many? Are we on? Okay, it's four, it's 4 p.m. on a dot, and I'm going to 9 a.m. 
So that means I have 12 hours puts me at 4 a.m. Plus five hours puts me, so 15 hours left. I have 15 hours left. Tango, you missed it. Where were you? I, I needed your, your spirit bomb energy. <laughs> I needed your spirit bomb energy, man. No, oh, somebody said play uh, Glad Beast. All right, do I have a GB duck in here? So Frazier, he just went over the replay. Uh, I came in top four. So pretty much I lost against the person who won the event, Dragons. And like game two and three, like I'll send you the replay. You can watch it later. But game two and three, he just had Future Fusion. That's all. And there's nothing I can do. Oh, I don't know. This side deck does not. I don't know how well, this. Listen, no one can take the top away. It's another top for a true, for a true villain. There you go. You know, definitely a villain switching to Black Wings, right? Yeah. You know, it's funny because I said on one of my early YouTube videos a long time ago, I was like, you know, I played Black Wings in real life, and I'm actually quite good with this deck. But I always entered in every tournament with Diva Hero. And I was like, you know what? Nationals is coming up, right? Like, let's just see if the old man still's got it. And, yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. Howdy, chat. What's up, y'all? How you sleep, Stango? Oh, man. I slept great. I woke up like maybe 10 minutes ago. I can hear it in your voice. Cam was also well, a, a waker upper. The whole We're fucking Yu Gi Oh! rant land in here. Mm -hmm. We're tagging out, Stango. You're tagging out uh, me for you because I got to go to bed. It's 5 a.m. over here. I was. Thank Good you for shit, having Kyle. me on the screen. Thank you, Frazier. Thank you, Kenny. I really appreciate you guys inviting oh, me yeah. on here. Um, you know, good luck with your 24 hour stream. I know you're going to do well. And I will. I just got back from being AFK, but did you shout out your YouTube channel for a Cairo? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I did it. Yeah. But, know. you know, guys, yeah, you know, right? If you have, if you're interested in watching some additional Edison content, please uh, follow my YouTube channel, A True Hero. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just leave a link to my channel in the chat and then I'm going to peace out. So there it is. I got you. Oh, thank you, Nikki Stan. You're the best. He said, All right, guys, well, over. see you, Cairo. Take care. See ya. Oh, my hand is straight up AIDS. Oh, no. Wait, up okay. AIDS hand. <sighs> yeah, but what's going on, everybody? Yo, that comment's wild, by the way. I found out recently I'm a longtime fan of yours. How do you find out recently? <laughs> Did you uh did you hit hit your head and fall? S Snack, an you're gonna and then it then it came back. Snack, you're gonna get there one day. All right. He didn't realize uh he was a fan of your melee stuff back in the day, apparently. Maybe your PM stuff as well, I don't know. And then I guess he didn't realize you were the same person that was always on the YouTube channel and stuff until he saw some uh, of the videos or something. I forget, or saw like a picture. I don't remember exactly maybe, what he maybe, said. Yeah, that sounds about right. What do you think I should do? He's a I have, I do have compulse, but I think I just let this go. Just want to do nasty go. things to your stardust. Yeah. So thirty four. So I take what nine hundred. Okay. This is summon cat cat good. Do I play secutor? I don't remember if I play Secutor or not. All right, well, summon cat, cat good. Uh, yeah, Secutor is in his deck. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go all in. Yep, compulse that bitch to the hand. I was, I was gonna. Uh, I mean, I could compulse it. I was going to go. This plus, so well, I'm going this plus test tiger no matter what. Uh, that's happening. Yeah, that's happening no matter what. I don't even know the deck composition. That's why I'm taking a little while to think here. Okay, so I have two of these. So I can go Marmillo, then I can go Secutor, or I can use my Compulse. I kind of like the idea of holding my Compulse a little bit. Because I keep two cards in hand, but he already used Heavy. So like what spell or trap could he even play? That threatens me. I only need to keep this trap stun to stop like brain control. Nothing else really stops me. So I'm just going to do this. <laughs> Not all this lag. I'm mad that like. Even after all of this. I still don't feel like I'm. You don't feel strong? 
Yeah, like I don't feel like I'm in uh I win one thousand percent situation. I really don't. Yeah. If you had more cards in your hand, I would probably say that that feels good to be yes. where you are. Yeah, one thing you should do when you uh when you have the free time maybe in the middle of siding, you should screen share in Discord just so uh we're at the same time as you because there's only a slight delay on YouTube. Screen share in Discord, how do I do that? So like just screen share how you would normally do if we were playing Master and People. Uh, but I'm currently streaming to like. Is there? I don't see what that option is. Oh, I see uh, what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, so share yeah, like screen. screen share as if we were recording this. Right, right, right. Hold on, let me see if I can do that. So yeah, so it's on the bottom left where it says voice connected. Yeah, like in the Discord screen. Yeah, you can go share screen. Go live. And if you want to so, make it easier, you can just uh share your whole screen instead of like Google Chrome, because I don't need audio or anything. Yeah, I think you can see it now. Let's see. Uh, yep. Perfect. This and excellent. Hey, see, this just... is what Fraser actually brought me on is to improve the uh, quality. The <laughs> improve the quality. As uh, as some of you guys may know, because I think it's been referenced on MP a few different times. Fraser definitely every once in a while is just like, "How do I do this?" And I'm like, "I either have the answer, or I don't." Right. Oh, that was man. that was very um informative, Nick. You either have the answer or you don't. Those are the yeah, yeah. That's those it. are the two. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm there's only two. There's only two lanes to my road, left and right. Yeah. Yes and no. Mm. Uh, do I let the secutor get killed, and then I'll just chariot the Shora? I'm gonna say sure. You could have it. That's interesting. Because honestly, if that secutor would attack again, then I think you would one hundred percent win. But uh, I think you're doing the thing that you do. That, yeah, you, you know, have fun. You know the you're thing that I with do. Your food. Yeah, I can see it now. Yeah, I'm playing with my food. This, I do this a lot. I do this thing where there are no stake. Like I'm, this is a casual game, so yep. I'm just literally. Because I think you already know that you would be in the uh, tier zero omega position if you got another secutor attack off. Yeah. That yeah, <laughs> that you want to play the other avenue. Oh. Oh, sure his, is your dead. shit's dead, my guy. Yeah, it's it's dead. Yeah, yeah, that shit's dead. You're just bringing out your inner eyes in. Okay. Mm. All right, drop some for game. Mm. You thought that mirror force was gonna save you. I thought this was my hood. He said. <laughs> I thought I was the beatdown deck. Okay. So, <sighs> equest and uh, I could just do double equest, but then I, then I kind of like have to stop. Sure, his only uh, his level four in the grave. Yeah, but if even if even if he has, I even guess if you have he, a cover covered with uh, yeah, because he, he right? can't yeah, you can't use Blizzard's effect, like. Blizzard, Blizzard can happen. So I could banish it, but I think I'll just, I think I'll just do this. The fact that I can still lose this game, though, is so wild to me. Yep. He needs to draw Heavy Storm. He already played it, turn one. Oh, shit. Well. Yeah. Then, then I, then I question if you can lose this game. <laughs> yeah, if Heavy Storm was still around, I would be like, alright, well, things can go wrong, but I don't really know what he could do here. His best play is probably like a set of monster set Icarus, but that's already covered. Yep. Oh, glad you suck so bad. The fact that this game is not like Jover is wild. Damn, he's about to go Giga Minus. Fraser, have you ever seen Giga Minus? I have seen Giga Minus before. Well, 
That was a broken top deck. Oh, uh, he's using that. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're up against Black Wings. Black Wings! Black Wings! The blackest of wings. Um, let's see, what else sucks in this matchup? Normal summon Mad Dog or Darkness, OTK's Glads. Yeah, the fact that I was that up in card advantage and I, I could have theoretically lost, like there's a combination of cards he could have had that would have won him the game. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm just going to go down on this. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I need to decide it in one. Take out one more card. Uh, let's see. All my monsters are staying. Book of Moon is insane versus this deck. Bottomless is good. It's Black Wings. Deep Prison is good as black wings i'm thinking a proven ground because this deck loses when it draws too many monsters need to draw them back row 200 iq magical stone activation black wing tech <laughs> wow glads are broken genius playing this right before nice to make people break it <laughs> that's not my goal but that was not my goal. Wait, I thought you cut one proven ground for one Darius the last video. Bro, the last time I recorded a Gladby's video, I don't even know when that was. And I'll be honest with you. I well, Frazier actually had to go to the hospital afterwards. He uh, <laughs> he had an aneurysm and he had a bit of memory loss. Yeah. I had to drive him there. Thank you. You said everything I couldn't yeah. say. Yep. Um, I'm I'm like a shore away from him killing me right now. Like literally. Okay, thank God. If this was sure, I think I'd lose the game. Uh, shoo, I am going to do this. God, I hate this shoe zone shit. This is why I always host. We're going to play around Icarus attack. Yeah, buddy. Yep. <clears throat> And we're going to swing with someone small so we can get big. I want to say, I remember when Frazier was like, I love choosing my zones. Because I put like one of them here and one of them there. Never said any of this, by the way, guys. Well, uh, yeah, but, I, remember, uh, I remember that. He, he had, oh, like, a I week did long say thing that. Where, you did. Yeah. You yeah. literally did. I did say that. Oh, really damn. Cool. You like, said no bottomless? Get him out of here. Come on. We know you didn't say bottomless. Listen, oh, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! A lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! is about believing your opponent, and I simply don't believe my opponent. You don't believe many opponents. I really don't. A lot of Except it is... Except the one time that I actually did mind game you, but my deck failed me and didn't draw me anything. That that normal summon Fossil Dino with a, with a back row when you had a face-up Kaius, you were like, the fuck? What is that? <laughs> I'm scared... not attacking that. I mean, you scared me. Uh, mm -hmm. I should move this out the way. Okay. This is going to grave. Yep, you got me, King. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Hold. Hold. Where's the token thing at? I don't. I hate this layout. This is not real. Seven fifty. You ever see the chimps at the zoo? They freak out when something in, like you know exciting happens. They all start screaming. That's yeah. what the black wing players are like when they when they play a war one play. They're like, "Whoa!" Oh, that God. that chirp, Dom, is literally the birds outside of my window. Is someone streaming from Central Park? <laughs> I don't know why the birds just love like screaming into my fucking ear. When I am doing anything. Okay, Damn, so I'd say 20, 2050. 
He just wants a little piece of that be- bestiary. That's right, a defense, this... my guy. Uh... Yo, he's about to get ruined, by the way. <laughs> the only way he didn't get ruined is if I drew uh, Darius. But yes, you are correct, Sango. Mm-hmm. Soon as the lag stops. I don't know who told him that this was an okay play to make. Glad he's back. All right. Persia, we're going to see you next weekend. What's next weekend? Is that Nationals? Next weekend is Nationals. All right, so he has Dark Arm live, and he has more, like, Blizzards and stuff live. I can't you cut could Blizzard afford off. A, you could afford a Test Tiger, right? I wouldn't tag this out. You wouldn't tag it out? No, you would let this die, um, and then just use it for the crack back. He clearly mm-hmm. doesn't have defense either. Goyo's gone, which is good, because I don't want this to get taken. Yeah, that's a little not okay when Goyo takes that. Yeah, I don't know who asked me to play Glad Beast, but you got it. <laughs> yeah, you're going to see me next weekend, Grim Dex. I'm coming to Nationals. It's the black wing chirping. Yo, that actually is kind of what it is. Oh, do I just die? Mm. I might just die right here. Okay, never mind. I'm trying to I was trying to think what actually killed you. Well, Blizzard and then uh I don't I don't have anything after that. Yeah. I think you might be drawing a blank cuz there might not be much that kills you there. Yeah. Okay. Um well, This is where we are. If there was ever a time to summon cat and be good. Summon cat, cat good. I hate how fragile this deck is. It's just so fragile. I mean, if he had bottomless, he would have bottomless already. I would say. So I don't think he has bottomless. Uh, I'm their podcast. Frazier, do you think there's a sleeper card or a deck in Edison no one has exploited it yet? Uh, yes, there always is. I'm noticing. No matter how many times you think that, like, you know, the format, I won't even say solved, but no matter how many times you think that there can't be another deck, there just always is, right? Like, that's just Edison format in a nutshell. Um, hmm. How hard do we want to go? I think we'll just do this and just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep on turning. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so fragile without traps. Like, no matter what, a blizzard cooks me here. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing I could have made. There's nothing I could have summoned to be like, oh, blizzard doesn't cook you here. Still no traps, but that is not a bad card. Okay. So we are going to attack. Okay, so there's a Gale in here, and there is a 
Bora. <laughs> yeah. That devastation virus. Okay, let's see. He says, it's all for the Fraser Rage compilation Patreon exclusive video, right? My favorite Fraser moment was when he noticed two fossil dinos on the field. Is that two of them? Y'all remember Is that? Is that another one? Is that another one? I, I, I swear to God, I did not see the second one until he started attacking me with both. Oh, no. Ugh. Is that okay. another one? I'll take 500. Why is this matchup so grindy? Like, who has time to grind this much? Well, hey, he's got no cards. Yes. It should be lights out from here on out. It should be. It should be. Uh, let me see. So he has. I still can't stop Blizzard at all. So I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm going to get a quest and. You get Darius, just get a big 2400 guy, right? Yeah, but. I think I like this because I wanted to. I want to make it where no matter what, he can't kill all of my cards because then this is just game. Mm -hmm. right like if he can't kill everything on the field this this is game so somehow with those two cards he has to take all of my cards and dark arm is gone yep. goodbye Saki yeah they always go after this guy oh hopefully I'm not dead am I fucking dead uh so what he's 400 so that's 12 13. you would have been dead yeah i actually would have been dead that's wild you would have been a dead ass fool all right well we're not playing around with um uh this is four thousand so i just go for the four thousand let's go for game Uh, we can tag out into Marmillo. Yeah, there's no... Okay, so I can attack lowest to highest, actually. GG's. G, G. There was only XYZ in this format. All right. Okay, that was cancerous. I hate playing that deck, so please don't make me do that again. <laughs> mm. Mm. Interesting how you request to please don't make me do that again. It's almost like you don't know how this works. <laughs> yeah, really struggle, know how this works. The more you struggle, the more they want. Oh, you're hilarious. <laughs> you're absolutely unhinged hilarious. Okay. King Vegeta say play the Grand Wizard FTK. Oh, oh, well you don't listen. Oh, you don't gotta tell me twice. The Grand Wizard. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. Listen, that was the easiest switch I've ever made. That was so easy. Where's the easy button? That was easy. That was definitely easy. All right. Oh, oh, oh. All right. The most important part is right here. All right. Yes. All right. Considering we're experts on this deck, we should be able to tell if it's an OTK from the hand alone. All right, here we go. Ah, the oh, hands, the it's hands, looking really bad. The hand is definitely... It's it's definitely... Uh... Also, notice he said have fun. Yep. <laughs> he did not say good luck. <laughs> yep. He said have That's fun. That's why. That's why. He, he broke our luck. He did. He fucked us up. 
Ah, this hand sucks. What? What? Oh, wait. Why did you draw two? My opponent just casually started off with seven instead of six. That's pretty pro. Is that you, Peter? <laughs> Jay, <laughs> did my Peter, is just, that you? Is, did my opponent just casually... Wait. He's back. I mean, technically, technically, he did it right at the end. Like, he still has okay. the right But that was not how you... He drew seven first. Yep. It's all right. I mean, the people need to cheat us to, to not die to the Grand Wizard. Mm -hmm. The Grand Wizard is out here. Can I get a trade? Grand Wizard. Top? Trading can change everything. One trading can change your life. They should make a white stone of Toon Legend. A white stone of Toon Legend to get Toon that Blue That sounds <laughs> absolutely insane. A white stone of Toon Legend. Yeah, my opponent just casually started off with, with seven. Uh, and then played a lore without putting anything back. So a lore could have been a seventh card. It could have been a fourth card. I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah. But you know what? It's fine. What do you think? In a tournament, he gets an instant game loss, right? Bang. He probably would, yeah. Ooh. He's like, help. oh, but I, I meant to play a lore. It's like, bro, I don't know that. Yeah, like, I can't. He fucking drew seven. That can, that can help a lot. Yeah, it can. Persia said, I want one more turn. Yeah, I just want to see, you know, what the temperature is. One more draw. Please don't spare Reaper us. Don't say that. Why would you say that? Don't be me, okay? I just thought I'd try on your shoes. That'd be <laughs> nice. <laughs> Leave my shoes to me, okay? Oh, that's perfect. That's literally perfect. That starts it. Yeah, that'll start it. All right. So what are we doing? We're getting rid of the two monsters, maybe the Dark World dealing? Yeah, give me the trick. Yes. Oh, you're that's not the, cheating, that, you're not trying. It's that's true. the one that you want to reveal? Yeah, that's the one I want to reveal this time. The Grand Wizard! Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, now, order of operations. So I could... Search for Summoner's Art first. Hmm. I think that makes sense. Search for Summoner's Art and then put all the monsters back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, he's on it. He's on it. He knows. Yeah. He knows. Yeah. He knows he's cooked. That's what he knows. Okay. I think we'll put back all four. Yeah, I agree. We need to get ma major, le major League lucky. Yeah. Come on, baby. Tune table. Tune table. Fuck. Oh, my God. Fuck. Oh, my God. It got so bad. That was awful. Damn, he almost lost. All right, well, he's got to get rid of the Grand Wizard. He does have to get rid of the Grand Wizard. Yo, our hand is so bad. We, I mean, we drew literally terrible. That was a normal summon phrase, and the log will show. Please use correct summons duelist. <laughs> Not that being a normal summon. Yeah, right, it he, sounds he, like you're going to get a game loss. Sounds like you will be receiving a game loss. Yo, that was insane. You guys hear that siren? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think my opponent's thinking right now? Yeah, if I draw a trade, if he doesn't get rid of the Grand Wizard and I draw a trade in it, he's getting ripped. He's, he's thinking that you're playing some bullshit. Well, yes. That's what I would be thinking, too. I get to He's go first. Like, what the fuck? 
I just wanted to play normal Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. This is normal Yu-Gi-Oh. Did you not just see what won the tournament today? Hey, man. <laughs> I'm just telling you what he's saying. <laughs> last hour, yeah, I last I checked. I can't believe drag- dragons are trying to take over Edison now. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, two weeks of dragons, right? Yeah, that's that's not a good sign. I'm telling you, man. That's a great sign. The Dawn of Dragons. This is Gen 4 Pokemon. Catastrophe's too weak. You got a Black Rose this shit. And then it goes into Stratos Be Down. Playing all these decks to throw us off at the time of the tournament. I'm not trying to throw you off for shit. All right, Grand Wizard FCK wins nationals. Imagine twenty twenty. Imagine twenty ten. Fraser playing the Grand Wizard. You literally FTK game one, scoop game two, and then FTK again game three. That would be amazing. What did they search just now? That took a very long time. Gale. It was Gale. Okay. You know what's funny? My opponent's like really dueling. Like they're dead serious right now. Do, 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 do. Okay. I've never, it's never taken this long to, to kill somebody playing uh, FTK deck, but apparently. So I can play this if their life points are higher than 3,000. Ah, oh, my grand wizard. All right, can I rip anything to win? No. All right, let's see if they leave. They might just leave. The funny thing is that the FTK deck actually almost won by actually dueling. I know, that's the wild part. If my deck just gave me a little bit more, then, I mean, I bricked super hard. That Magical Mallet, draw, blue eyes, blue eyes, Grand Wizard was insane. Like, literally, look at how many spells are in this deck. And look at how many monsters are in this deck. I drew three monsters off of Magical Mallet. That's unreal. And I thinned my deck out by uh, one, two, three. Yeah, so I only had nine monsters and I drew three of them. That side is literally a me. <laughs> what do you mean? Perfectly ultimate great morph. How is that a meme? Exodia the Forbidden One. <laughs> I'll <bless> the tournament. <laughs> I got Warrior Lady of the Wasteland and DD Warrior Lady. I got both. Okay. God damn it. Why do we have so many? The funny thing is, I. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. Now, how do I cancel this? So. I'm going to go. Yeah, we're going to go normal summon declare. View this to grave that, uh, and then summon, then activate summoners art. Get this to hand. Activate this. I'm pretty sure I play Stratos, right? Yeah, I do. Stratos. Tremendous fire. I take 500. He takes 2,000. Frazier, did you ever play Duel Links when it was first released? I did not. I've never played Duel Links. I thought that he might have this damn thing. I tried to play Duel Links. I didn't really like it. 50. Um... I played Duel Links for, for a good bit, and then at some point, uh, I think they announced like Worlds, and people kept grinding like 
patches over and over, I was like, all right, if this is how the game is going to be, I'm done. Yeah. Like, uh, like people play, like, nonstop, like, for an entire three days. Like, okay. And that's what was required of you. Can I get a trade-in again? Come on. I know, all gas, no brakes. What about Billy brakes? Oh, shit. Yo. Oh, that, that could be it. Yo. Chat. Did y'all see? All right, we're going for it. Could it just be game. It could. Um. Okay. So, two grave. Oh, I took out the I took out the uh, cannon soldier thing. Damn it. That would have been a perfect card to have right here. Okay. Uh yeah. Attack. Yes, we won! We did it! We got Go. one! We got one. We got one. That's a fucking rant. Yo, one we, got, we got one. We fucking one got one, y'all. Oh, I'm so happy. Let me put on some chill. We'll put on some chill lo-fi music. You guys know for some chill lo-fi? Like some chill lo-fi Naruto? Chill lo-fi... Naruto. Oh, you know what I wanted to bring up earlier, guys? What's up? I won't say anything directly, just in case anybody hasn't seen it in chat. But who in chat? Saw the most recent episode of the podcast. Not the episode we recorded, recorded today. The episode before the episode we recorded today. Why do I not hear anything? Oh, I have YouTube muted. Oh, you know what I wanted to bring up? Earlier? Guys, think about our Demon Slayer Season 3 podcast directly. episode. Hmm? 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 Oh my god, my hand is nuts. Chat, what do I do? What do? The only thing we can do, Pinky. Can you guys hear? I'm assuming you guys can hear that music, right? Oh my god, Chew Zones is so AIDS. The classic is broken. You said what? The classic is broken. Reaper on the Nightmare. The fact that we are fully dueling. Oh, down a little on the music. Okay. All right, let me see if I can. I feel like that is the lowest. Yeah, that is the lowest I can get the music. Oh wait, I lied. Okay, there we go. That's the lowest I can get the music. All right, chat. I think that we just full send it, right? How much is this? So 3,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. Okay, yeah, we full send. All right, I returned. Does he still send? I think he does. What, Prisma? Yeah. If he gets bottom list? Yeah. yeah, for sure he definitely does. Okay, so he's a set monster now. Uh, so he set Reaper turn one. Damn, this is actually 8,000 in hand, which is so crazy. Um, hmm. I mean, I kind of feel like I just have to attack face down. 
You gotta protect her hand. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, well, he's getting something out of my hand. Damn. That is... Really... Oh, it's not the Grand Wizard. Really unfortunate. Yeah. But no, oh, fuck. I was going to say, please don't put that Reaper in attack. No, he's definitely... Come on. Okay. Summoner's Art? All right, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's totally fine. It we could be worse. That one. It could be way worse. Oh. All right, you're fucking... Damn it. Oh, wait, we have another one. Yes, we play two. He has a Reaper in attack mode. Oh, yeah, yeah he's dead. There's yeah, no way. Dead. There's got to be so much damage. That Reaper with no back row was absolutely insane. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Take big damage. Grand Wizard. Grand Wizard. This is even easier. All you got to do is put them at 2K. And by my count, this is uh, one, two, three, four. He's already at five. Yeah, that's plenty. Oh, I don't have any more fucking targets for E-Call. Ain't no way. Yep. Oh, no, really? Yep. I'm dead serious. Oh. Ain't no way. Wow. Rizzy Frey. I'm out of E-Call targets, so I can't actually resolve the last piece of damage. Damn. Did you take out, did you take out one Prisma? I did. I took out one Prisma because I added Stratos. This fucking bitch. I mean, I had to. Wait, let me just double check. I'm not crazy. Okay, yeah. I really, yeah, that fucking sucks. Yo. That fucking sucks. This is against the inventor of the, the next wishes. Yes. Uh, main phase two. So we just have to set this. Now it's time for you to pay for your comeuppance. That's comeuppance. Fine. We can still win. He says, "Tremendous with fire!" A tear, with a tear in his eye. Tremendous fire! With a tear in his eye. Tremendous he says, fire! He says, "With a fucking tear in his eye." Tremendous fire! One time. Uh, Tomb Cannon Soldier isn't game necessarily in this spot. Uh, because it's only 500 damage and they're at 800. This misworm? Misworm? You fucking misworming me, bro? Well, okay. I guess he has Book of Life. Okay. Okay. Oh. 53? You need 900 more. We'll just stack for plague. Stack for yeah. Plague. Just stack for plague. Yeah. That was fun. If I had a if I had a guy to search for eco, I would have won. That's insane. I dueled. I actually dueled. Now you're dueling with the FTK deck. I know. And we almost got there. GG's. I'm gonna send you something nasty. Yo, the fact that we almost got there with a fucking like dueling with FTK is insane. You sent me something nasty. What are you sending me? I sent you something nasty. <laughs> oh god. I don't is this playable, Stango? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna run it. I don't know if this is playable though. <laughs> <laughs> oh god what is this <laughs> this is turbo. this is so bad uh, it's Christia turbo here. this is so bad okay wait import
Oh, you can't. Wait, can you not do that? Uh, well, you can name it. Okay, you can actually put that into the script. That's cool. I'm not even, I'm not changing a single thing. You sent me this thing, go. And so whatever happens now happens. Dragon Exodia to honor dragons winning RBET. Okay. Fraser waiting room. Not this. Not a Fraser waiting room. All right. All right. We lost the die roll. But we do have lemon cake from... Um, from Starbucks. Oh, you got lemon cake. Also, just dropped something. I don't know what that was. <laughs> How many more hours do we have? Cope. Okay. Why do people not host in Classic? Why do y'all do that? Who raised y'all? Hmm. I don't think this does anything. It doesn't. Really? Don't tell me. Dan. Not you getting Tangu form at it. Why is Thunder King being maimed? <laughs> hmm. Alright. 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 That's a special summon to Christia, my guy. I'm sure that's going to go in. We actually do have the purple light. Yes. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really know. I don't want him to like summon spy. Yeah, I think you have to kill the Sunday. Yeah. Oh, you thought. You fucking thought. Maybe you're supposed to... Uh, oh, I was going to say, maybe you're supposed to keep that guy. Because <laughs> he can bring back Christia, right? You can select... You can send one face-up fairy monster you control to the graveyard, except Athena, then target one fairy in your grave, except Athena, and special summon that target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we have honest. All right. We do. Who attacked? Uh, Thunder King. So he fucked up. Now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. She's 14. Okay. Yep. You have fucked up now. All right, we're one fairy away from making this Christia real. <laughs> Draw another fairy. Fuck. Fuck. Listen, our opponent must, might have plus two on us, but we have a Christia. We do have a Christia. This deck is so bad. It's going in though. I'm not gonna do the jank play. I'm gonna do Christia pass. <laughs> oh, look, he's weak. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Why? 
It puts oh. another fairy in the grave. Yes. I was going to say maybe you don't attack because I'm afraid. Okay. Oh. Oh, well. Well, next turn we're just bringing it out then. So, um, I take what, you 400? Can... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because your, your girl was small. Mm -hmm. Yo, what is this guy's deck, by the way? It's uh, Thunder King, Jiu Jitsu Master. It's a fuck on me dot deck. It's all right. Well, we're about to fuck on him. Oh, well. Why does he randomly have three darks on his rock, gravekeeper, blackwing deck? Hydro Pump said, do you want to try to play the hardest deck? No. No. <laughs> I have to stream for another fucking 13 hours. No. Hard deck? No. <laughs> Wait, he's summoning Chaos Sorcerer too? What is this? Are you dead? Yeah, I am. That, 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 that might be game. Yeah. Yep. I just want to say that nothing about what just happened was real. That was I just like... want to say, all right, listen. He was, he was, he, he, you were holding back, you were holding back the, the storm with that Christia. That I Christy was. was necessary. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get spicy. Let's put that statue in. What does this do? No, come on. Stop. Let's get spicy. Oh, uh, this, this might be something. You can, you can search it off a Nova Summoner. You're walling, King. All right, what do we actually have here? Um, ugh. Is Alt what does Ultimate Warping do in this deck? This can't. What does Ultimate, what does Ultimate Offering do? It doesn't do anything, is what it does. What, what did you make? This is unhinged nonsense. I didn't make this. I didn't make this. Don't try to not claim it now. I didn't make it. There's no signature. I would have wrote my signature on it. <laughs> right, I'm going to take out one of these. You got me out here playing some bullshit. This is not even Athena Burn. It's just trash. All right. I'm about to not listen to y'all anymore. I'm about to just play my own decks because y'all don't know what y'all do. There's doing. a loop. There's a loop uh, with ultimate offering Athena to infinite burn. You yeah, see? so once you have Athena on the field, you just keep swapping monsters and special summoning them. What's this, what's this human about to say? You can OTK with Athena. There's a loop ultimate offering Athena to infinite burn. Oh, okay. Cool. Look at Fraser. Always terminal. thinking. Always thinking he knows better. I know, right? Disgust me. Well, this deck, there is no reason to ever attack any of his face downs. Hmm. Sitting and hoping and dreaming. Now that's a big wall. It is quite the wall. Well, and when it all, when it all comes down. <laughs> that's what you're saying about your wall. Gotcha. Oh, oh. Now who looks like the absolute buffoon looking like a fool with your pants on the ground no more summon spy pants on the ground pants on the ground arcanite Black magician Rose? no arcanite yeah i guess arcanite this guy this guy is no joke with his uh his gale dark arm chaos sorcerer deck Oh, just in time. Indeed, just in time. Yep. And we got a good fairy to throw alongside it. Yes. With this alchemist? Yeah. Let's load it up. Uh, 
Let me. Oh, you wanna you wanna set us up for for four? Okay, I like that. I like that player. Oh. I like that player. Okay, okay. 18 in. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to win this game. We're trying. There's no, dark There's no dark hole in this format. His deck is Edison Staple Dot Deck. Oh my God. I hate him and his one ofs. He is a master of the one ofs. Okay. He got another Jiu Jitsu Master set. So what are we gonna do about that? We probably gonna honest over with our with our D Alk. We could do that. Um man. BRB. Yep. Let's see what this is. <clears throat> when you play 21 of they all seem lucky <laughs> that's true that's zombies it's the zombie deck That's how zombies get down. Okay. He's basically playing a goat deck in Edison. <laughs> I bet that's a troll car like Snowman or Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, it's Fossil Dine now. Uh, the question is, should I even let that happen? I'm about to just negate that, honestly. What did he... Re Listen, the last time that we let him take our Christie off the field, bad things happened, so fuck him. Yeah. I'm just he still needs that. an answer. Yes. All right? I don't think this deck has any way to correct the graveyard, though, does it? It doesn't. Oh, my God. All right, well. <laughs> oh, yes, we're going to win a game. There's no way. We're winning a game. Oh, he's so weak. Oh, my God. This is so sad. Of course, of course. Not the Kai is to finish it. Yep. Every good deck plays it. All right, we need to draw our D Alk right here. Oh. That is hilarious, actually. Damn it, if you didn't take out fucking Ultimate Offering, the Athena, the Athena, it could get our Honest out of the grave. No. Ugh. Yo, yeah. this guy, this guy is nice, nice with it off the top. Yes. I mean, this is also the most unplayable shit. But you know what? All right. I'm admit defeat. GG's. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to grab a real deck. <laughs> and by real. Oh, wait. I think I already, I can just grab it here. <laughs> First, it looks more miserable playing the Christia deck than Glad's. Oh, yeah. That deck was way worse. Glad's I can actually win with. Like, I'm a good Gladby's player. That was nothing. All right, let's see. Persia's on some hater raid. Uh, the Grant Orschler Christia.
<sighs> oh, come on. Rodamantis 016. I already played Grand Wizard. Is there no one around? Twenty twenty ten tools. Right, we'll do this one. No cheating, no stream watching. Oh, I have fun. He stream sniped me. No stream I don't want to be. He stream sniping. You alright, Kenny? Oh, oh he's a, such a fucking stream sniper. <laughs> oh, the stream sniper is really <laughs> irritating my goy. It's just not fair. I just want to play Fortnite, and they keep stream sniping me. My goiter is so irritated with all the sniping. Hey, bro. Oh. Our opponent was like, I can't handle frogs. I don't know how to read. I yep. can't read. He said, I've tried to attack a dupe frog, but apparently I can't kill it. I don't know. These frog players make up their own rules. You do. <laughs> Like any great man of culture, we should try Emerald. Oh, Emerald's burn. Now that one, whoever requested that, Victor, you have a special spot in my heart for saying that because that's exactly what I'm trying next. That I love that deck. Mm -hmm. I love me some Emerald's burn. Emerald's burn. Oh, what time should I do the cosplay? Guys, I'm cosplaying today. <laughs> you I, figured, I figured I missed it. No. No, you did not. <laughs> you may have done a lot of things, but missed it is one of the things that you didn't do. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You ready to get Caius out of the fucking universe? I hope so. Yeah. Run straight into this gore ass. Oh my god. Oh my what god. The Yo. Fuck is this? You are getting cooking tinned. Cooking tin. It could be worse. It could have been on my gores, so it's it's like I'll take I'll take a little. But where's Treeborn Frog when you need it, right? Oh no. It just gets worse. Why do you, you hold a dust shoot? Because people think they're so good. Everyone thinks they're so good. You know what's funny though? You can't tell what deck this is by looking at my hand. It's true. Doesn't matter though. That's what I want to know. If you end up playing Rise today, I'll hop on. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing any Moss Hunter, to be honest, Austin. I haven't played that game in a long time, and I am not enthusiastic about playing it. But maybe. We'll see. I have a long time ahead of me. <laughs> I have 13 hours as of right now. No, I have 14 hours, actually. Yes, the FTK deck actually was like holding its own. The FTK deck, if I just played one more elemental hero, I won. <clears throat> you mean if you didn't cut out another elemental hero? This guy in his fucking Doom Cal. Yeah. All right. Where you're going, you're going into the trap hole. How about that? I find it very interesting that my opponent saw Treacherous, like they saw it, right? Like they they looked at it, they seen it with their fucking eyes. Would you look at it? Just look at it. And they were like, I'm going to put two monsters on the field. Little do you know that's like, what, what, what gets punished by this? Jinzo? Jinzo would be insane. Jinzo would be insane. Another person playing Jujutsu Master? Is this the same guy? Yeah, this guy. <laughs> no, it <laughs> must be the same guy. It, it's the same guy. You played him earlier. Okay. I was about it's to say, out. there's no way. He played uh, the Rockstone deck? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I remember my friend got to my... 
Um, I think we're gonna say no to drugs. No, nah, we're Just good. Say, you're good. Yeah. All right, we're gonna drop gore ass and then say no to drugs. Correct. This guy really think he on one. Well, his deck couldn't deal with Christia last time. Where is... Oh, there it is. I'll take 1,500. So we drop an Honest or Chrissy T. Yeah, go ahead and set back, row. You're getting heavy stormed, bitch. Oh my god. Bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do the life points for us. Mm-hmm. Yep. Look at you. Sitting there looking stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not three real back rows. Now we look Damn. stupid. What is happening today? Damn. Do you guys this is how I lose okay, so what you guys just saw, all of my losses look like this. This is what they look like. Shit like that. It had to be that exact combination of cards, right? Like it literally had to be that. Why is this guy so nice off the damn top? That was insane. Think about how absurd that just now was. I played him like a fiddle. Oh my god. Oh, that is so insane. Okay. Jeez Louise. <laughs> uh, uh. Doesn't do anything because he has honest and I would go low and oppression is still up. Yep. I lose. Okay. Honestly, hilarious. Fucking hilarious. Okay. So that was insane. That's basically all I got for that one. That was just insane. I'm going to cut some of this nonsense. Uh, we have a lot to side in and get rid of. So what do I not really care for in this matchup? Um, my recruiters are kind of meh. I'm going to take out some of these. Yeah. Cut down on some of that. Cut down on some of that. Similac. Maybe I'll do. We'll do this. We'll do like this. <clears throat> Ironically, Glass is the deck you did best with. I know, it's crazy. I mean, the way I just lost that game was fucking unhinged, unreal. Heavy Storm, Solemn. Summon, get four fairies, Torrential. Uh, Special Christia, Royal Oppression. Like, okay. All right. All right. Have you seen what you did to the price of Ulti Faders, Frasier? I have not. What happened to the price of Ulti Faders? Yep. This thing. Oh, they're expensive. Are they? Uh, yeah, it says for lightly played, unlimited, 114, 115 oh, or oh so. Oh my god. Let's see what first edition's looking like. I was gonna say, no way he has Solemn again. He did have Solemn again. And he didn't play it. Yeah, they look like to be a range of uh, 100 to 150 bucks. Insanity. 
Why don't we sell them for two two uh two forty five? I don't know. I don't know what that means, but they got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. You take 600. This guy is the master one of Solemn again, Chaos Sorcerer again. Yeah. That he is, Dango. Oh, yeah, baby. Big damage. Um, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Damn. We have to sit there and get fucked. He can't sit there for a little bit. He said, I'm impatient. He's starting to get fossil die now. I might need... Let's see, do I want book? Yeah, fuck it. You got it, you got it. Luckily, I bought mine after your first hop when they were 30s. All right, thank you so much for helping me kill time. I'm going to a One Piece tournament, so I'll be back in a few hours since you'll still be here. That is true. I will factually still be here. I will still be here unless your One Piece tournament goes until 9 a.m., in which case I won't be here. Banisher of the Radiance. Set it all. Set it all. Not the Banisher. The Banisher. Now, what are you going to do about 19, though? I don't know. That's a good question. Summon DD Warrior Lady. That's one of them. Summon... Grandma. Can I just say that this guy is playing No One Has Fun deck? Yes, he is playing the anti of anti. I kind of like it, though. Like, I kind of like his play style, you know? I kind of like, like his style. Cut, you like the cut of his jib? Yeah, I kind of like his style. Oh, uh, I know you like my style. Hmm. Should I risk it for the biscuit? Um, man. Okay, we're gonna do this. So, normal summon. Okay. No, I want your guy. May I? Mother, may I? Okay. I waited. I think he's I... allowing this play. Finally. I waited and I waited and I waited until I couldn't wait anymore.
We'll see if it's running troll. You are now tuning in to the cookout with Fraser Smith as he cooks this anti-meta piece of shit. Damn. Uh, okay, so... So I tribute to his guy. I got my honest back. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. I might not have a uh, Unifrog anywhere in here. It's an oversight. I haven't touched this deck in a while. What's up, Ty? I left and came back early, but I recently found out I've actually been a long-time fan of Stango, like 2012-2013 SSBM, so that's cool to see one of... To Thank see you, one Peacock. On I appreciate it. This true zone thing has got to relax. Uh, yeah. right, we're going to keep on creeping onto the field. Just a little creep. Okay. We're just trying to tread softly, and he doesn't want to give us any info. Now soul release. All right. So this is my extra normal summon that I'm using. Yep. Extra normal summon. May I normal summon, sir? Yep. Two defense. Frazier is in deep thunk. He turns into a barrier statue. Just got to think it out is all. He's going to solo release you. He Stop. sides in three. He <laughs> sides in three. He sides in three. Stop. Here comes three. He's going to use three of them too. He's going to play all three. <laughs> Not three so release. He just starts flipping it from the back row. Yeah. Okay. May I kill your fossil dinosaur? Chio Baba. So that's a monster. What could that be? Do... 
What's uh what's the flip effect that bounces stuff to the hand? Golem sentry or something? Uh, That's what it is. Oh god, that would be awful. That's like a little lock. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. He says he wants to kill. That was an interesting attack order. That was a very interesting attack order. The color me surprised, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a little shocked as well. And now it's setting in, reality setting in. The world is crashing. Oh, we mama. We mama. Um. So the problem is he just has like pulling the rugs and shit. So I kind of feel like I just want to attack over the Dino with the yeah. shining. Yeah. yeah. But this is your last turn to make a play. Because at this point. Yep. He's got another monster to set. So he should be able to clear your field and that's probably going to be game they told me. What nope I, all right. what's happening like you see what's happening um yeah it's fine nothing can be done yep he finally he finally killed it all right so now I think you just go for a 50-50 on the new on the old backer, right? Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Since I can't get any more backer removal, odd even. Oh my god. Is this the third game in a row with Solemn? Where does it from this yeah. guy? Yeah, he, he draws Solemn like he's a stun player. That's insane. Alright. Go buy the Dyna fossils. Oh wow, that actually gets through. Um, yeah, I mean, I have to get rid of this thing to play the game. Wow. <clears throat> uh, so we need to kill Cyber Dragon. Si yeah, the Sidra. I don't care what the face down is. It's probably fucking another Dyna. That'll be annoying. Yep. All right. Soul release would be nice here. <laughs> you keep talking about this fucking soul release. I would love to see a triathlon of gaming tournament, Yu-Gi-Oh! Melee and chess. When Frazier's in deep thunk, he turns into a barrier statue. I kind of do. I kind of do just All become right. a barrier statue. Well, this isn't terrible. We can actually... Yeah. Lower the amount of damage we take. Yeah, I already calculated that. All right, thank you so much for helping me kill time. Okay, yeah, still on that. No, not yet. There isn't two of them yet, Peacock. Is that two of them? Is that two of them? <laughs> I said that we have to make that. Uh, we have to make that compilation. That's a that's a video that's a video that's waiting to be made. It is. All right, you got to be out of options now, right, son? <laughs> Come on, son. Stop fucking with me. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is just the more damaging monster. Stop fucking around with me, son. How many deep persons have we eaten? I don't know. A lot. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. The three course meal. So I don't see that pesky chaos was her. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> Good things that monarchs be chaos was her, so. Yeah. I'm thinking, should I? Hmm. Honestly, I, I feel. I, I have weak. this. So I, yeah, I don't want to. I'm going to do this because chaos was at one. 
Honestly, I feel weak. I was telling you to do it. No, 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 no. We got no. Come on, look at our hand. We, we're 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 chilling. We're big chilling. He, he needs Stop. a lot. He needs Stop. a lot of luck Stop. to win. He needs Stop. a lot of luck to win. He's always lucky. He's been lucky since day one. He has been, but sometimes your luck runs out. All right, now we're spinning shit. Spin it to the back. Take it back now, y'all. Reach all that bullshit. Which one do you want to go? I kind of want to go for the old one. I want to go for the old one, too. We summoned the Caius into the old one. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right. We could still... Well, I guess I, I think wait. we do it. I think we do it. I want to do it. We, we I want to do it real we bad. Can do, we could do it next turn. I want to do it right now. No, we just wait. I want to do it. We, we, we <laughs> I want to do it right now. Wait. We literally just wait. Oh, wow. Oh, he's so weak. He's a weak sandwich. Don't do this playing around stuff. He's too lucky for this. Stop. Bounce this rise and spin him back. Bounce he's far like, too lucky for this for like, this nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen his luck. He's too lucky with this nonsense, all right? All right. Back to the top with you. GG's. That's how you play Yu-Gi-Oh. I saw the gears turn and you were like, let me play real with my... No. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. <laughs> what is that dance? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what we got? Um, Gotta have some terrible shit in here. I'm sorry I gotta see this. Oh shit, that's the teaser right there. I saw Edison side decking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit of a teaser. Fuck. All right. You too. You too. What do we have? A triathlon of gaming tournament, Yu-Gi-Oh! Melee and chess. That'd be pretty cool. Yo, what's up, guys? What's up, Corey? Oh, what is that? That is something that I can't deal with right now. Uh, <laughs> that's actually scary. <laughs> Why is that so scary? Okay, well. We're just having a nice little 24 hour stream, you know? Mm -hmm. 24 hours, 24 seven. I got, uh, okay. Yes, two grave, two grave. Shrink. Sure. I'll take it. I'll take the two for two heavy. Also, this has got to relax. That's right, we're going DK. Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. DK. Donkey Kong is here. You don't have mirror force.
Damn. That's what he has since turn one. Since turn one. All right, well, we can kill whatever he brings out. Yes. Well, maybe. Severe Chaos, you can't kill. Yeah. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Damn. So his guy is 32. Uh, My guy would be 37. Yep. Sound, sounds small enough to me. Set. Hmm. Sure. Sure thing, kiddo. I feel like I was an Icarus attack away from winning the game. This game. Sticky icky. Ooh, ooh. Can we get... I really could just use an Icarus attack. Oh, well, he's making Stardust, right? That's not a tuner. Okay, well then if he does that, I can just attack over it. But yeah. What's with this? What is with this? I love, I love that on uh, this music is just like lo-fi Naruto music, Stratos. I love that when I play people on DB. Oh, of course, like Kaius. Yeah, okay. I love that every deck has Caius in it, by the way. I love that no matter what jank people are playing, there's always a Caius. Everyone's on the Caius. Like every time. Everybody hates Caius. Uh, is Sphere of Chaos a machine? Uh, let's see. Sphere of Chaos. I want to say yes, actually. Yeah, I feel like it's a machine. It is. It is a machinery. I honestly don't know what his deck is actually, like what he's actually on. This is like a car path deck. I've seen this before. Yeah, I think. Okay, this card, I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm just gonna go in like this. See what happens. Oh my god, this true zone thing is killing me. Also, I love people that say GG after one game. Love is an interesting word to use there. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with it. Oh, whoa. Well, what what the fuck does this do? Draw two cards, then banish. What happens if I can't banish? All right, I need to look up the rule. Do I just lose? Well, the thing I see on the card that it says is that it says if you don't have any, but you do. Yeah. It Let doesn't say see. if you don't banish a dark. It says if you don't have any. Okay, example, if, if a period iron wall is chained, effects early in the chain resolve as much as possible. Example, player A activated a lower darkness and iron wall was chained. Player A only needs to reveal a dark in their hand. If they cannot, they Yeah, that's what I thought. Hand. Okay, so I get to... Yeah, that's all, that's all it says. I actually keep all. Just read the ruling. So this is a misplay. I'll send him the website. Damn, I'm not you giving me pot of greed. Uh, all right, yeah. all right, Frazier, you're going to be the only Ed Edison player that's resolved Pot of Greed. So that means you can't lose now. Uh, 
Uh, Wait, no, you just need to reveal, right? You don't oh, need to... yeah, I, I cannot banish this. Yeah, I you can't, can't banish it. Sorry, yeah. I've never had someone chain that. You've after. never had someone give you Pot of Greed. I understand. Go ahead. Continue play, Duelist. All right, that's all I'm going to say. If you lose this game, you're the first Edison player that's ever resolved Pot of Greed. So it's 54? <laughs> How's he going to let you resolve Pot of Greed on him? What's what's good with that? Pot a lot of, pot a lot of greed, pot a lot of, pot a lot of greed, pot a lot of, pot a lot of greed, pot a lot of, pot a lot of, pot a lot of greed, pot a lot of, pot a lot of greed. Yes, sir. Do 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 Dust shoot mirror for cyber dragon Kai is dust shoot mirror for cyber dragon Kai is dust shoot mirror for cyber dragon Kai is dust shoot mirror he's just for he's just dead there's nothing he can do for cyber dragon Kai is dust shoot mirror for cyber dragon Kai is dust shoot mirror for cyber dragon Kai is well if he sees it he needs to put away the blizzard yes he's All not right. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. So he has a deck highest in his hand because his cards conflict, so he can't even use that. Uh, and there is blatantly a mirror force, which... You just attack with one, right? Yeah, I'm definitely going to... You're going to go to defense. You're going to go and attack. You're going to go in. La, 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 la. Interesting. Where the freak are my Icarus attacks at? So I can just win. I just want to win. It's all right. Uh, Show your draw. What did you draw? Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Well, that seems annoying. Also, officially, these are good against this deck. Never mind. I'll find someone to cream. <sighs> all right. Never mind, I'll find someone to cream. I wish nothing but the cream of the crop. Don't just cream me, I beg. I remember you said, sometimes it creams in love. And sometimes it hurts instead. Oh, there's the Icarus. Damn, this hand is kind of crazy. Never mind, I'll cream someone like you. I All right, let's see if we're but let's see if we're on the same wavelength here. Of you too. Don't just cream me. <clears throat> I beg. You said, let's see if we're on the same wavelength. Yeah, let's see if we're on the same wavelength. What card do you want to draw right now? Whirlwind. <laughs> Whirlwind? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Don't, a don't ask me if you don't want the answer. What did he get? I didn't pay attention. He got freed. Freed to row. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goody good. So you're just telling me if we set two, we win, right? <laughs> don't forgive me i'm <laughs> big i remember you said sometimes it lasts in love and sometimes it 
hurts instead, yeah. Sometimes it lasts in love, and sometimes it hurts instead. Yeah. Who sings that? Adele. Adele does sing it. What you got for us? You got something for this D, D, D? Dick Devastation? Okay, MST Book Freed. MST Book Freed. MST What's that? Book What's that freed. little monster you're hiding there? Goodbye. MST Book Freed. How you like MST them apples, book Microsoft? Freed. MST Book 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 Freed. Oh. Well, this seems like a free dark arm to me, Ugh. even if he has Book of Moon. That it does. Yep. That... Book of Moon actually don't do shiznat here. Yep. Banish our Greffer. Get rid of your monster. You use Book. We bring out our guy. We special Bora. We stick it all in. Don't forgive me. I beg. Yeah, of course, I you're, of course you're gonna book it. Of course you're gonna book said, it. Go ahead and book it. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Hurts. Yeah. Hurts. Nothing compares, no worries or cares. Regrets or mistakes, their memories made. Who would have known how? Bitter, Bitter sweet, sweet this, could this be. would taste. Never mind, I'll cream someone like you. <laughs> <laughs> Who sings that? Adela, I think maybe we let her keep doing that. Oh, shit. All right. Offer the rematch. Oh. Okay. You oh, see someone trying to get fucked up again. You seem to think that that was a fluke. I didn't even draw Whirlwind. This, that wasn't even my final form. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even my final form. Okay. Could not tell if it was hybrid Black Wings. It is. It is. It is the hybrid. Okay. It is the hybrid. Never mind, I don't cream. <laughs> Wish nothing but the best. I guess I'm just never going to draw Whirlwind. And honestly, that's okay, because I know how to win games without it. Or do you now? Can we burn people with the flower, Mr. Frazier? What's the flower? Oh, yes. Well, after, after this, I got challenged to a rematch, Victor. I got challenged to a rematch. Honestly, if you got a super chat, I'm down the uh I'm down to play with the super chat requests, you know? You know? Okay, well keep falling. Keep any on of, falling. Any of y'all chatty Cathy's? Is this shrink again? Are you gonna shrink your fucking cart? Okay. Alright, that's an acceptable thing. What's that thing's defense? Uh it was like a thousand, I think, right? What what's his name? His defense. Chaos and Master, I think. Yeah, that's his name. Chaos and Master. I think it was a thousand. Yeah, that's a thousand. Thanks. I don't want to have to Google that. Don't make me Google things I don't want to. Don't make me look up things I shouldn't do. Battle phase. Battle. Battle phase. You're trying to have a battle with me, mate. Battle phase. Battle, battle, battle phase. That card is so much worse than Deep Prison. That card is so much worse than Deep Prison. Do, 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 do. That card is so much worse than Deep Prison. Do, 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 do. That card should be Deep Prison every time. Uh, 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 uh. And that card shouldn't be a mirror force. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Very nice. How much?
I like to move it. I like to cha cha. I like to move it. I like to cha cha with a Dominican reason. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yep, I knew that this card was happening. Okay. Let me think. So, they're going Heavy Storm, which is them... I can make them lose three cards. Do they have Solemn for my Solemn? That would be the only thing that really screws me here is if they have Solemn. Chat, do we think that our opponent has Solemn Judgment? This guy isn't nearly as lucky as the last, so. That's what they I'm need saying. to have Solemn Judgment right here. That is the only card they could possibly have that would screw us. If they don't have Solemn, we win. So I'm going to say you don't have Solemn. And if you do, you're the best. Okay. With the Dominican, the reason the thing. Yeah. This guy thought it was his hood. Kiss the glass. This card is so much better than Deep Prison. Da -da -da -dun -dun. This card is so much better than Deep Prison. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> this card should never be a Deep Prison. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This card is looking like a really cool one. You used your mirror force already. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm gonna get in for some damage. We're just doing reindeer games, reindeer games, reindeer games. We're just doing reindeer games all the do da day. Oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm slightly at that point where I'm a little delirious. Like you can tell that I'm. I'm singing a lot, I'm moving a lot, I'm gyrating and all that stuff. So I think it's starting to set in that I've uh, been streaming for a while now. You know? Starting to set in. It's, it's, it's starting to set in a bit. I have nothing to pop. I have nothing to You know what, uh, you know what might, uh, Houston. Give, you, give you some... I have nothing like Whitney Houston. Yeah, I have nothing, nothing, nothing to make me. Mm -mm. Put on some relaxing music. Surely you jest. Surely you jest. Surely you jest. I'm just taking away all their cards. Uh, that has 2,000 defense. Do I care? Yeah, I'll let you have that. I'm not that. <sighs> you know what uh, might uh, help keep your interest up a little bit? What's that, King? We, uh, we can do a cube draft for Edison. I feel like that would take a very long time. Doesn't really take long. It's got the website. Oh, okay. One sec. Ally of Justice. I'll get it all. I'll get it all set up. Uh, so let me log into my account. Profile. La 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 la. Oh Collection. my god. Off the top. Off the tizop. Yes, that is annoying. That is quite annoying. My cubes. Yeah, 
You see, sometimes you could be outplaying your opponent to all hell and then they just still get lucky. And it's like, really, bro? Really? That's what we're doing? Take 200. That looks like three darks to me. Uh huh. So I could do 38, which is not enough to kill. We're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait here. Can I get a Shora? I know you're not gonna give me Whirlwind because they're like, that's just kind of cruelty. But can I at least get a Shora? Like, be for real. Oh, I didn't realize how low I was, just by the way. I had no idea that I was this low. Like, I'm not even kidding. Um. Hmm. Well, don't be sad now. So, uh, do you have lethal? No, it's only forty-three. Yeah, with brain control. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what Those I want. But, He's already have her stormed once. Yeah, heavy is gone. I don't have to worry about that. So all the back rows are going down. The only thing I'm wondering is like, maybe you take him out of brain control range. He has grand mole in hand. Uh, if I take him out of brain control range, I take myself out of repression range. So I'm just going to oh, definitely killing this thing, obviously. I can't believe how close this game got. <laughs> like, I'm high key annoyed. Literally, a Shora at any point is GG. I played this whole game with fucking Blizzards and Kalut. Come on, damn it. Help me. In. I guess I have the brain control too, but like, eh. What's up, Mark? How's it going, buddy? How's it going, Mark P? Summon cat, cat, good. You go back to the hand by yourself. By yourself, bitch. That's funny. That is funny. Um, What could possibly happen here? Nothing, right? Nothing compares to you. Yeah. Okay. You had me going in the first half. Not gonna lie. You had me going in the first half. Not going to lie. I feel like these might be good against this deck. Let me think. What does he play? Uh, I hate Cyber Dragon. I'm at work where I'll be watching all day. Mole Lady Unknown Unknown. Well, one of them was Book of Moon. We'll never know the last one. I got a whirlwind, but nothing. You guys have watched me play Black Wings for like, this is like the fifth game, I think. And this is the first time I've seen whirlwind. But just look at the hand. Look at the material. Oh my god, this thing again? Opinion on hybrid versus pure. I think hybrid is better. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Can we please stop with that? Okay, pro heavy, pro heavy. You got me. 
But now what? What you got? A gale? Okay. Okay, okay. All right. One time for the one time, two times for the two times. What are, damn, he got all the backer removal. What are monsters because you ain't drawing? Yeah, I mean, my opponent has heavy MST Gale. I'm out here, you know, just trying, you know? We just trying, we're just trying. Mm, 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 mm. Every one of these games would just be like significantly easier if I had Icarus Attack, which is the only card I've been honestly asking for. I feel like it just trivializes so much of this fake matchup. Icarus me, please. Games like this are why I can't play Black Wings every tourney. I mean, Sonny, this is obviously an outlier game, right? Like, I never, I never consider outlier games in my reason to play or not play a deck. You are chain blocked, my guy. Yes, 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 you are chain blocked. Okay. I do not want to change anything again. I just want to draw a fucking hand that has Icarus attack in it, please. Okay. All right, dueling book. Okay. All right, we're going to do this. I feel like Black Wings has, has a lack of agency. I don't even know what that means. What does that even mean? A lack of agency in Yu-Gi-Oh. What does that mean? Do, 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 do. Man, the rich just keep getting on richer. Vayu. Vayu. Hmm. Not, not him saying, wow. Why we? Wowzes. Wowie, your hand's really weak. Okay. Um, let's see. What are we doing here? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, we might just be passing. We're passing. Because my alts, I have Gruffers in my deck. So I need to draw a Gruffer. 
Well, that's one of the cards that I could draw is Grafner. One of the cards I could draw is Grafner. What happened to Kenny? Kenny is going to be in and out. Kenny is going to be in and out. The Giga Chad Angel beat up. Yes. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. Okay. All right. GG's. Okay. Well, a brick is a brick. I was never going to draw a monster, apparently. All right, I was never going to draw a monster. And I play 20... How many? Like 20-something? Uh, I know I play... Yes. Yes, I do. Yes. It's my name, actually. Why did you think I had a yes? <laughs> Thanks for the support. Um see ya pal. See ya. Alright, well you can't beat bricks no matter what you do. Every deck has them, right? Let's see what we got next. Okay, so we're doing we got this Emma Burn. All right, let's see who's who's hosting Edison Meta. Not Edison Meta. I mean, technically, technically, right? This that got top eight at a tournament. Okay, so it's not it's not that it's not meta. Fuck, did I did I set it as default? Oh, I hope I set it as default. I don't want to be playing Black Wings again. Okay. Oh, okay. Why does everyone who hosts have it not on Classic? Or is, or is it actually not working? Uh, in this case, I kind of do want both Lone Fires in this specific case because I have the Amaryllis in the grave. So as I say, if this card you control destroys it to the grave, I flip. Throwing your phase, you're going to move to play one plant. Okay. Uh, banish. Special summon and defense. How you guys doing out there? Oh, it's Light Sworn. I mean, it has to be JD, right? Yeah, we're just gonna put JD away. And okay, so Caius, uh, Dandy, Lila, Jane, Trooper. Put JD back. It drives it drives me crazy as well. I'm assuming newer players. Okay. Is this Jarrell Winston's deck? No, it is not. This is Carpath's deck, actually. This is Car is a Carpath original. 
Uh, I wonder, so if I mill dandelion, I'll fill my field up, which I kind of don't want to do. I kind of want this. So I'm thinking here. Hmm. I want to push a lot of damage at the same time though. So I'm just thinking if I want to DDR for long fire and then get like second titan. Well, I'm just going to do this first. Okay, we did not hit nonsense, so. Wait, do I have to discard a monster? Discard a card, okay, good. Uh... Just do another one of this, yeah. Um, okay. So that is Dandelion. Okay. Have you ever played Fitch Dragons? I have not. Lithium got a 10 1 Erlaris deck. The former Armageddon is up with another Dragon Top. Have you ever played uh, Know Your Opponent? Wait, no, is a value turbo deck. We are safe. Okay. Ooh, I get to try out this thing. Over against Light Sworn, which not doing that. Oh, uh, these can go. This card's kind of aids as well. In fact, I really don't like this card actually against Light Sworn. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this. Like, I want to resolve it so bad. I don't think I've ever resolved being comedian, actually, but it's so good against Light Sworn specifically. Sam, when it's your deck, it's your when it's your day, it's your day, right? Oh, is that machines in here too? Got some machines. In before he sets hamster. See, this is how pro players think. It's the future I can see that's so raven. It's so mysterious to me. What the fuck is this deck? Is it Maki to control with like extra layers? Is that what's happening? Is this like Maki to control and then he just added a Jane? Because I saw a Jane in his hand last time. Yep, that's fine. Jane, okay. A turn to Pot Avarice. Okay, all right. Uh, all the fortress. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it, girl. You got it.
Great draw. Target back row. I'm gonna negate. What if it was like Harold DeVoy's light? How would you how would you feel? I know. I thought the same thing, Mark. I literally looked at his graveyard and I just saw Raiko in there and I was like, um. Yeah, Jane for Alias. I guess if you're like, this is a hero beat meta or something, then that, that does make sense a little bit. I think he's realizing now where he messed up his pot of Everest. I wasn't paying attention. You must have. I wasn't so <laughs> Mark said sus sus on him No <laughs> What the fuck? No you cannot What kind of question is that? I don't know what you did with Pot Everest. I literally was talking to my chat, to my stream, while you were resolving a card that takes forever to resolve. He wants takes, he's back. He's like, yeah, how do you... I don't know how you... I've never seen somebody fuck up their pot of Everest. I've never seen this in my life. I've never seen it. Is that the new rule now? Amarillo's burn making, making people do illegal plays? He, he said he played pot of Everest and he went all but... He said all but fortress. Then on the following turn or whatever, he goes uh, discard Machina Force to bring back fortress and realize that he put back fortress anyway with Pot of Everest without realizing it. And he's like, did I fuck this up? And I'm like, I don't know. I was talking to chat. Like, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What's happening right now? Limiter. Okay. 36. So I take 800. No, is the deck the deck is uh I mean I obviously drew a really really bad hand in this game. Like I had lone fires which is good, but then I just drew trade in volcanic counter volcanic counter. So, it's like what are you going to do, right? Uh but game 1 we drew a god hand. That's why I'm not complaining at all. And game 1 was like everything you want. Yeah. Okay, so I don't actually think this is lights one anymore. Which means that I don't actually need this as much anymore. Uh, oh, and it's also Machina, so definitely want to get funny. Get a little haha. -ha. Yeah, get a little hoo hoo haha. -ha. Uh, let's see, what else do we want? So I thought he does play. Okay, wait, 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 wait. He does play JD though.
So I'm like only part partially crazy here. He plays JD. He does actually play JD. Oh, maybe he sided into like Machina or some shit. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Like, I actually just don't. Well, this is a hand. It is a hand. Uh, so how are we feeling? So, set, set. This has got to stop. Enough is enough. Charge, recharge. You love to see it. Um, let's do. Gear frame. Gear frame. Charge. No wolf. Tribute for guys. Charge. Stop. Parental. Ice. Uh. Did I charge, recharge, charge, charge, Kaios? Fortress. Put back gear frame. Machinus, Caius, and JD is a lot. I agree. Every time I draw a bad hand, it's always against a good player and vice versa. Okay, so charge is down. So he still has Fortress, Caius, Torrential Recharge. Get this hoe. Yep. Okay, so that is two Caius in the grave, and the third one is in the hand. Jesus Christ, what is... Yo, DB is on some shit today, okay? The amount of lucky nonsense I'm seeing today is unhinged. It's unhinged! This is absolutely unreal. Someone should have hosted a tournament today. Clearly. We would have saw some crazy shit. Okay, so I noted there's a torrential in the back row. Uh... So we have to go flip. Target. Oh, wow. My, oh, wow. 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 Wee, 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 wow. Charge, recharge, Avarice. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, okay. We are literally just sacking each other. Oh damn, not my whole key coming off. Hold on guys. My O key <laughs> came off for a second. I have a mechanical keyboard. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Battle phase. Battle. You trying to please, battle, bloke? Please just be right, go. Damn it. Hate this thing. It's all right. He's just got a mill. Okay. Banish the Titano. Bring out the Amaryllis. Amarilla. I'm a Amaryllis. Uh, so I'm thinking about what to pay for cost. Cause I could do Lone Fire Blossom too. 
What does Lone Fire get you? Another uh, dandy? It gets, it gets Titania or Dandy. It gets me whatever I want. Oh, you have more Titanials in the deck? Yes, that's this is Amarillo's Burn. Yeah, it plays a lot of them. Oh. I didn't realize the ratio you were playing. I just got in. I made some food. Gotcha, King. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gotcha, King. This is the Amaryllis burn. Gotta let it burn. I love this duck. Let it burn. Let it burn. Oh my God! Another. What is this? At least he keeps milling his forces. Stop <laughs> the madness. He's getting pretty shit mills, all considering, you know? Yeah, that is true. But that means his draws are broken. I don't know if that's what that means. <laughs> no, that's what it means. Okay, all right. Listen, I can't tell you shit. Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. nothing. You want to try to do the uh, cube draft after the set? So... <sighs> I was thinking about this. How are we going to do is what is it? Me and you cubing? Yeah. But then you can't watch the stream. Oh, uh, yeah. I won't watch the stream. All right. I'm about to say it doesn't make sense if you're like able to yeah. see what I'm doing. Yeah, we're not going to be. Yeah. I mean, that's a that that's a given. I don't really know if I even want to do that, to be honest. I'm still debating. Okay. I kind of want to host a tournament in the I Am Their Podcast Discord thing. I want to see if there's interest after this. Okay. That sounds fun. Because then you could just play a net. I mean, I don't know if I would play. I think I'd rather just watch and commentate. That's also fair. Um, let me see. Hmm. Saving a Raikou doesn't really matter, I feel like. I'm assuming he searched Machina Fortress. Attacked Raikou. Uh, added Machina Fortress to hand. Yeah, I think we just take the 16 and then... Take 16 and burn him for 16. Yeah. Okay. So DDR, discard, counter, bring back Lone Fire, uh, Titanial attack over Fortress, which will then what does this what does it say? You take battle damage from this card in your graveyard, banish it from your graveyard. Then if there is a fire monster other than volcanic counter, okay. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Uh, what do I want? Uh, DDR, discard Phoenician cluster. Yeah, DDR discard Phoenician cluster. Okay, all right. Or do I want to keep the Phoenician cluster in hand? Sorry. I want to keep the Phoenician Cluster here just in case I draw trade in. Should I play that I'm going to maybe draw trade in? I have looking at your hand, I would probably say no since you have uh, burial. Yeah, I think that this deck is most annoying when. All right, we're gonna do this. Um, and then declare to great <clears throat> Just to check, I don't have anything that I want to bring out except her. So I'm going to attack. Put this in attack. It's crazy. A hidden armory just now would have been game. Like, um, anything that's the Ivac could snatch his monster. Yeah, brain control. Yep. Yeah, I would just kill him. Uh, battle phase, you take 300. 
Okay, main phase two set. And then in phase banish Titanio, bring back my guy. Yeah, that's the play. The cluster buster. And you got Titanial to deal with Caius. Yeah, no, Caius should not be coming out this turn. Yep. You have a pretty good uh pretty good little setup here. Yeah, it looks annoying. How you holding up on this marathon, champ? Dan, I'm doing pretty well. You know, it is currently 626, which means I have about 12 plus 12 hours puts me at 6 a.m. and then another like two hours and 40 minutes. So I have about 14 hours and 40 minutes. You know what you should do? You should um, you should message in the Discord now. Yeah. But you're still in a duel. I am nerd. Yu-Gi-Oh. Would anyone be interested in an I am nerd small cup? Uh, so he's trying to attack my Phoenician cluster. So, hmm. Do I just let this go or do I just try to push his shit in next turn? I'm going to get greedy. There's greed in my heart. Not even a back row to set. That was a good draw. That was a good draw. What would you do? Uh, single elimination? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Single limb just to be... Yeah, just like the Beast Mode Circus Series, but it'll be called like the I Am There Small Cup. And everybody in the Discord can play in it tonight. It's. Uh, yeah. I'm setting up a challenge now. Oh, you can do that? Yeah. I have a, um, I actually have the Jazz Bot in the I Am There Podcast Discord server. Oh, does, does that set up everything, including the challenge? Yeah, duh, it, yeah, you can do it all from that, apparently. Oh, okay. I think I attack here. He's going to go pop. Yeah. I'm not thinking about this anymore. I'm sorry. My mind is like muddled. So the Claire effect tribute to grave. Uh, when does this die? It is destroyed after damage calc. Okay. So that's perfect. Yep. Okay. So you take some damage there. And then, so now you have Ryko. If I just go to end phase and bring back both of the clusters, you can't use Ryko. Yeah, main phase two. We're going to set. And we're going to go uh -uh, vanish, vanish, special, special. Accountant brain fried. It really is, Mark. Like, how you holding up, champ? How reckless? I love to play in a tournament. Does anyone have a link to the Discord? You can only get into the Discord by joining the I Am Their Podcast Patreon. So you have to go through the Patreon first, and then I'll send you a link to the Discord. The only people who are in our Discord are people who are active members on our Patreon. That's pretty much how it works. Okay. 
Oh, you're going to battle phase. That's that's ballsy. Um All right, I feel like if I wing blast her, there's just no way that this game doesn't end. Yeah. <sighs> Two back row now. That's interesting. I might as well summon his dandelion. Torrential's gone, right? Yeah, Torrential is gone. Mirror Force would be a bitch, but like... If they got it, they got it, right? So yeah, we're just gonna summon. to get it out before you leave all right gg's deck dizzle okay so as for this tournament um wait what did vinny what is vinny posting carl bot carl bot that's the most popular bots oh that's you okay yeah i was just saying yeah, so I think that like the slash join command and all that is here, right? Yeah, slash join is here. So I can yeah. create a, I can create a tournament on Shalom. Yeah, you do slash create to start it, I think. Oh, should I should I start from Shalom or start from here? Um if you want me to try to figure it out, I can try. I, I think I have an idea how it works. Tournament. Mod only create a tournament. Create. Full name of the tournament. I am nerd small cup one abbreviation for the tournament i am in small cup uh type of tournament single elimination se what channel will host this event Yu-Gi-Oh. oh there it goes it created it i'm yep. there small small cup one okay so we'll put this on stream Um, but well, you don't want to put the link in case you know. Oh, should I? Yeah, because well, anyone who ha would have the link can join, right? I guess I could. Okay, so maybe I should delete that tournament and then start another one. Because then, Yu-Gi-Oh. Hold on, let me let me delete that one. Okay, wait. Uh, you would do slash end and then the name of the tournament. Oh, wow. You know so much. Tournament. Uh, I don't... Specify a value. So I am in. Enter the tournament name or abbreviation SC1. The tournament has not begun. Okay, so. What do I do to start? Slash start. It? Yeah. Okay. You could start and then end it. Slash. May not work though, since there's no entrance. But you could just ignore it and just make another one. Yeah. It says no entr okay. entrance. Okay. Found. So slash. <laughs> you could just create a new one. Yeah, I think that's that one's just gonna be stuck in the void. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right. Create. Create a tournament. Okay. Okay. 
So let me delete this. Okay. All right, so are you sure that even with that link, you can just join it though? I feel like you have to join through the Discord by typing slash join because you have to give a deck list and everything. Maybe, maybe that's true because, yeah, actually, I don't. Yeah, I can't. There isn't anything. Well, hmm. yeah, I feel like see. there's no I'm way. I'm just going to test join. I'm just going to test join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you do that? Uh, I'm going to select the first one, the small cup one. Check my DMs. Please provide. Yep, you're right. You're right. Even with the link. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So even with the link, what what happened? Even even with the link, um, I can't join. It, I have to do the whole process like that, you know, like format library tournaments where I gotta submit a deck list and the bots gotta DM me, all that stuff. Okay. Can you join? How about you join the first one and I'll join the first one? Okay. And then I'll then I can start it and end it. Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. So join do, 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 Join do. that first one Please check your yeah. DMs Please provide right. dueling book link Alright so give us a second We are going to get this My deck is perfectly legal And I've entered Oh I'm already logged into the server So I just need to get a deck list a constructor uh export deck download link yes your deck is legal okay so now I'll go back into the server so then what we want to do is slash start select a tournament should this tournament be seated by format library? No. You do not have permission to do that. Uh, what? Slash start. Nothing selected. So it's saying should just sort of be seated by format library. I don't. Um, let me see. Should I do shuffle? I don't fucking know. Yes, yeah, tell me I don't have permission. Uh, let's see. Is there a mod role that you can give to yourself? Um, grants. Oh, uh, let me make myself a mod as well. Oh, here we go. Format role. So I just gave myself the mod roll. Right, start. Let me see if that matters. Yeah, it says mod only. So maybe now slash start. Oh, it looks like destroy a tournament just gets it e gets rid of it easily. Oh, destroy. Yeah, slash destroy. Okay, and then. All right, hold on. I'm looking at all the retro bot commands. Let's see. Okay, so uh, that got deleted. Yup. Uh, let's see. Created this tournament four minutes ago. Okay. So I think I am freaking hot. I messaged you the retro bot user guide. Yeah, I'm reading it right now. I guess you would just be a mod if you were a mod in the Discord, but you are. I just made myself weird. a mod. Oh, okay. But I think even after I made myself a mod, it said you didn't have permission to do that. When it said, like, 
I just messaged Jazz. I need to also like go pee real quick. So um what time I'd ask in Discord, but I don't want to mess up you working on challenge. No, you can ask in Discord, uh, Dan. I mean it, it'll start whenever we get like a, a good amount of people, I guess. So what's up champ? Just tuning in. Wish you luck on this 24 hour stream. I'll be here for as long as I can. Thank you. I'm pretty sure you can only join if you are in the Discord. Yeah, you can only join if you're in the Discord, right? And to join the Discord, you must be a Patreon member. Correct. All of these things are correct. Which I want to... Okay, let me do this real quick. myself back on oh wait that is not how i looked so also so this is dueling book let me get the hell out of here i want to go to twitch because there's a smash tournament happening yeah battle of z
What the hell is going on? Why is the stream so bad? Is this stream bad? I can't tell. It's like the Twitch stream, I mean. Oh, it loading? Yeah, I mean. It's like definitely not loading. shitting the bed. Not loading, that's for sure. Look at this quality, too. Like, what is going on? So Jazz said he'll he'll help. Okay, he said, can you try it again now? So I guess it's not going to work now because we don't have enough, you yeah, know, entrance. So, um, Stengo, you want to try that again with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. So let me grab a deck list again. Wait, this is a duck. Not me entering with your fucking, your fairy deck. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, I registered. Uh, join. Please check your DM. All right, your deck is legal now. Okay, so slash. Uh, what did I want to do? So slash start. Right. Start. No. Okay, let's go seeds. Seeds will not be changed. Let's go, your tournament starting now. Not Jazz going in on me. He said two person tournament? <laughs> Truly a small cup. <laughs> no, we are not. <laughs> That's we funny. are not yeah that was good <laughs> okay so uh you said destroy Retrobot is like, what is going on? So maybe I should create a Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament channel because I need to create a new channel. Definitely need to create a new channel. Create channel. So text channel. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tournament. Let me message Kenny something real quick. The ultimate meta is like Honestly, it's all over the place, but Cloud, the best player in the world plays Cloud, Spargo. Um, a true hero lost in top four to the guy who won. 
No, that's not the deck I'm taking in ass. Look at how terrible this is. This is some bullshit that Stengo... That has to go. <laughs> it seems like a common trend with, with, uh, with Kyra recently. Seems to be losing to the person that wins. That's true. <laughs> he says, is the deck you take in the Nationals? I feel so offended. Okay. Is doing. Hey, we're doing it up. You fucking scumbags. Are you walking through my streets <laughs> and trying to take what's mine? <laughs> Maybe. What's it to you? All right. I just, I just don't take kindly. To people coming in here and treating me like I'm Scrooge McDuck. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna throw a a golden a golden ingot at your head. A golden ignit, huh? Not an ignit, an ingot. Ingot. That's right. I should probably move this over. Okay. Can we make it derpy? It's is awesome. there an ultimate tournament happening? There is. What the fuck was that Dragon Ball Z ad? Was there? It wasn't like an ad that played. It was like part of the layout before the match started. The fuck is that? First gets. Okay, so Stango, you might want to play. Um, second. Yeah, Stango, get in that tournament, bitch. So first gets fifty bucks. Second gets twenty-five. Third and fourth. Uh, twelve fifty each. Oh, okay. Might get a little dueling action going then. Yeah, it's free money. You don't. It's no entry. No entry. If you are part of our Patreon already, you can just join it. Mm. Damn, Damn, I might have to join. Damn, Hydro really? Pump joined quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Me and Fraser are, are also going to join the win our money back. No, I'm just kidding. Yo, <laughs> that's the scam. If you throw me in there, <laughs> that's the scam. All right, Hydro Pump is in. All right, we got Hydro Pump in so far. I said, we can get enough people to fire. Alrighty. What time asked quest? Uh, I'm going to leave signups open for at least an hour. So let's say it'll start at eight o'clock. So signups will be open. Signups open right now. 
for the Patreon people. Oh no, a true hero. What will happen? Fuck work. Get your redemption. <laughs> That'll be nuts. I would join, but alas, I have work. Good luck to everyone. Yeah, so the it's open right now. You have to be in the Discord slash join. We'll let you join it. Vinny, you trying to join? I need all. The, I need everybody to play. Am I like brain dead? Uh, is there a chat happening somewhere that I can't tell? It's uh, it's called Yu-Gi-Oh channels. Oh, okay. I was just. I mean Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Sorry, the, the name of the thing. You know, forgive me for. All right, people are joining. Looking in the in the live stream chat. Yes. So this. So we're giving a hundred dollars total. First is 50, second is 25, third and fourth get 12.50. This is our first ever tournament. So, you know, it's obviously gonna be small cause it's just, it's like between all of our friends and stuff and the people who have been How supporting many? the podcast for a while. How many people have you so far? Uh, let's Ooh. see. It takes a while to enter cause you have to give out your deck list and everything. But so far Quest, Stango and Rage Peacock and Hydro Pump and Vinny I think are all joining because they all have used the slash join command, but then you have to submit a deck list after that. So, yeah, hopefully, I'd like there to be at least eight people. Yes, that's I agree. I know it's there like super be, uh, short notice, but there might be a channel that. To advertise in format library i don't know if there is i don't think there is well it's fine because this is between like everybody who's on our patreon um All right or not discord through that so i don't want to like advertise to the, the whole world type of thing because right. then yeah but i get what you're saying king i don't get what you're saying can I write in my own chat? I'm sure I'm sure I can. Let me see. How do I where's the chat? Where is the actual stream at? Okay, let me pull this over here. Mm. Yo yo. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let me. Oh my god, Master Duel is up to season 19? Just doesn't... I just can't believe it's been that long. I know that's random, but... There you go, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hydro said one thousand and one dollar prize for first is pretty good. Uh, let me see if I can edit that because it fucked up my whole. It fucked up my whole thing. Maybe I should. I'll just remove that comment. Good catch, Hydro. I'm being trolled. I will say this: my energy levels are still very high. Um, so I'm happy about that. Wait, the best what? Why is this is not pasting correctly? What are you, what are you slowing up over here? First, uh, I'm slowing it up. First 50, second, I'm just going to type it out manually, 25, third, and fourth, 12, 50. Okay. How dumb should you make this deck list? I don't know. I mean, you could just play Black Wings and that'd be pretty dumb. As in like, 
dumb good. Here goes the fucking birds again. Outside of my room. It's it is 7 p.m. Why are there still birds chirping? Maybe they're having sex. They're having like bird sex. I'm gonna go see if I can attack this bird. Not literally attack it, but just like bear with me. Shut up! God damn it! No more chirping. More stream. God. You're embarrassing me in front of my friend. Okay, I'm back. I just think the I weirdest, think the weirdest part about that was that you implied you had friends. No oh, shit. I just think that, you know. That's why the birds stopped chirping. They were like, this loser <laughs> thinks he actually has friends. How do I know if the bot accepted my deck list? So if the bot accepted your deck list in Rage Peacock, it will say your deck list is perfectly legal. You have to, it'll send you a DM asking you for your deck list. You give it a link to the deck. And then after that, it will tell you that the deck is legal. So far, I still only see Hydro Pump in the actual tournament, though. I don't know if that is correct. Do I see all these people using Slash Join? I guess, like, I guess you can use Slash Join and then you don't submit your deck list until you're ready. So if you still have to, like, you know, fix your deck list up and all that, then that makes sense. Yeah, I have to, um, I'm in the middle of a Tengu set. So once I get out of this, I'll, uh, yeah. fully finish my registration. Let me go back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tournament's channel. Where is that at? Oh, that's not supposed to be here. Okay, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tournament channel at uh, Tournament Participants. Notify users with the role who have permission to view this channel. I wonder, Tournament Participants, I wonder if like, it should automatically assign that role to everyone who plays in the tournament. Hmm. Okay, anyway. So what does at here do? Is that, how does at here notify everyone online? Okay, that'll work. So at here, signups will remain open until 8 p.m. It, oh shit, I suck at this. It is completely free to enter. Just wanted to say thanks to everyone who has supported us in these last two years so we're giving away uh so 8 p.m eastern time 8 p.m eastern is when the sign ups close and I'm going to be hosting in my cosplay. I'm going to be broadcasting. I'm going to be doing commentary on the tournament in my cosplay outfit. So cosplay is coming up in the next in the next hour, actually. So at 730, I'm going to step away or I guess like 740. I'll step away to get into cosplay and then Kenny can entertain you guys for a little bit. Ah. <sighs> And I'm sorry, I know this is very last minute, uh, but I just wanted to do this on a whim. Just kind of like, you know, we're doing a 24 hour stream. I have so much more time. Right. Bean. There's monies on the line. All right, Mr. Soltai said he's going to play. Yes, we're getting some people in. I'm so happy. Listen, you don't need to go to work tomorrow. Tuesday is the 4th of July. Gary? What's Gary doing? Tell oh, yeah. Gary to play. Oh, hold on. Wait, you're right.
Money on the line. This is the judgment free zone. <laughs> yeah, I was curious about that too. I was just like, really? Was that Kenny? Was that that, that noise? <laughs> yeah. Was that Kenny? It uh, was. It was. I just. Okay, so after this, know. after this tournament, however long that takes or whatever, um, we can do some Smash Ultimate if people are still up. I, it's going to get really late, obviously. So, Rob was going ham. I bet your cosplay is Michael Jackson Muzan. My cosplay is unhinged, and I cannot wait for you all to see it. Cosplay coming up. Oh, let me let me change the stream to say epic cosplay coming up. Epic cosplay at eight. At 8 p.m. Epic cosplay. Epic cosplays of history. Epic Frasier cosplay 2. There we go. If I'm strong, I'll survive and I'll keep my dream alive. Anybody? I mean, know what comes next. Nope. It's the Battle Frontier. Pokemon. Be the best you can be and you'll find your destiny. <laughs> That's what it is, baby. It's the Battle Frontier. Pokemon. Right, let me get a link to our Patreon real quick. Mm, I don't like the way that looks. Boy, I don't like the way you look. <laughs> um, link to Patreon. Okay. So, Stango or Kenny, one of you, can you check the description and stuff? And I actually can do this myself. I'm being slow. I just want to see if the description is showing to what I just updated it to. Okay, so it, it did update. So it says... Uh, you have to be an I'm There podcast Discord to join the tournament. Our Discord is available to everyone on the Patreon. The link to the Patreon is there. We're giving away $100 to top four. You don't have to pay anything to actually join the tournament. Uh, as long as you are already in our Discord, you can join. And obviously, people who are on our Patreon, I don't even care if you're at $3 tier or whatever. It doesn't matter. As long as you have ever supported us, um, the tournament is free to you. So uh, just a thank you. It's like a thank you tournament to everyone who's been supporting us for the last two years. Can I just say that it annoys me that Hydro Pump isn't fat? <laughs> Hydro Pump is actually like kind of like a, a little gym bro. Like Hydro He's, got Hydro a little built. Like I'm a Hydro in person. I'm just, I'm just saying like, especially when you look at his profile picture of that fucking fat ass Blastoise. Like that Blastoise like looks like he dicks down. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he dicks down. <laughs> and I just... Sometimes I want people to be who their internet perception is. I want Hydro Pump to be like this fat guy that just like just dicks down. <laughs> Not dicks down. You cannot <laughs> keep saying dicks down on our <laughs> Dicks down is so fucking unhinged. Oh man. Dead be awesome. just want him to be this big guy like Ron Jeremy. Or Ron Athen. Or oh, Ronathan. Yes, yo, but all right, before the stream is over, like tonight or whatever, I'm definitely pulling up the Ronathan. Oh, man. Okay, we got Enraged Peacock and Hydro Pump so far are officially in the bracket. Guys, signups are open until 8 p.m. Signups are open until 8 p.m. Enraged Peacock. I definitely know I'm not going to play well in this tournament. I'm fucking hot as shit and I'm making constant misplays in this set right now. 
Yo, I don't know why I'm so hot. My air is on and everything. And I, well, I'm wearing a thermal, which was also like it, in the morning, it was freezing in my apartment. And I don't know if it's just because I've been doing this for so long and I have all these lights on me, but I'm getting really hot. Like, I've been hot for a while. I just want to know in what fucking universe did you think it was okay to wear a thermal in the middle of summer? Listen, I'm in my apartment. It's temperature controlled. I thought, ah. I, thought it, I thought it was somewhat of a decent idea, but because i didn't want to be cold while streaming at first but now i'm getting hot so maybe i'll i don't know maybe i'll do something about it you you do something about it ronathan ronathan joins the battle tournament is single elimination by the way guys tournament is tournament is single elim Mm. We're doing one and done. Well, best two out of three. When is one 8 p.m. in your time zone? 8 p.m. in our time zone is in less than an hour. It's in like 47 minutes. Yes, that's exactly right. 47 minutes, guys. And if you're strong, you'll survive. Oh, this is Apollo Kage versus Zamba. These are two of the best players in the world. Zamba just won a super major like three weeks ago. Over Leo and Tweak and all the Japanese people. I was about to say a bad word. Um, <laughs> I saved it. <laughs> oh, man. Kill Bill. Kill Bill, man. Pai Mei. I would have blamed it on Pai Mei. He was like, I hate the goddamn... I was like, yo. He was he was on one. All right. We he, pulled it out. He was like, how's your Cantonese? No, he said... Yeah, he said, how's your Cantonese? She said something and I speak Japanese. And he was like, I hate the Japanese. I was like, oh, shit. Like, Pai Mei gave no fucks. All right. He gave zero fucks. Not a one, not a one fuck. All right, let's go ahead and join this a bad boy. You're a bad, bad boy, deck. I'm bad right to the bone. Da -na 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 -na. We in there. All right, back to Tangu. Y'all don't know how bad I wish I was rich. The things that I would do, like the ah. tournaments that I would hold. You would be like Kaiba, flying in on a helicopter to host your tournament? Uh-huh. You know, hear me out. Okay, we got a new Patreon person, Wayne Trader, my buddy. Let me message Wayne. Give him a link to the Discord. You, you'd be treating Kyra like Joey Wheeler. Be like, registration ends at blah, blah, blah. Gary, make sure that Kyra was late. <laughs> <laughs> Am I able to pin my message? The one that I wrote? Yes. Mm. Pin message. There we go. Message pinned. I don't know what that does. Okay, there we go. First 50, second 25, third and fourth 12, 50 each. They should let you edit messages. But I guess <sighs> they should let the host of the stream edit messages. That's wild. Because I wanted to say like, um, like all the stuff in it, but some, some reason I like all the fat Pokemon. Hydra, let me find out you a chubby chaser, dog. Let me find out. I mean, big girls need love too. Or guys, whatever you're into. Yeah, Hydro, the Smash Tournament setting does actually look really cool. I don't know what exactly. Who's OG99? Is that Gary? Gary? Uh, probably. I don't recall seeing Gary join, though. Where did he join at? I see him. 
Oh, OG is now registered. Wow, that's actually... Yeah, there you go. There we go, baby. Right, let me tell Gary to convince Fiend. <sighs> yeah, I need to... I need to beat Luca tournament again. Ooh. Mm. Smack my bitch up. There is free money on the line. Free money. All you got to do is place in top four and you get money. I like the females and not the large one. <laughs> okay. Listen, everyone has a preference, okay? And that's fine, Hydro. You know, you're allowed to like whatever you like. I like the men's. The tall ones. See? You see how that works? See? Hmm. I don't like man's no more. <laughs> okay, look, people are pouring into the bracket now officially. Officially. Okay. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I like women's. Women. Yeah, that's what literally what he did at the end. <laughs> 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 oh man. We stole. Chillin' dude. I like boys and girls of legal age, says the animatic lunatic. I mean, honestly, I love that for you. Boys and girls of legal age. That's can't be more clear than that. You know what anime characters are profile? That looks familiar. Uh that's from Cowboy Bebop, right? I don't think so. Oh, uh, it from this this is, looks like the girl uh I always want to call her Molly Valentine, but that is not her name. Well, but, yeah, it is. Well, Molly Valentine right? is from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, no. Wait, yeah, it's not. Cowboy <laughs> Bebop. I forget her name. I want to duplicate this text field. I'm sure I can. Where is duplicate at? It's Faye Valentine. Faye. Okay, so it is actually very close, though. Yeah. Oh, Gintama. That's why I was thrown off. I was like... I was like, wait a minute, isn't so, that her name? So it is actually really close. That's okay. Oh, wait, no. Insert a text box. So I oh, Gintama. Mm hmm. Uh, it's an anime I want to watch all of, but like, goodness. it's similar to One Piece in that it's fucking huge. Oh, is it really? It's like gigantic? Yeah. Okay. 8 p.m. Eastern. Silence close at 8 p.m. Eastern. Real quick, I'm getting uh, somebody shit talking me in my DMs, okay? I'm not going to say who they are, but they're saying, wow, how did y'all forget her name? Let me just clear something up, okay? Uh, I always knew Faye's name, but when Fraser said My Valentine, because I recognized the name My Valentine and I knew her name was Faye Valentine, it fucking, it put me in a, I got put in a Tsukiyomi, all right? It like, it threw me off. I was like, wait a second. That name, because the name sounds correct. I was like, "That's a that's the," and her last name is Valentine. What even is Every, this? Oh. Everything lined up. Everything was coming up, you know. And then, and then I realized I was in a Sukiyomi. Now you realize you were in a Sukiyomi. I'm trying to fix this window. Oh wait, there we go. Actually, okay. I wanted it to be where you guys can see the fucking stocks, because it's Smash. Seeing the stocks matters. There you go. Now you can actually see the stocks of these people playing. All right. Signups close at eight. <sighs> Guess I'm just going to put 8 p.m. here. 8 p.m. I'll just do it there since the other text box literally fucking vanished. I don't know where it went. Is it a third of One Piece? Is it? I know it's really long. I've watched it. I just haven't watched all of it because, like, you know, it's long. I haven't gotten a chance to. And Gintama is really cool, but it's just like, um, you know, it's mostly funny. Whereas, like, it's. How do I say this? It's it's one of those things because it's plot, at least from what I've seen so far, 
isn't to be taken as seriously as say one piece it's not supposed to be you know as gripping and stuff like that it's you know it's uh it's more comedic um it's harder to like want to binge it you know whereas like i've read hundreds of chapters of hajime no ipo which i have to get back to reading that i haven't read that in a fucking years at this point oh real quick i gotta i gotta reply to casey barbie so casey barbie said what's your plan for the vod since youtube doesn't save live streams over 12 hours i didn't know that so should i didn't I, know that either so maybe i should end the live stream at 12 hours like when it gets close to 12 hours basically at 11 hours i'll end it and then just start it again because i would like all of the parts of this vibe to be like watchable to anybody who wants to so thank you for bringing that up i did not know that let me set that's, an alarm for five hours from now that's um that's really fraser that's what that is what <laughs> that's mm. that's really fraser he's like dancing and frolicking around yeah oh is it really you but also yeah, but also really me you. I'm frolicking around the word. Yeah. That this is that YouTube is doing. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. Frazier is really. Yeah. He's a. You're a real frolicker. It, you know that. It's Frazier? also really I, I, June. I got it. <laughs> I understand what's happening now. Like if there was a field of flowers, like. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. I. I not a. You field would probably of say like yippee. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> is this the response you wanted? Because that's what you're getting. <laughs> You might even throw a Kaye in there. A Yippie oh, Kaye? Not a Yippie and a Kaye. Where, where is Luke Feeney? Being a hoe. He's she's being a ho ho. Ho ho ho, he's a ho. I fucking love that song. <laughs> did I show you that? Like uh, 100 yeah, years ago? Yeah, literally like maybe a decade ago. It's so fucking old. I, li I do listen to it legitimately every single year around like Christmas Christmas time. <laughs> yeah, I legitimately listen to that song every fucking year. Good one. Let me pin the bracket challenge. The bracket is pinned. We in this B. Yes. Somebody's trying to win some monies tonight. Who's trying to win some monies? <laughs> um, <laughs> Vinny, I'm thinking of starting at around 8 o'clock. So sign-ups are going to close at 8 o'clock, and I want to start at around 8, between 8 and like 8, 10. Vinny said, sit this one out. I mean, no, Dominic Don't said, sit. sit this one out. <laughs> he said, sit this one out, big fella. He said, sit this one out, big fella. The I Am There Small Cup won. Oh, he said, going to dinner with Silverman. Tears, tears. What are you going to do? Hold on. Going to dinner you and Silverman have dinner at the house and tell Silverman to enter. The hell? Are y'all finna be eating in? That is that dinner. I, I know one thing for sure. That dinner is probably above my pay grade. No, a lot of times we eat like cheap shit when we go when we just get together. Um, like a lot of uh, K pot or or hot pot type stuff which is only like 40 bucks or whatever a person you see that you see what fraser just said 40 bucks a person above my pay grade that's okay all right <laughs> don't let kenny gas like wild in a, in he this, is this, wild. this poor lifestyle that he like that that is something i'll do you know i go out, i'll do that once a year you know no one's trying to hear none of this shit he's talking listen man I get to be extra cheap now. Now that we just make dinner every night and we get groceries, like true, we've saved so much money, and we didn't even have to switch to Geico. <laughs> um, I just realized, like, oh my god, fucking Rob is on screen. I, I think this character is so corny. <laughs> You're a hater. Rob is so goddamn corny. You are a hater. What happened to make you such a hater, King? He's fucking... He's a... He's... Look at him! You can't get much cornier than Rob.
I like my characters to have a semblance of a personality. Rob is just like, bleh. I can't remember what format it is, but there was like a, not, a, it's not really a, like a competitive format, but there was like um one of the Battle Frontier things in Pokemon, if I remember correctly. Like after every round, you have to like switch one of your Pokemon with your opponent or some shit like that. Mm. You have to what? You have to like switch one of your, like after each round, you have to like switch one of your Pokemon with like, with your opponent's Pokemon. And then, like, you progress. Like, when you win, you pick one of the Pokemon on your team and you switch it with a Pokemon on their team. And, then, like, you progress in the tournament. So, like, your team changes. Anyway, I wonder if there's a way to do that with Yu Gi Oh! That'd be kind of cool. So, oh, so after you beat, so, like, you beat the opponent, you have to use their deck going forward or something? I'm confused. Yeah, so, like, in Pokemon, the way it works is let's say. Let's say you have Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle, and I have Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile, right? right? And then you beat me. So you go, all right, um, I'm going to, like, switch my Squirtle with your Totodile. And it's, so now when you go to round two, you have Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Totodile. And so now, like, when I go, say, into the loser's bracket, I have, uh, you know, Squirtle instead of Totodile. Right. And then as you progress through the tournament... So if it was like a Yu Gi Oh, maybe it's like, like when you progress, you like after the match, you like look at the loser's deck list and vice versa, and you go, you have to like switch one of your cards with one of the cards on their deck, or maybe like three cards or something, just for like some silly shit. See what happens at the end. We got a match report channel of the gaming section hold on I'm, I'm doing like i'm gonna do a big announcement to give some rules and shout out to beast mode because a lot of these rules and stuff i'm taking directly from his yo ho ho yo ho 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 the tournament begins at eight yo ho 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 Eastern Town, mm -hmm. a single limit state tournament is free to enter if you're going. Yo ho ho ho. Yo ho ho ho. Binksasu no sake wo.
Is Fraser talking and I just can't hear him? No, I'm not saying a single word. Okay, I um just okay, focus. I guess my my stream is just delayed. Yeah, no. I saw Fraser of... ranting. I was like, wait a second. I was like, he's in there whole ranting right now. And I don't see a goddamn thing. Just, just hoping nitro. So you're hoping you make it home in time. Okay, so what I can do is uh judge ruling questions. So if I start if I delete all of this. Okay, are we good yet? Is this good? Sorry, I'm like really focused because I wanted to get this announcement out. Okay, so I got the announcement out at everyone. Silence for the I am there small come number one are live. Silence for by using Yu-Gi-Oh! Tournament channel under the gaming section. Okay, so I need to do a match report channel now. I'll create one. Uh create channel. New channel. What is gonna be called? Match. Channel. Okay. I think after, like, at some point this week, I'm going to make a whole section of channels for just Yu Gi Oh! Like, Yu Gi Oh! is going to have its own, it needs its own separate thing. Like, I know right now we have it under gaming, but it clearly is its own fucking monster at this point. I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble submitting deck list to the bot. What's happening? What well, sounds like Kenny? What's up, Cecil? I'm assuming, which is Sandy. What sounds like me? You ho. Okay, Vinny, let me know what your issue is. I sent you a message. So Eric Chai, I wonder if this is Chai T, but just joined as a Patreon person. So I'm sending you an invite to the Discord. How's the stream going, fellas? The stream's going good. It's been a good time. Lots of love, lots of rants. Lots of love and lots of rants for sure. Kenny's holding it down right now while I'm busy, like, basically prepping. Uh, because people are obviously joining the Patreon right now, <laughs> so I'm sending Discord invites. Discord invites, baby. Yeah, we're about to hold a tournament, for anybody that doesn't know. A uh, small little Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament. First place, we'll get 50 bucks. Second place, 25 Third and fourth, we'll get $12.50. And, uh, yeah, just spur of the moment during the 24-hour stream. Yep, we just randomly decided. Let's run it. We said we were going to run a tournament for a while now when we crossed 1,000. That was a while ago kind of not even really though our channel's been growing super fast so it wasn't that long ago which is crazy but like so much should happen between us getting a thousand subs and then running a tournament and doing this live stream uh but this is the perfect time you know eric tra is me is mr Soltai, dude no patreon when i read your name out during the live podcast today it said mr Soltai. 
After Tears of the Kingdom for a month, my stress levels have gone down. Word. The Flood with Doc and Ziggy. Word, word, word. Oh, it is Chai T. So Chai T is in the server now. Chai T. I'm about to go get ready. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> oh my God. The only requirement for entering the tournament is just being part of the Patreon. The lowest Patreon tier is $3. And, um, yeah. Yeah. And Falco is mean. Falco is mean. I just wish Falco had good colors in this game. I That's hate... how I feel about Diddy, bro. But yeah, go ahead. Like, that color right there is, like, mostly good. And then he has fucking clown shoes on. Like, it's like <laughs> this light blue, sky blue, like, color that's really nice. And then these bright red-ass Ronald McDonald shoes. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> you just start going and I was waiting. I knew it was coming. The it's fucking, fucking absurd. So, so Tilde is one of the best Falcos in the world. If not, he might be the... I think he is the best Falco in the world, actually. Um... I like Falco in his game a lot. I didn't respect him at first, but I think he got buffed a couple times, and now he's actually real. Yeah, he's gotten buffed. He's definitely gotten buffed. He's real this, this is like this green and blue clean outfit, and then fucking Ronald McDonald comes to town on his feet. That Lucina is spacing. From okay. what I understand, With that from uh, talking to a lot of different um, like top-level uh, ultimate players, Falco is a really ignorant character. Yeah, it's a character that if they touch you, they combo you to like 80 consistently. Like, look at what's about to happen. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Well, she has an up B that gets out of it. Otherwise, you take 80. So if you don't have a frame, I don't know what frame her up B comes out. Maybe it's frame three. It's like really fast, right? Yeah. Marf and Lucina, they have that crazy ass up B. Um, if you don't have a frame like five move, you get comboed to all shit. Like Game & Watch gets out of it for free. Marf and Lucina get out of it for free. And... I don't really know if anyone else does. But these drag downs, like, what can you do? You literally, you could, she could not do anything right there. There was no, there's nothing she could have done to get out of that. Oh, here we go. Nonsense. Also, they buffed his side B to make it, un you can't react, like a human can't react to it. It's just like such a crazy fast burst option. And it pops you up in a perfect spot to get like up tilted or up aired and all that nonsense. But I think that he's been getting punished when he threw it out because uh, she's been throwing out forward tilts and stuff. He's like really scared to commit to it. Drag down, drag. You saw that drag down on the platform? That was saucy. This is this is a perfectly even game. All right. Yo, did you see the mix-ups? Did you see the mix-ups? <laughs> Those Falco mix-ups that recover were insane. You didn't know if he was going left or right. The mixies. Till they got the mixes, but this sword is putting it. Oh wait, it's actually. I didn't realize Till they was up 2-0 already. So this is like this could be last game for the set if he wins this one. Could Ooh. be the end. The end. Falco has the most satisfying down air in melee for me, and and this game is Diddy, but I still respect Falco's down air. Like my favorite, oh, that's it. My favorite down air is uh in melee is Falco's. It's like the down air for me, and then in ultimate, Diddy's just they, they buffed it, but it also the sound it makes and the way he swings both his hands down in a hammer, like between his legs, he swings so hard. Okay, it's 741. I'm going to go get into cosplay. So you guys, Stango, can Oh, you, no. You guys hold it Everybody on. in stream, don't go anywhere. Yes. All right? Frazier is about to return in his first ever cosplay. I'm about to do my first cosplay, guys. I will be back in a second. Cosplay is for the stream. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Don't, don't fucking touch that dial. As a matter of fact, this should have been... This should have been the fucking tournament reward. This is more. This is worth more than a hundred dollars. <laughs> this should have been the reward. 
So, ooh, Frazier's about to go. What's up, Dim Sum? Frazier's about to get into this fucking cosplay and. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But, yep, we're doing a, a, t a tournament for everybody in the Patreon. You get a tournament. It'll be starting in 15 minutes-ish, like 16, 17 minutes. You can sign up in the Discord. And, uh, yeah, first place gets 50 bucks. Second place gets 25 Reward should be a private pay-per-view with Fraser. Yeah. On our OnlyFans account. We should make an OnlyFans account just for fun, you know? Why not? It'll be Fraser playing Yu-Gi-Oh! with his feet. That'll be the OnlyFans account. Fraser just plays Yu-Gi-Oh! with his feet. You guys just... You guys just jerk it. You're like, oh, oh, please. Oh, oh, please. More. More. I hate those clear chairs they're sitting on in the Smash Tourney. tourney. Uh, I'd have to see it more... I'd have to see it, like, uh, oh, here, hold on, let me reload the stream, I'm probably delayed. I don't know why my stream just, like, goes out of sync. It, get, it gets pretty delayed. If you, uh, if you actually times two speed the YouTube, eventually it will, um... Why does it just, like, like, I don't understand why it just gets delayed, like, like, it doesn't lag or anything, like, I don't understand how it ends up behind. Who knows? So random. Anyway... Yeah, those shares look like they suck. Those chairs look like they big suck. Oops. What are top tier chairs? What's up, Dan? Um, I don't fucking know. Not those chairs, though. Not those chairs at all. I mean, any chair can be a top tier chair if you've been standing all day. You stand up long enough, and they're all top tier chairs. You're like, oh my god, I just want to sit the fuck down. The super basic office ones that last forever. Those are pretty damn good. I don't know if I'm ready to say they're the best. But they're damn good. Man, it is fucking hot. Yes, it is. I'm not a fan of the heat right now. The heat is not for me.
Throw on Desert Vo armor? I fucking wish. I wish I could throw that on right now. And then hang out with some desert babes. Dude, get like a little desert babe going. A little mm. desert babe. Mm. I don't know how long Fraser's going to take because when he was testing out his costume, I know he was having a tough time putting it on. Fraser's, um, you know, he's, he's a man of mystery. He's a man of mystery. Who can say how long it'll take? Who who can say? Not I. Not fucking I. The Robin player cam was just shaking his head. Good. Rob is a corny piece of shit, and he deserves to have his head shaken. See, Meta Knight is cool. Do you imagine you're just like fucking a girl and then in the Mennonite voice you tell her to come? Best thing I've built in Tears of the Kingdom, how far am I? Um How do I answer this question? Um I've beaten four temples, but you know, there's so many other things that could be done that, like, you know, there's no telling what I have and haven't done, you know, like, in terms of all the other stuff in the game, but I've beaten four temples. Um, I haven't done anything after beating four temples. I don't know anything. I don't know what comes next at all. Um, and the coolest thing I've built... Uh, I built... I built an open face, like, mech from The Matrix 3. If you've seen the third Matrix movie, uh, and also if you've seen our review of the third Matrix movie on the podcast, um, there's a part where, in the third Matrix movie, they have, like, these fucking mechs. They're, like, these, basically, like, these Gundams, and they're completely exposed. Like, they have all these guns and shit, but they're... Like, they're just over the top. Anyway, I made something like that in Tears of the Kingdom. It's like this mech.
Yes, I can. Yep. I don't hear anything here. Oh, I hear it, finally. Uh, you guys can hear me, right? Yep. Okay. You guys ready? For the epic cosplay. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh god no. Oh, so good. Oh, oh, oh. He's on, he's on hinge. I told you it'd be good. He's, he's on fucking hinge. <laughs> you know what you look like? Bruce is just having fun with hair that long. I am Armin, the Colossal Titan. <laughs> I kind of feel like we need a, a slight bit of a redo. <laughs> what? Why won't he stop? Why won't he stop? Someone stop him. No, someone stop him. please stop him. Did somebody stop him, please? <laughs> someone please stop him. He's just having too much fun. He's better. <laughs> What, what I gotta save fuck? Mikasa. <laughs> Aaron! Oh. Aaron! How is that thing still on your head? The wig is secure. The what wig the is fuck the wig is, that is on secure. your head. The wig is secure. Whew. Okay. All right. There we go. No, that no. is. There we not go. The epic cosplay. Now let me go on Facebook. I'm going to post that the epic cosplay is being done. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord, for I've sinned. I told you guys it would be unhinged. Oh, man. Dude, Krabby Patty, I'm waiting for the wig to fly off. That wig is the most secure <laughs> shit. I'll tell you what, that wig is more secure than my feet.
Y'all want an encore? No. That was a yes? No. Encore? <laughs> He's having way too much fun with this. He's loving it. He's loving it. He's in encore. full Green Day mode. You said encore, right? Everyone said he encore? Just... Alright, encore. He's in another universe right now. <laughs> Please send this stream to all of your loved ones so they can also... Like, especially if they're having a bad day. Like, yeah, you want to cheer someone's day up? I don't see the big deal. I'm just arming from Attack on Titan. Send them this. Like, sometimes people are just having a bad day. And this is what they need. How long is this song? <laughs> that's where he's that's where the wick gets power from, this song. Oh, he's got power. Persia got like the 10 hour loop. You gotta have the 10 hour loop. He's happy until the Titan shows up. I'll just turn into the Colossal. No one can stop him, man. No one can stop him right now. He's just fucked up. He is so fucked up. What is he doing? What? <laughs> Hydro Pump, what the fuck did you come back to? You came back to, to Armin. Came back to Armin Smith. Just Frazier and all of his unhinged glory. you guys enjoyed that we are back how's everybody doing you guys ready for some Yu-Gi-Oh? uh yeah, so. having hydro pump having long hair it's um it's something you know it's something to get used to but uh you know armin we got this nice little bob and i'm just trying to save my friends you know trying to save my friends this is what you look like fraser <sighs> let me see where you sent it Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I'm sitting at, hold on. <laughs> Open in browser. <laughs> That's going to the stream. You look like white face. <laughs> <laughs> that is what he said I look like, okay? But in reality, this is who we are. I only left for a few minutes. Well, listen, Alex, I said that I will be doing an epic cosplay. And here we are, okay? This is epic cosplay time. A lot can happen time. in a few minutes. Uh, listen, a fucking shit ton can happen. All right, let me go to the bracket. Y'all ready to start this tournament? There are 12 people. There are 12 people in the tournament. And I'm about to start the tournament, okay. So it is 8.05. Okay. Here. We are about to start. All right. Slash start. Slash start. All 
All right, there we go. The tournament is officially started. Mm. How many people joined? 12. Ooh. There are 12 people in the tournament. So let me look at the bracket. Well, the y'all. Me and Mr. Soltai are going to play. Mm -mm. So are we doing one at a time all on stream or no? Well, we, we, it would be impossible to do completely one at a time, but when we get to, uh, I guess when we get to top four, we'll do one at a time for top four. Yeah. So for this first, for this first like round, it'll just be, you know, we'll just watch a game. We'll just choose one. Alrighty. So I'm going to go on Dueling Book right now. Okay, uh, guys, obviously do not put a watch password on because uh, we need to be able to get in. Please do not put a watch password on, guys, just by the way. Okay, so Kenny, you there? Allegedly. All right, who do you want to watch round one? We got Hydro Pump versus Corey Falzer. We got Vinny Casella versus Quest. We got the Flood Pod versus Enraged Peacock. And we got Stango versus Mr. Soul Tie. Who do you want to watch? I'll say this. You know what? I'm feeling some Vinny. I'm feeling some Vinny. I was thinking Vinny, too. I'm feeling some Vinny. I want to see some Vinny. All right. Let's see. This, I, I was, my bias, my, you know, family bias was going to say Stango. But you know what? This channel has seen enough Stango. No we, shit. It's, this channel seems... This channel sees Stango seven times a week. Peter Popoff. I don't think I know this person. Oh, Peter Popoff is a legendary uh, religious scam artist. That's who Peter Popoff is. I don't, I don't think I know who that person is, so I'm just going to... Unless they reveal themselves. Um, didn't I just play against Corey? Okay. Oh, wait. It's, Hy it's Hydro versus Corey. Vinny versus Quest. Okay. So, I don't know. I'm going to Hydro versus Corey for now. What's your DB name? Yeah, it is Armin. Dom. Please tell me you have a Colossal Titan bodysuit to change into. <laughs> I thought you were Johan Lieber. This is Armin. He is Armin. Why is he still shaking his hair is what I want to know. My man is still just shaking it. Just shaking all of his hair. Nah, he's um, Armin from Attack on Titan. Black mirror, mirror match, mirror wing. Black mirror wings. 
I was trying to get something out there. I just. When do you guys think Frazier is going to return to, like, consciousness? He's given no feedback on this match. He's just shaking his head. He's just shaking. He's going to have shaken baby syndrome. Pure shaking baby syndrome. One, one. One, uh, one, one. I don't know. You were shaking oh. your fucking head. I was too oh. busy trying to make sure your head didn't come off. Oh, one game one. One game one. One game one. Oh. One game one. Hey guys. How's it going? How is it going? Everything's How great. is it going, indeed? Everything is great. Everything is great, guys. Okay, so it looks like Hydro won game one. Dedicate your hearts, you know? Let me get a... Uh... Some lo fi attack on Titan. Get a little bit of that going. Alright, let's watch this game. I don't know what y'all looking at. Let's watch the game. Be right back. Alright. Fisher looks like he's about to go ask for the manager. Not the manager.
Is that outfit hotter or cooler than what you were previously wearing? It's cooler. The thermal was definitely trapping in like heat for sure. Um, yeah, I feel I feel way more breathability now than I did. Also, do you see my arming graphic on the screen? I do. Okay, good. Somebody said it looks like I'm about to ask for the manager. I still can't get over that. Where's the manager? Man, people bought their Blackwing decks. They're trying to win this money tonight. People bought the Black Wings out. They said, I'm trying to win that money tonight. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thought Ruler. Thought ruler with three darks engraved, just being the okay. Thought ruler in the black wing mirror match, interesting. They slick trying to get a little haircut money, <laughs> bro. If your haircuts are going up to 50 bucks. Whew. I don't know. Is that what they are now with inflation? They probably are, in all honesty. I need to order me some dinner. Can you imagine me going to the door to get my Uber Eats in this? Yeah. Like this is how I answered it. I'm going to go I'm going to the door like this. You I mean you should. I wouldn't have it any other way. All right, I'm trying to figure out what I want to order, guys. So they have braised beef noodle soup. Wagyu brisket, supply from our private chubby cattle ranch, slow cooked braised beef and fresh noodles. Cilantro, bok choy, sliced onions and green scallions served in a savory braised beef broth. And they make this sound really good. That's the trick to it, man. The trick is to make it all sound so good. Yeah. Garlic butter wagyu beef. Do you guys like udon noodles or do you like um, egg noodles? Mm, I don't know the difference. I would have to taste them back to back. Yeah. I kind of do want to take a chance on this, but it's probably not the right idea when you're actually hungry to take a chance on, like, food. Like, if it goes wrong, I'm just dead. Well, you're not dead. You can live, like, three days. At least. More than that, actually. Maybe. I think I'm gonna just get this braised beef noodle soup though. I feel like I can't go wrong with this. Domestic Wagyu brisket, slow cooked braised beef and fresh noodles. That just has to be, that has to be insane. All right, I'm gonna try it and hopefully, hopefully it's just not awful. So let me change this. Round one. Vinny. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Hydro versus Corey. I think that's how you spell Corey's name.
Udon's awful. Okay, well. Oh wait, what did it say? Something was free with a $40 purchase. Hold up now. Oh, edamame. You know what, before I order from here, let me see if Dan Dan Noodles is open, because that place is insane. Hmm, Dan Dan is open, it looks like. Damn, it's kind of hard to turn down Dan Dan Noodles. But then that shit always has my stomach on angles. Maybe I, I'm gonna I'm I'm try something new. I'm gonna try this, uh... I'm going to try this braised beef noodle soup. I'm just going to hope for the best. God, Uber Eats is just destructive. $30 before tax and tip. Or not before tip. Thirty dollars before tip. Okay, we are in game three. Summon Bora set four. Yo, I don't know if you can hear this song that's playing right now, Kenny, but I love this song in Attack on Titan. I can't. I cannot. Because then... Oh, uh, uh, It just would be awkward. Like, I wouldn't really... I would, be, I would just hear all the echoes and everything. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Because the only way you'd be able to hear it is if you're on the stream technically anyway, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. back row what answers do we have Icarus attack I'm spelling Corey's name right. What's your okay. motherfucking name? I am spelling Corey's name correctly. Threatening Roar? Oh, wow. That is an interesting one. Reed Peacock said, How do I report a win? Uh, only the person who lost reports. Where are you seeing that in the tournament thing? I lost. No, I'm looking at, uh, the stream chat. Oh. The loser reports. The loser has to report. Thank you. 
I see. Can I get some? Okay. Let's see, how's it sound? Oh my gosh. Black Rose Star Dice Dark Arm. Look at that. So they both have four cards, though, despite everything. Despite everything, they both have four. How do I report a win? I <laughs> love it. MST target back row. Okay, negate with Stardust. Mind control. Ooh, that is pretty insane. He has two. He has two pops in the chamber. Royal Oppression, okay. Summon Blizzard, bring back Shura. Oh my God, are we about to see the craziest comeback of all time? God, this is insane. This is insane. I can't believe he's at 300 and he's about to get out of this. Steal the Black Rose. Dark Arm Pop itself. In right. phase, Stardust comes back. Hey, King. How's things looking for you, Stango? Uh, I lost. I play, ran into a Frog Mirror match. Uh, was it Mr. Sultai? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which version was he playing? He was playing Hero Frogs. We literally did a one for one mirror match. I was just like, if there's anyone that I don't want to play round one, I don't want it to be the Frog Mirror. But, uh, that's you. But I will be back after the tournament. Okay. That Stardust doesn't come back. Starlight Road, wasn't it? Oh, was that Stardust summoned off of Starlight Road? Well, that's insane if that's the case. Never mind, they caught it. Yeah, I wasn't even watching the, the uh, game, but that is a huge deal. This is lethal. Wow. And Corey comes back. That was insane. If you caught that from the beginning, that was absolutely insane. Okay. Are there any other matches going on? Let's see. Who do we have? So I'm going to pull up the bracket. So we have Mr. Saltai versus Wheezy. We still have Vinny versus Quest. Are they playing yet? Okay, I don't see them playing yet. The bounty master. Okay. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> this is this is insane.
Yeah, that is Corey Fowler, but that's not how you spell his name, uh, Alex. There's no E in the first name. Some power tool dragon. Yes. Look at this. This Some is crazy. Power tool dragon. Guys, when you get the top four, make sure you do not start because we're going to do the top four matches separately. Yeah, real quick, single elimination. Yep, 12 people. $100 on the prize. Uh, okay, so at... Maybe I should... Oh, cool. Did it, did it already tag everybody? Oh, that's broken. Everybody has the role automatically of tournament participants after they joined. So now I don't have to tag at everyone every time. Wow, Morphtron is one game one over Black Wings. That's insane. Okay, so top eight, we have Wayne Trader and Mr. Sultai. We got OG99 and Enraged Peacock. We have Atachi waiting for the winner of this match that we're currently watching. And then we have Chai T versus Corey Felzer. Morphotronics were always good. <laughs> I know Alex loves Morphotronics. He used to play with that deck all the time when we met. No way Quest is going to make us read these cards. <laughs> Yo, that is wild. Damn, Heavy Storm. Okay, Starlight Road. Oh, this is um the Tokyo Ghoul song. Is it really? Let me see. I mean, I, I, I know you're right, but... Yep, it's called Unravel by Tokyo Ghoul. I did not pick up on that. Now I hear it. Now I hear it. Yes, this is fire. Yo, Tokyo Ghoul does have an amazing opening, honestly. It does. It's fucking insane. Did me and you watch Tokyo Ghoul together? I forget. No, you watched Tokyo Ghoul and then told me to watch it. Okay. Yes, because I was talking about how he would like break his finger and that, that cool thing he does like this. Yeah. Oh, man. That last episode, season one was actually really good to me. I think s season one is, yeah, I think season one's good. Season one for me was like, like the season as a whole, I felt was like a little bit above average. So yeah. like it was good. Like yes. a little above average. I don't think it was great. But then the the end of season one, I thought was like some of the best shit. At, like the end of season yes. one was insane. I remember saying to you, just get to the end of season one. I promise you, it's just insane. Oh, yeah. That, I, um, that ending, man. I was a fan. At some point, I want to go. We should just. I'm down. We should do it. I want to watch. I know there's I'm, like I'm more seasons. I want to yeah. go like 
I'd be down to just do a full Tokyo Ghoul. Well, like, how about all this? the seasons in one? See, I, I was gonna say that might be a lot for me, but yeah. I would like to do season one at least. I can I can a hundred percent commit to watching the twelve episodes of season one again, and then we do like a season one review and then take it from there type of thing. Because it's just a lot to ingest. I think they're on. I think yeah. they're on four seasons right now, which is like forty eight episodes, and that's just a lot for me to ingest in general. But we could definitely like take a week to watch Tokyo Ghoul for sure, like just season one at least. Well, Tokyo. Tokyo Ghoul. These are the conversations that me and Kenny have that when we decide what we're going to do for the podcast. Like this is literally, like that right there. That, that's now a podcast episode that's coming up. Tokyo yep. Ghoul. Also, I don't know what's happening right now, but he is, from what I can see, popping off. I think Power Tool Dragon is such an underutilized card in Edison format. Once per turn, you can reveal three equipped spells from your deck. Then your opponent randomly adds one of them to your hand and shuffle the other cards into the deck. If this card will be destroyed while equipped with an equipped spell, you can send one of those cards to the graveyard instead. So this thing says only equipped to a power tool, dragon, or level four or higher morphtronic monster. While equipped, during your turn it gains a thousand. If it attacks, any effects of the attack target that activate or apply on the battle are negated during that battle phase. Oh, this is like very all in. Power Tool can't die though. Both on Power Tool Dragon. Okay, so power tool stays. He's thirty three hundred. Let me see how the bracket's going. Is anyone in top four yet? No, we have no one in top four just yet. What is taking so long? Vinny, make a play. What the hell are you doing? Okay, that is fair. So he takes 200. A certified banger. Is that what's playing right now, Snack? Is this my war? It is my war. I love all Attack on Titan music. Rumbling, uh, the very first one, the one where it's Sasageo, Sasageo. This is me. This is actually game two, uh, Adam. Morphtronics won game one. 
So wait, what's happening? When this card is destroyed by battle, you can special one level four lower morphtronic monster from your hand or graveyard. Oh wow, camera. These these monsters look cool as shit, don't they? Like I actually really like the way this camera dude looks. They're like Mega Man uh people. Like things that you would see in Mega Man. Like this is a serve bot, but upgrade it basically. Yeah, One Piece, not One Piece, <laughs> Attack on Titan. I don't know where my mind is. Attack on Titan does have some absolute bangers. I don't know how people with long hair do this. This is like a lot of work. <laughs> I faced Morphotronic in round three of RBET. RBET. We were both 2-0. That's, yeah. See, and this is a deck where you definitely have to read like all the cards. Look at these cards. Morphotronics are up game, by the way, guys. It's currently, this is currently game two. These die rolls are crazy. Okay, you rolled a three. Thunder King Ryo. Thunder King Ryo. MST, ooh. Commentator's Curse. Exactly, I was so lost. I summoned Cyber, Cyber Dragon thinking I could contact Fuse, but the one I summoned into was a Thunder for some reason. <laughs> Wait, what? Some of these are not machines? What the hell? That's wild. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice if uh, it showed if it showed that i mean technically oh wait round one so this is actually not so this is quest versus Vinny. i can do this for you guys does this help a little bit maybe so like this way you can kind of you can kind of tell This way it says round one quest versus Vinny and it's 1-0. So you know that quest is the first name. So obviously he's up a game. Yo, what is going on? Morphotronics are wild. And I've played against this deck multiple times because I've played Quest multiple times, and every time I have to read all of the cards. Except Selfon. I know what that fucker does. No, we know. Yeah, I know, I know Itachi's you. You're Itachi on like everything dumb. Well, I guess for people who don't know, maybe. But yeah, I, I know. 
So let's just take a quick look at the bracket. So yeah, everybody else is still just playing out their matches. So these things have to die because the longer they stay on the field, the perpetual pluses that they generate is ridiculous. Like these can't just stay on the field. The wig is secured, Dallas. The wig is secured. The wig is so secure. <laughs> I said earlier, but that wig is more secure than my future. <laughs> oh, like, shit. Oh, like that shit. fucking wig. The wig, when I tell you the wig is secured, okay? She ain't. This is Naruto. I like guessing the songs. Right? This is definitely Naruto, I think. We still in game two. Yeah, they're they're still going. My hand is ass. Better than mine. I mean, yeah, I guess his hand is better than your hand. This guy just randomly does 2400 damage. Oh, that's boom boxing. Boom boxing. So I ordered some ramen on Uber Eats and I'm just waiting for it to get here. I am very hungry. And I'm going to the door just like this. I'm going to the door to get my Uber Eats just like this. As you should. As you fucking should. He is going to be so confused. As he should. Okay, game three. Game threes. Just got out of a meeting. Wish I could have played. Yeah, man, I wish you would have. Uh... We had signups open for an hour. I was adding everyone like multiple times in the Discord server. Free to play, 100 bucks on the line. Yo, if my Uber driver, when I see him, if he goes like this, he will get the fucking biggest tip anyone has ever gotten. Now, when you say the biggest tip. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say money. <laughs> Just to be clear. I'm a broke boy. We're giving out this money to uh, the top four. Now, let me be clear. Okay. You should be fine because there are two top four matches. We can just leave it there first if it comes to that.
Damn, heavy storm on a one card. He says, screw it. While in attack position, once per turn, you can special one more Patronic from your hand. Okay, this thing, Thunder King, is kind of funny because it's like, it's not exactly what you would call a, uh, a Morphtronic, but it ain't bad. Yo, Quest, you know what, Kenny, you know what's funny? Quest made this deck competitive because I don't recall it working like this. <laughs> like he's beating on Black Wings right now. Look, man, put a little bit of time and effort into something. Right. Quest said, listen, y'all got me fucked up. I'm going to make more Fratronics. They're getting, their, they're getting their debut. I'm not sure if you can use Power Tool. Uh, okay, guys, freeze play. I will check the ruling, I guess. If there is such a thing. Hold on. Yu-Gi-Oh! Edison format rulings. That's a good point, though. Power Yu -Gi -Oh! tool dragon. Okay, you can reveal three equipments from your deck that your opponent picks. From that point, you do not have to show them to your opponent. You can activate this effect. You cannot activate this effect while Thunder King is active. If you activate the effect and an effect is changed, which summons Thunder King, proceed with the effect, but the one pick card goes to the graveyard instead of the hand. I just have the closed Grim decks. I don't have um. I don't have the swords and like. Yeah, you can't power tool though. I'll tell them. Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments at Quest. You cannot power tool. And I'll post a screenshot too. Got some little, got a little conflict there. It's a bit of a conflict in the deck. Thank you, Grim Dex, though. I appreciate that. Dedicate your heart, you know? One back row, huh? Okay, what does this thing do? Oh, that's right. Yeah, if he will be destroyed, you destroy equip spell instead. just going in he said fuck it you don't have torrential what the hell is this so you can tribute a guy to pop a car in the field wow morphotronics won holy hell morphotronics actually advanced to top eight that is insane I wonder what he had. I have to go check. Wow, Morphotronics actually advance. Congratulations, Quest. 
Oh man, that is insane. Wow, Morphotronic's actually going all the way. And he actually didn't have anything. That's insane. All right, so once we get that reported, let's do that. Let's get out of here. So who else is playing? Uh, Eric Loca is playing. Let's see, who do we got? Damon and Verge Peacock. Ludovico. Okay, so I know we have this one, at least. This is... Why is this not showing me? Okay, whatever. So I'm just gonna refresh this again. Uh... Okay, so the bracket should be updating. Yep, there we go. Okay, so Itachi versus Quest, that can now start. Chai T is already in top four. Uh, you can, oof, Deck Devil would have been clutch. How often do these tournaments happen? So Wayne, this is the first one we've ever held. Um, you have to be in our, in our Discord server in order to join these, but and in order to be in our Discord server, you have to be a member of our Patreon, but I plan to run them probably once a month. Um, yeah, at least once a month. Yeah, and we'll, you know... Well, it, it, hold on, I'm not going to say at least once a month, because sometimes shit happens. I was about but, to say, yeah. You know when us, like, you know, it can always, but... But we will announce but We're going to try. Yes, we're going to try to do them once a month, and then we're going to... We're going to come up with, like, a, a whole entry and prize structure thing, you know? But right now, for this one, it's just kind of an impromptu. We just wanted to give, as a gift, 100 bucks to the people who have been subscribed to our Patreon and stuff. So... That's kind of what this is. This is our first ever 24 hour stream too. Uh, and currently it's nine o'clock, which means I am exactly 12 hours into streaming. I've been streaming since 9 a.m. So this is the 12 hour mark. Ooh, and Rage Peacock looked like he is on that hero frog goo. That hero frog goo, I wonder. It's looking, it's looking good. This game is looking good. Damn, everything on the field is buffed. These are some buff boys. These are some big boys. Three thousand. A true hero is that is actually watching the game, by the way. You guys can't see it because I'm in the way. But a true hero is here. I want to lift myself up for a second so you can see over on the left. I kind of just like broke the fourth wall by moving myself like that. So now that I've made it through 12 hours, Knowing that there's another 12 hours left is kind of wild. Shit. I'm gonna be honest, like, I think it's finally hitting me how long this actually is. Because I'm only at the half <laughs> I'm only at the halfway mark now. Like. Yeah, they're no joke. Yeah, this is they actually no it just hit me just now, like, wait, this is only halfway? Like, this is only halfway.
<clears throat> but yeah, Wayne, we'll be doing these. We'll be doing these down the line for sure. And then we're going to have like some kind of big end of year tournament for the people who qualified. So this stream by itself, like right now, is eight hours and 15 minutes, this current one. And the last one was like three hours and 40 minutes or something before it went down. Or like three hours and 50 minutes, something crazy. Like it was almost four hours because I know it's it's been 12 hours, but yeah. And again, shout out to Casey Barbie for letting us know that YouTube does not save any live stream over 12 hours because I definitely didn't know that wow. and I would have... I would have done this entire thing and it would have just been lost to the wind and I'd have been salty. That's so wild. Real Dude. random. Yeah. A random thing. What? Yo, Enraged Peacock had me shook. He said damage step on the stolen Shora. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? That would have been insane. Snack said, wow, I didn't know that either about the greater than 12 hour streams. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy that if you stream longer than 12 hours, it just they don't they don't accept it, I guess. So we're going to cut this one. We're going to cut this stream at like 11 hours and some change. And then I'm just going to restart it immediately to capture this part of it and then the last part of it. So this will at the end of it, it'll be, God willing, three streams. Get value. Let's see what's in the grave. Gain some life. OG said, I'm going to gain some life. Oh, wait, never mind. I lied. I lied. He said, I'm not going to gain some life. I am trying to get rid of this token at his 2800 attack. Hey, I forgot the Daemon was Gary. <laughs> yeah. Are you playing? Are you playing um, Tears of the Kingdom right now? No, I'm. uh. I'm doing some computer shit. Everything good? Yeah.
Lost the birds, seeing one monarch in two games. Damn. Oh, that was a that was a torrential. Yo, treeborn frog for the disrespect. Treeborn for lethal. All right, we're going to game three. Treeborn for lethal. So let's check on the bracket. So right now we have two people in top four. We have Wheezy F and we have Chai T. And then we're looking for the winner out of Atachi and Quest, which is I know Quest is playing Morphtronic. Uh and then these two is Frogs versus Blackwing. Fossil Dino and Dust Shoot. Ouch. That is quite the opening. Swap, swap, Treeborn Toad, Dupe Gores. Swap, swap, Treeborn. Toad, dupe, gores. Damn, that's a hand of all frogs. Damn, that is a lot of frogs. Five frogs and a gores. Okay, let's see where this goes. Where's my food? Where's my food? I'm not going to make it through I the next how, 12. I love how angry that was. Because I'm realizing that my food's still not here, and it says it's been wrapping up for the last, like, 10 to 15 minutes. I am so hungry. I need sustenance. I think it's time for me to down one of those Red Bulls, too. Not because I'm actually tired, but I know that if I do it now... That shit would just last. That's like a preventative measure. Okay, alias off the top. Oh, he killed the fossil diner. Okay. Oh, I'm really surprised that he didn't. Okay, I'm okay. Jumbi, okay. Alias is so good. Yeah, I like that deck. Yeah. Well, I know that's not... I was talking about Hero B. I know that's not what he's playing, but... Well, I, I just top with this... The deck that Enraged Peacock's playing with. The, um... Yeah, yeah. With Alias in it. Because, like, that wasn't being... At least in recent memory, that wasn't being done the way I, uh... 
I put like one of each hero. So one malicious, malicious edge, I think his name is. One infernal prodigy, one alias. Just one of all the boys. But the one alias, it comes up. It comes up a lot. Thank you, Alfredo Alonzo. <laughs> he said, your outfit is fire. Dedicate your heart. Dedicate your heart. How do you guys feel about the music? Is the music musicing right now? Or is it like, should I turn it down? Like, how do you guys feel? Oh wait, damn it. I gotta remember to change. I'm gonna change this. So this is round two. This is a uh, E Peacock versus OG. And it's currently one one. I'll get better at this stuff, I promise. Steve Rogers said, it's chill. Dallas said, literally fire. Okay, good. So, four back row all of a sudden. Very interesting. Bora is insane, because you have to opt to not even bring back your tree born frog, because Bora exists. Wasn't there a point in time when everybody was saying you should take Bora out of the Blackwing deck? There was. That's so wild to me. I think this is Full Metal Alchemist. I'll check. It is Full Metal Alchemist USL. Yeah. You said that shit fast, too. This is like my favorite game. Like, this is one of my favorite. Just like listen to music and then trying to guess the songs. The literally fire comment was towards the arm and cosplay, but the music is nice for sure. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, don't forget to yeah. like the stream and all that stuff. Whatever whatever the other uh, YouTubers say. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to like the stream, comment, subscribe. Make sure you do a super chat. Come on through with the duty do. And uh, <laughs> with the duty you know what I'm saying? Like, we just, we just trying to make people happy. And we're just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! and a 24-hour stream. And Oh, my God. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. But I'm not one to talk That's right now. That. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to chill. Listen, I literally can't talk right now the way I look. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> Stop, please. <laughs> I can't. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, I'm out. Good shit, Quest. You won your match on stream, you know? You showed the power of the Morphotronic deck, it beat Black Wings of all things. Yeah, that was definitely a fun game in the watch quest. That was cool. Okay. That was cool. This game is going crazy. But you know what's crazier than this game? Do you? Your hair? No. Well, no, yes. Not Maybe not what you were thinking, but still, yes. It's that time. It's that time. 
Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? Kenny and the Kenny Ackerman fit next. Mmm, get the Kenny Ackerman going. I might be able to look into that. I might be able to look into some Kenny Ackerman. Who's winning? Who's winning? Who's winning? Who? <sighs> Can y'all ban Fraser? Who's winning? Hmm? Can y'all just ban him? Who's winning the game? Just ban him. Just fucking ban him. I just wanna know who's winning. <sighs> Not you. <laughs> Not I, said the cat. Not I. Bye. 
What a duel. What a duel indeed. These boys is doing. Wow. Yeah, what the hell is going on in this duel? <laughs> Dom, Dom, your comment is taking me out. <laughs> that comment is taking me out. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. I was not going to say it. What I will say is that this is a very interesting turn of events. All right, is that all three Econs? That has to be all three, right? One, two, three. There are three Econs engraved now. What the hell is this? What is this? Chat, what is this back row? Oh, this is wild. Chat, what is this back row? Please tell me. Seriously, chat, what, what, what is this back row? What is this? Somebody said double tool C and D. There's no way. Oh, it was malevolent. Oh my God, what is happening? Act of a station virus, I did not expect that. Okay. What the, what the hell? 
Y'all gotta stop. Y'all have got to stop. This is insane. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> okay, there's the game. Yo, Enraged Peacock, you got some heart, my guy. You have heart. You have a lot of heart. I will tell you that right now. You have a lot of heart because that was... That was something. All right. So we are now moving on to top four. Uh, I wonder if Chai T's back yet. Oh, I'm back and ready whenever. All right, Chai T, you and Dom... Load up your match. Don't start. Your match. Don't try that. Down. Uh, okay, so, and then it's going to be enraged at PC. All right, we ready when you're ready. All right, let me... Let me find your names. So what are y'all dueling book names? I don't even know. Uh, oh, there we go. Dominique Roberts. Boom. All right. I am in here like swimwear. This is hilarious. Hopefully I'll put on a show. I'll be back after the round. Yeah, you definitely put on a show. No question. That Treeborn Frog in attack mode. When your opponent knows you ain't got shit. Balls of steel, my guy. Peacock, no one can ever say you don't have balls of steel. My man said, here's my hand of brain control, dust tornado, and I'm gonna bring this treeborn frog back in attack mode, and I'm gonna attack you. Bitch. I'm gonna attack He's you. Man. He's a man. I'm gonna attack you. I'm gonna attack To you. be a man, I'm you must attack. have honor. Okay. Honor and a penis. I'm attacking. I'm attacking with this treeborn frog, bitch. All right, here we go. Let me see. This is top four. Let me let me actually fix this. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna go make some dinner. All right. Top four. Uh, Tachi versus Chai T. Chai T? That's like saying T T. You don't say butter butter. <laughs> or bread bread. <laughs> Whatever he said in that Spider Man movie. Chai T. Chai means tea, bro. You wouldn't say, can I get some cream cream? Okay. D Prison, Armonite, Mind Control, Mali, Diva, Future Fusion. Reminds me when Courtney Waller attacked with Diddy Crow. Do you remember how upset the community was? The outrage, the articles, the think pieces that were written because Courtney Waller summoned the Diddy Crow and attacked with it. People went crazy about that.
All right. So what do we have? Diva gets Gilman. And he still has a hand of Future Fusion D Prison. Hmm. I'm assuming Armageddon Knight got sent back with Trap Dust Shoot. So does Captain Ken Chan work today? No, Kenny is off today. Quest. Also, I guess I'm just not getting food. Like I guess that I guess that this restaurant is just never making my food. When did I order this? An hour ago. I ordered it at 8.22. It is 9.33 and I still don't have food. They're getting a one. Not the driver, not the delivery person, but the restaurant is getting a one. There's no excuse for this. It's been an hour and 10 minutes. This restaurant is literally an eight minute, at, at most like eight, not even really eight minutes. It's like six minutes from my house. An hour and 10 minutes for ramen is insane. It literally says on screen. Okay. That's a convenient number of darks you got there. Oh, it's Lice Warren. That explains the uh, blatant catastrophe. I, I will say I'm a bit surprised that D.Va didn't get returned to the deck off a trap dust shoot. Now that I now that I know he's on Light Sworn. Oh, you can join now. Hydro Hydro, you can join now and then so join the general chat first. And I will drag you in. Podcast Discord server. Okay. Do 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 do. Yo. Hey. Okay, How's so we're in top four. Are you watching this? Yeah, I see the the stream. Okay, you see the so YouTube like stream or do you see because I'm streaming as well on Discord, so oh, you can actually I can, switch. I can do this Discord one. Yeah, do the Discord one because I think that's real time. I think it's real time, King. <laughs> I just I just came back. Where did Fraser go? I'm right here. Can you see me? No, that's Armin. Armin alert. This is a yeah, lot. You got, you, got, you got to wear the fit for uh, nationals. I I will not. Do you know how hard it is? No, in all seriousness, guys, do you know how hard it is to do the lacing system, like the wiring system of this damn outfit? This is not easy. Like this, this fit, let me see. I have on like, I'm like wired the hell up. Like it is, it is bad. It is. It actually takes entirely too long to get into this. Um, well, you could just do the wig and then people will know who you are. You know? I, don't, I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> a black guy in a blonde wig. <laughs> I don't think that that's how that works. 
It wasn't you who sent me that picture of the guy? No, it was Stango. No, Stango sent me a... Uh... Hold on, I'm gonna pull the picture up again. Karen Frazier. <laughs> this, is, this is who Stango said I look like. Is this racist, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Is this what I look like? Be honest. Who who wore it better? Who wore it best? I'm looking back and forth. <laughs> Who wore it better? Bratwater ramen and hour and a, twenty minutes. You should make ago. a uh, like a community choice thing. A vote. No, I'm not Ooh. letting people choose for me to look like this in public. <laughs> Who wore it better? Hell yeah, man! My first ever cosplay was Inosuke. All I need is pants and a pig head. I actually like the Inosuke idea because, well, you need a nice body too. Like, Inosuke is cut up. I need to hit the gym every single day and do a lot of cardio and eat absolutely zero carbs to look like Inosuke. Because that man has like an He's eight He's also pack. a pedophile. Wait, what? Inosuke? Is he weird for gone? No, you're talking about completely different anime. You're about to get kicked out of chat. <laughs> First of all, Inosuke is from Demon Slayer. Okay. He is not a pedophile. You're talking about Hisoka. Oh, He's looking from Hunter yep. Hunter. Yes. Yeah. Not you calling in. I'm like, Inosuke is a kid. He is a kid himself. I'm blanking. Yeah. I've been uh I've been watching your stream for Too 13 long? hours. No, no I'm kidding. I'm about to say, I mean it's fine if you have. You're just majorly supporting, been, you know? I've been watching a lot. Uh okay. So what ended up happening to that catastrophe that was out there by itself? I don't know. I was distracted by the wig. I was distracted too. <laughs> Guys, what happened to the Catasta? How did he die in one turn? That's right. a Future Fusion, though. That's that's two games in a row he opened Future Fusion. I think he should be playing Dragons. Yeah, Grim. He's he's young. I don't know their exact ages, but he's not an adult. He is definitely not an adult. He said, you gotta chill drawing this one of. Listen, just be happy, Dom, that he is not playing dragons. I always say the future fusion in this deck is fair. It is very fair. They actually have to wait two turns to do anything off of it, usually, unless they have Diva in hand or Plague Spreader. Fair future fusion. I mean, it. There's an unfair version of the card, and there's a there's a fair version. This is the fair version, for sure. The unfair one is send five dragons to the graveyard, activate multiple effects, activate multiple effects on the end phase. Go plus, go plus two. It could be more than that, honestly. Depending on how it all shakes out. Yeah. Uh-oh. Lila. Keep on following. Oh, bottomless. Ah. Future Fusion going first as well. Your opponent gets like a turn to do something. Singular turn. Yo, I got gassed by mind control earlier. You got you got what by it? I got messed up. What happened? I oh, I saw he took your dark arm. It was on stream. That yeah. that was nasty. Can't say I was playing around mind control there. You were bopped nastily. Let me look at the bracket real quick. Okay. So everybody in these matches is guaranteed at least twelve dollars and fifty cents. First place is fifty, second is twenty-five, and then we got twelve fifty each. I like my uh I like my prize split breakdown thing or whatever you want to call it. I got 1249, not 1250. We don't. Not 1249. Yeah, that mind control was disastrous. Dark arm mind control. I was like, oh, he's he's below brain control. I know. That's what I was shooting for. I was not thinking of mind control. Nope. I don't think anyone. It's funny. Is. First I, of all, I don't it's a think that's too. So you can't really. You can't really play I around can't... it. Yeah. 
I think he had Book of Moon too. Wait, no, that was another game. That was game two where he had Book of Moon. Ooh. I think if I didn't pop with Stardust, then I might have won. Uh, what? Or like Stardust negate, but DD Crow. Dom, you're gonna have to be a little bit uh more expedient on that DD Crow because. Certain people would not let you do that. I'll just let you know. You he has priority to banish malicious when Spine Gilman comes out. So if you want to DD Crow the malicious, when Diva effect activates, you have to change to Diva's effect. That's the correct way to do that. Yeah. Uh, I I want to say he gets turn yeah turn priority. Yeah, he has priority. Once Diva hits the field, you need to or, crow right there when he goes activate Diva effect. Otherwise, once when Spine Gilman hits the field, he has priority to activate Malicious and banish it for cost. Honestly, his opponent should just activate Malicious first. That's Anyways. exactly what I was thinking too, yeah. Because then nothing can go wrong. Yeah, they have to preemptively just crow it. That's my problem with crow against this. I don't like, I personally don't care for crow in this matchup. But... Okay, Cyber Dragon Contact. Very nice. Very nice. How much? It's kind of funny how Chimera Tech Dragon just like makes it so you can't play machines. <laughs> By just existing? Yeah. Okay, Jane only gets it when attacking a monster. The like gadgets would be like a real deck. Possibly. Um, I think gadgets actually have more problems than just Chimera oh, being in the format. That's the biggest one. I don't think so, honestly. I don't think that the reason why that deck always loses games is because of, is because of Chimera I think the gadgets themselves, their stat line is actually horrible in this format. So 1200 and 1400 are terrible because Pyramid Turtle and Tomato crashes with it. So that's like two things off the bat. But then they also happen to be weaker than a lot of the regular monsters that people normal summon, like Stratos, Alias, Ashura. Like all of the normal summon mon like Lila. There's so many monsters that beat over gadgets naturally. And drawing too many gadgets is a problem. Like these are all things that are problems with the main deck of it. And then you can get into like the extra deck issue of the Chimera tech and all that. Um, but yeah, I always feel like that building a gadget deck, like I want to make a successful gadget deck, and the best one to me is Solidarity because it fixes a lot of the issues. Like it fixes, it at least fixes the attacks that issue a lot. Yeah, I actually took gadgets to my first regional in Edison format. So I kind of have a soft spot for gadgets in a sense. I want to play them. Gadgets. So what's happening now? Who's turn? Okay, it's Chai's turn. They haven't entered battle phase yet, I guess. Ooh. Um. Double zero. Yeah, you saw it here first. Fraser, how many decks do you usually have built in real life for Edison? Uh, I always have three decks built at a time, so yeah, I have three decks built in real life right now in Edison format. I think about that's where I'm at. Yeah, I have every deck basically, but I have three decks built at a time. Like three decks are sleeved. I'm their podcast. You mean the three times smashing ground, three times hammer shot, and three times Fisher don't make gadgets good? You remember me raging? Mm, I well, think true hero is playing Fisher, so. Fisher's good. Fisher's good in his deck because he needs to out consecrate it. I think Machina Garretown is better than Machina Stun with Hamsters and Reiko. Machina Geartown. Okay, so he's only at three names. Lumina is a fourth name, technically. Discard card well, trooper. Card is an honest in hand. Could be. Wait, well, he added it off back in the line, so. Oh, actually, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Sork. Sork indeed. 
So he needs to draw JD is like where we are, I feel like. What do you think of that trap card, uh, the Call of the Haunted for Light's Horns? Glorious Illusion. I actually yeah. like it if you're playing Triple Celestia. Yeah. Uh, I also like it for Enphase, bring back Lila. That's kind of nasty, right? Yeah, just make sure you have it. Just make sure you have a light sworn on the field. Wait, what? It said this gives you a light sworn so you can like treat your oh, celestial. Okay, I was about to say. I thought they. I was like, I don't recall it having a requirement. Oh no. It has. A, it can also uh, mill too. So. Do you ever take cards out of one deck and put them in the other because you only have one copy? No, Alex. All three decks are fully built on their own. I don't have to move cards around. Oh, oh man. Okay, going into game three. Going into game three. Why are you all looking at this picture? <laughs> who wore it better? I just want to know who wore it better. Is that a rhetorical question or? Who wore it better? Well, that's exactly I, I, why people cited. They cited to deal with Consecrated. That's been being done for like two years now, by the way. It's like a very known thing. Bro, it ain't really not going to give you my food. All right, how do I complain? What do you order? I order ramen. Ooh. You could do a, a vlog of you going to get your ramen. All right, I'm messaging a delivery guy because this is actually outrageous to me right now. I am fucking starving. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Cody. What do you mean, what did you come into? It's it's epic cosplay time. Hold on, let me... Let me... What deck would Armin play? He would play... Something gay. Let me think about it. <laughs> what's a gay deck? What's a what's a pacifist deck that like doesn't want to hurt you, but it like obviously has to win still. Like, what, can you think of anything that like really really doesn't want to hurt people? This like beats around the bush. Um, quick draw. It has yeah, dandelion. Yeah, it has dandelion. In it. He's, a, <laughs> he's a dandelion. He's a quick draw player. <laughs> I mean, Jeff Jones did win with the He said, so. swoop them bangs. Final countdown. I've never had long hair in my life. Um, so this is an experience. This is also my first time ever wearing a wig. But like, this is something. I feel like hair is annoying. I don't know. Like, I'm black. So typically black people, we have really short hair, at least black men. Um, if or, it, if or you like, have it down like in your face and stuff, it's pretty annoying. Yeah, like every time it does like this or like falls into my face, it's really obnoxious. I don't like the feeling of having hair on my actual face. And then like people, like I don't know, like the bangs. Yeah, if it's down in your face, it's pretty annoying. But if you like tie it up and stuff, it's actually not a problem. I'm just saying it's because I got in my long hair. Yeah, you do have long, luscious locks. The long Scooter locks. said it's a wig? That is his natural hair. <laughs> Somebody said he would play fairies. That actually, that's correct. True. Fairies just like can't really kill you. Yeah, right the they really don't try to either. And Arsenal Christie kind of looks like Armin. Oh, charge, recharge. <laughs> Someone should just draw, like, Armin's wig on the Archler Christie. I had a fro slash braids in high school, but cut it senior year and never grown it back out. Having long hair as a black man is aggravating and hot, in my opinion. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work having long hair. Like, I had a curly top at most, which is like a mini fro type of situation and even that was too much for me i'm i'm lazy like when it comes to my hair i just want to brush my hair real quick and go outside i do not want to yeah i do not want to go out and have to do all this styling and stuff to my hair it's too much like i couldn't imagine this every day could you imagine having well i mean you're white 
But like, could you imagine having this every day? This is so much. Like, look at this. Look at all this. Based on what Kenny said in the podcast before about having long hair, it's like, I guess for a white guy. <laughs> uh, this, you know, you go through your weird phases of having long hair, growing it out, but once you get to a certain point, it's actually easier to manage, I think, than like that's, short hair. Yeah, that's probably true. Because like you because, said, you can just pull it back, right? Yeah, like I used to like comb my hair and stuff when I was had it short and it would be like one... Because I got curly hair, so like one, I'll try to comb it straight, and then like one curly piece will be sticking out or something. I'm never ordering from this restaurant again. That is never happening. It has been an hour. It has been an hour and uh, let's see, I ordered at eight twenty-two. It's been an hour and a half. You look magnetic. Thank you, anim animatic lunatic. Kyle, are you playing Frog at Nats? I have no idea what I'm playing at Nats. Me either. Oh. I just got cooked by a mind control on the black wing mirror, so. Not sure if I want to go with that. Do you get it for free if they are late? Honestly, I'm complaining so fucking hard about this order. That it will be free after I'm done. I'm going full <laughs> Karen mode. I'm keeping this wig on and I'm <laughs> I'm going full. I actually, the phone, well, I will, it's not going to be a phone call. I was going to say, if I had a phone call, I would actually have the phone call with you guys like live on stream. So you can hear how Karen I'm about to go. Because it's been an hour and a half. This is unacceptable. Pop off like you popped off with playing Dark Calling Deck. What's weird to me is that my my driver or whatever my uber person it says they're on a bicycle they've been bicycle. at the restaurant for like 45 minutes so and the crazy thing is i actually messaged i messaged him and said hey are they still preparing the food he didn't respond I mean, I don't know what's going on. This is this is how this is how wars are started. Just so you guys know, because I don't have my food. This whole meal is free. I'm not even fucking joking. This this it, I paid thirty one dollars before tip. This Good whole, Lord. if I ever get this food, this shit is free. I'm not joking. How I much is a, so a meal kidding. in Philadelphia on average? Like 20 bucks minimum. Ooh. Minimum. Wow. Uh, if, if you're talking about Uber Eats, it's like 20 bucks minimum or, or Uber Eats. And if you're talking about going out to actually like eat, I would say um, it's a little different, obviously. Depends what you get, I guess. Yeah. Oh my god. Holy cow. Oh my lord. This is how he won game one. He just summoned like five monsters in one turn, basically. Nibiru. Oh, he has scores. Yeah. Okay, then banish oh. the gores. Main phase two. Yeah, he's just gonna lose all this stuff anyway, so. Bounce that. I don't see any heroes. He needs a miracle fusion bat. He needs a hero. <laughs> Oh, Knuckle Guard now. Oh my god. Okay, the Mills. And just the Guard now. But both JDs are gone, so oh. once you clear this, there should be a pretty decent shot at uh, winning or whatever. Double Wabaku probably wins you. I don't see Plague Spider Zombie, so yeah, maybe. Ooh, this is not... This is not it. Can we... Fossil dinosaur. Because where's Celestia at? One. I only see one Celestia in the grave. Lysworn is such a scary deck. Yeah, you said you lost to it in the. What was it, last weekend? Deck Devastators 4, yeah. Did you just go crazy? He, I got Lysworn. Oh. I, got, I got absolutely Lysworn upon. I like the way my. There we 
to do. Yeah, it kind of goes through like weird waves where like everyone's like on hating it, citing limbs and all this, and then they're like, okay, no one really plays Lightsworn anymore. And then Lightsworn comes back, and people are like, oh, at the side limb again. Yep. It's kind of how the whole format's been going, just kind of like yeah. going through cycles. I was going to say that the, the whole format is that oppression, then no oppression, light mirror, then no light mirror, fairies, then no fairies. Frog hate, no frog hate. I think frog hate is, is always, I don't think there's ever been a period where frog hate wasn't a thing. I, I cannot name a single period where people weren't at least siding pulling a rug. Yeah, I mean, it usually it's pretty easy to side against frogs. But. Yes, because everything hurts the deck, basically. Like, even if you're siding Fossilina, that hurts frogs. Like, pulling a rug hurts Diva Hero and frogs, you know what I mean? So every card... Yeah. Damn, he just attacked. Fucking ball. People have balls of steel tonight for this $50. People want this money, okay? Also... He said you don't have it. Can I just say that there are 10 cards left in deck? And this is a mill 5 right here. Yeah, I was saying that. You know. He just has a lift. Oh, there's Plague. He said, I'm going to get this. Why? After, before you Torrential, I'm going to get this in. I guess you can do a level 6 or 8 play and then Lumina again. Oh no, he just wants to get Light Swords off the field, so. Yeah, the whole point is to not deck out. So now that he's committed to the plates, but I'll say this, I probably would actually allow myself to go to this next end phase of mill five personally, and then hold the plague in my hand, knowing that I can get rid of it whenever I'm ready. Um, but we'll see. Yo, what up, Dallas? We out here grinding. I got two kids. <laughs> Where did that come from? Where did the two kids thing come from? I don't know. Oh, I guess he's saying like, I'm grinding because I have two kids. I have two kids, therefore I have to work. What's in the hero player's grave? Plague and um, something. Is, it, is there's no hero? Is what's in there? Oh. And there's a Garna and a Plague in here. It's looking really bad. Like, this might be the last turn. Yeah, Garna is real. Like, even if you get to make an absolute zero, you have to deal with Plague oh. Garna. Oh, so. okay, yeah. <laughs> Y'all do want to get this money, though. Y'all got, got kids to feed. Y'all do got kids to feed. So apparently the European uh, nationals, they had the giant black rose as well. I was trying to see if there was a picture online of it. Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see what we're playing for next week, because I assume it's the same thing. I don't appreciate that they, that they gave them one. Yeah, at least make it like a different card. Yeah, like what the fuck? <laughs> Just kind of makes it less worthy. Yeah, less prestigious. Like, give them their own card. Give them Red Dragon Archfiend or something. Who were better? What is happening right now, guys? I don't know. I thought he was going to die like three turns ago. Well, the thing is, there hasn't been three turns. Exactly. Uh, was mid Pef in the tournament today, or he was? What was he playing? I don't know. Sorry, lots of options it, here. Well, that's never good to hear. There was uh, some uh, cool decks that topped. Yeah, I didn't see that the top eight out. for RBET. I, only, I, I, I heard like a new station deck that had like dark some more okay topped i know top four had two black wings in it so you know there's that uh the other deck was like some kind of hero deck diva hero or not sure if it was hero beat at all
people are going to start citing electric virus now. Come on, Chai. Do something. All right, Thunder King. Oh, this is Chai? Okay. Yeah, Midpuff is Chai T. Cool. All right. Oh. Ooh. DD Crow yeah. and the Plague. Ouch. Again, maybe you just do Plague first before summoning Thunder King? Right. Oh. Oh, she. Oh. Not sure that does answer. So when though, he said but... lots of, yeah, I don't know either, but he said, when he said lots of options, at least he wasn't lying, right? Like, at least there are actually lots of options. At least I get that Mally. Yes. He can do a lot now. He he wasn't, he at least he wasn't capping when he said lots of options. Could be wrong, but is Chai T a female? Well, I have no uh, idea. I okay. I think I played them before. It was brought up. I don't know. Okay, well, Chai Chai T. I don't know what your actual gender is, <laughs> but uh, yeah. The new spatial deck was really cool. If not you are, lie. if you are indeed, sorry. What did I get this? Well, they are they are a person, so that's all that matters. Dark and dragon. This is quite the field. I still don't think you can out it. Why do you say that? He has Necro still. Oh, he does have Necro Garden. Uh... And there could be an honest or I don't know. Let me check something real quick. Sorry, guys. I'm like trying to look at PayPal here. Where do I see my activity at? Why is this thing being so dumb? Recent activity. Okay, I want to see all activity. Here we go. See all. I hate when apps change things. Just leave things as they are once they are working well. Tell that to Twitter. Yeah, well, Elon said you can only see 600 <laughs> tweets a day or some shit like that. Can I move this thing? Huh? On my screen for like the stream, like it's there's like these a little emoji things are in the way of actually reading the stream on my screen did you set the alarm for the vod fraser i did i set an alarm for when it gets close to 12 hours so right now so we're still split like, in the two yeah we're because apparently they don't save it after 12. also guys so if you're here past 12 hours. if you're here please like the uh like the stream There goes Necrogardner. Are both JDs in the grave? Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. So nothing got killed in battle? No, we're working through it. Cause this main phase too. Oh. Uh Gores is gone. Uh banished Gores. Return. Yeah. Okay. Bye. There we go. This is awkward. Why you say that? Just, I guess, for both players.
I was just about to say I wish he would put a token on Darken, and then he literally did. Sork died in battle. Hmm. Oh shit, is there an honest somewhere? Assume they have honest in their hand. Oh no. Oh they, they do have on. honest, because remember when they did that turn with Gores, they tried to they tried to yeah. attack with honest. Oh, okay. Well they did attack with honest. Stack plague. I think. Black Crows. I mean, yeah, that's, Spanish, yeah. that's really good here because your opponent just has nothing. Yeah. And they can never put anything in attack mode. Like for the rest of the game. And you yep. have Honest in hand. So. Yeah, even to the top, like Miracle Fusion. Right. And like if that's Raikou, then even Miracle Fusion doesn't. Okay. That is Dominique Roberts advances to the finals. Okay, so we have we're moving on to the other top four match, which is going to be uh, we got Wheezy F versus E Peacock. Let me see if I can fit the whole name. Okay, I can. Yeah, I was thinking you do go over Sork as well, but because then you can do Sork to manage something. Yeah, but he's not going to let you do go your over Sork. Yeah. That's the thing. Okay. Are you uh, flying to Nationals or driving? We're driving down again. Okay, so I think enraged. Okay, so you guys, you guys can like go into the, okay, here we go. All right, here we go. The other finals. top four match. No, this is not that the finals. This is top four. four. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So um, Atachi slash Dominic Roberts is in finals. He's guaranteed at least 25 bucks. You know, it's kind of funny your alpha is attack on titan because trailer got shown today for like the part two oh, really? of season 47 yeah. <laughs> or so, whatever so i'm not going to watch it because the way i feel is like it's coming out soon anyway um yeah i didn't watch it either yeah i don't need to see a trailer i think it said it's coming out in the fall Oh, you guys, still, you guys can start. Still kills me. You, You're like, oh, what was it? Team Genocide? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm definitely team. Wipe this shit out. You realize <laughs> that the story of Attack on Titan is kind of akin to, like, real history, right? It's like... Yeah. So, me being a black man, like, my take is obviously I would wipe all like if I could I would fucking I would errand everything I would absolutely errand everything and you could take that to mean whatever you think it means everything can get errand it's all Aaron errands all around all right so what, what's the matchup I actually don't know I know it rage peacock stack but I'm not going to say it in case it's not known He's playing a hero deck. So far, a hero deck. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how many decks can be just off strategy. I know. 
It could be so many things with that opening. Like it could be black wings. It could be stop. Okay, you just started walling the fuck out. <laughs> Are you tired? You should you shouldn't be tired. I'm the one who's on the 24 hour stream here. Stratos, Aaron did nothing wrong. My man. See? Preaching right there. Preach. Do you see Most... what they did to that kid's head? Whose head? Oh, goodness. The, the kid in the last episode. Yeah. Squished his head. Of what? The Titan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was awful. When you saw the teeth actually breaking yeah. out of his mouth like that. Most shows are inspired partially by real history. True. Maybe I should finally watch Attack on Titan. Are they on the final season part 38? They are. It could be yeah. alien heroes, although pure aliens are better. Okay, so we got Black Wings or Bayou Turbo, one of the two, versus heroes. Or some type of hero. Could be a Black Wing mirror. Stop. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm going to mute you in a second. In a second, I'm going to fucking mute you. I'm just saying people had the bruise. It'd be fine if it was true for some reason. Would it be funny, though? Dang, this rock is just going beat down mode. Is this like one of those hero beat hands where you have open like all your monsters? Yeah, I don't know what's going on personally. I wouldn't be surprised if Rage Peacock has like a three. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, this is not what I thought it was. Oh, Roll oppression. Oh, that is pretty rough. That is so pretty is rough. Assume this is quick draw hero. And a roll oppression probably messes that deck up pretty good. <laughs> I want you to shut the fuck up. Frazier, are you excited for Bleach coming back this week? I am snack. I'm debating if I want to wait until the season is over to binge watch it, or if I want to watch it week to week. Week to week is hard. For for Bleach, week to week is very hard. Yeah, K. Dill said people are early on fireworks as always. Yeah, outside of my uh, apartment right now, I hear fireworks. Also, my food is officially on the way. I cannot wait to complain about this food. I'm so serious. Congrats on the cat run snack. What was it the final record of X2? Yeah, that's the best we've seen a cat deck do. Uh, what? No, a guy just didn't a guy just top with cat like last oh, week. I don't know. Yeah, I think somebody somebody got top twelve. I think, or maybe top eight. I don't know. Somebody top with cat last week at DDV. I feel like. I feel like mm. there was a cat deck. Well, not the plant one that uh, Maki was playing. I could look. Oh my god, main deck deck devastation virus, huh? Who would do such a thing? Multiple people are doing this now. A true hero. He's not the only one. McCabe's been doing it for like a year. That, that hero beat matchup looking real good. Econ, Caius, Gores, Ecol, Soul Exchange. Econ, Caius, Gores, Ecol, Soul Exchange. So deck dev, you hit nothing. Got him. Deck dev for nothing. <laughs> Maki, Picardo, and I all basically at ninth. Did you guys all play cat? That's insane. If three people got knife with cat, that's actually wild. Also, this. You just make that your uh, stream thumbnail. I'm going to have to step off for a second to grab my food. That guy was biking over here in a hurry. <laughs> oh. 
Alrighty, well, there's a uh, pretty big hands. Nothing really on the field. Yeah, pretty big hands. Nothing engraved to bring back with Blizzard. Oppression's on the field, so also no Blizzard. It's like triple Blizzard in hand. I had that happen before. That's, that's real fun. Heavy Storm. Okay. Things are bad. We going in? Yeah, maybe he has game. Okay. Oh, he is only at 3,000, so... Yeah, 3,000, maybe he has game. But there is Gores. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to drop Gores here. There's a Kalut, probably not. Yeah. Yeah, because you can just do Shura over and then Gale Kalut game. But yeah. maybe he doesn't have it. Well, you can just get clued off the sure anyways in this game. Yeah, but it's all not, snacks that always scary good. when someone uses heavy for a neg. I agree. Because that just means that you're you should be dead that turn. If they blatantly go heavy themselves. It's not a good I just sign. think heavy is usually pretty scary in general. Yeah, but we're talking about a specific situation. All right, what's what's happening? Okay, I was about to say. Like, you know all of your opponent's cards. There are no secrets. Okay, so... Are they just not activating Shora? I mean, if you have Kalu, it doesn't matter, I guess. What is going on? Am I, am I, like, am I losing my fucking mind right now? What's happening? Oh man. What? <laughs> I guess we're just gonna make black rose. Yes. But wouldn't getting value here be good? Maybe they have that? I don't know. What is what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think they have? Okay, Substo got killed by DDV. Very good DDV. Econ, Kaius, Gores, he calls slow exchange, so. No secrets with this hand. Summon anything. There we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right. We have food. Game was Jover. Game was definitely Jover. Oh, God. They give me chopsticks. Is this all meat? Oh my god, I'm so hungry right now. I've been waiting for this food for two hours. I ordered this at 8.22. It is 10.22. So if I were to get into cosplay, I think I would want to try like an Itachi cosplay. Itachi? You could do Itachi. You have the, he has a ponytail. You have a ponytail. He's pale. You're pale. Yeah, I can see it. Got paint your fingernails purple. Is it purple? I yeah, he, it black. he has like a purple. They all have like a purple fingernail. What's his uh, buddy's name? The shark guy? Kisame. Oh, it... Let me. I wonder if there's a cosplay of him. That would look wild. Okay, that is. So. 
I just realized I was talking on mute. So we got this is Wagyu brisket. And we got this broth. And I'm assuming that there's noodles at the bottom. Yeah, there, there are noodles. I can see the noodles in here. Now, I'm going to have to mute, obviously, to eat this because I'm assuming I'm going to have to slurp. And, and I'm not going to slurp on stream. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that to you guys. I would never. I would never do that to you guys. Um, but I'm very it's an ASMR video now. Yeah, that's what people are saying. People are saying ASMR, but like, honestly, I feel like AS ASMR, whatever you call it, is just gross. All right. Well, I just flooded this soup or this brisket in. Oh wow! Look at that. Deck that again. <laughs> Yo, he has kids. Give him a chance. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh my god. <clears throat> boy, oh boy, did I enjoy my dinner. Hey Fraser, how's your dinner coming? <laughs> <laughs> you dick. <laughs> I just got my dinner and they gave me chopsticks and I don't know how to use these things, so You just got it. Didn't you order it four hours ago? <laughs> I did order it four hours ago. Well, what do you mean you just got it? <laughs> You are such a dickhead. <laughs> you are you such a, you are such a dick. Chopstick tutorial. I don't know how to use these. What's up, Kenny? Hey, what's up, Padro? How's it going? It's a going. I'm so mad. I did everything I could to not get up out this chair, and now I'm gonna have to go downstairs and get a fucking fork because I don't know how to use chopsticks. Because I am a dumb American. Well, no, no. I mean. You're just an American, and in America, we, we were like, well, why would I eat with a stick? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make it sound... That makes it sound... Oh, this is cold. I'm annoyed. Hello, microwave. It's the man said, illegal dupe frog activation alert. Somebody needs to tell these guys. Wait, what? Uh, Alex said, illegal dupe frog activation alert. Somebody needs to tell these guys. I'm eating. Sorry. Well. Okay, wait. Let me see if I can message them. How do you not know how to use chopsticks? Okay, hold on, K. Dill. Let's not just act like when you're born, you're like, oh, I can use chopsticks. All right, mister. No one can just uh, use chopsticks. Uh, screw it. Raw. Is it except the game state at this point? Raw chopsticks. That's something you have to specifically learn how to do. Virus format. I am I am so annoyed right now that I have they, chopsticks. How is it illegal these two? It's blown up by Deck W, right? Oh. Wasn't it blown up by Deck I thought there was one set that was I don't know. Yeah, I thought that, I thought it was set. Mass restrict. They sent dupe off DDV, then used the effect from hand. There was a dupe on field. Maybe they added it twice. I think dupe was the set monster. I don't know if it's gonna matter. Damage up. Oh lord. That's brutal. Oh lord. It's like that. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Master Strict and Deck Devastation Virus. What a combo. Yep. You cannot treat it, but I can. What? Wait, slow down. Uh. Oh, he's saying like. One attack declaration. I guess. That's why you do damage instead of question mark. I agree. True. You definitely do do damage to a question mark. I am pissed that I can't eat this food. <laughs> uh, you gotta <laughs> get a refund. Time. You gotta get a refund, time, my brother. No, no, I am getting a refund on this order. 
Actually, let me do that now. You you got to be like, hey, not only did I wait four hours, it's fucking cold, which is probably <laughs> why I waited. For, it's probably a result of me waiting four hours. It was probably sitting there for four hours. Yeah, see, that's all I'm saying, Snack. I, forks are objectively better than chopsticks, but chopsticks are fun for the novelty. Like, you know, chopsticks are cool, but... You know, since then, forks have been invented. Is there a utensil in another culture that's used to eat with? Uh, hmm. Is there anything other than chopsticks? Oh, you mean like we have forks and spoons, chopsticks, and then like somebody else uses like something else? Yeah, like uh, not that I know of. Katana or something, I don't know. Not that I know of. There's hands. Some people eat with their hands. I wish <clears throat> Elemental Hero Neos was playable. Spork time. Which, uh, which Elemental Hero? Uh, Gadget's profile picture. That oh, one? Neos. Neos, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Neos is pretty cool. He, if, there's actually decks where you can use him with Hero Blast. He just like pop anything. You can pop a Monarch and add Neos back. Mm. It's kind of cool. Chopsticks are good for cooking utensils too, stirring, flipping, grabbing pieces of things one by one. Um, yeah, I can see that, but wouldn't a fork and a spoon also just be able to do all that? <laughs> chopsticks are dope. I wish I could use chopsticks because I'm a weeb. I want to eat rice like Goku and you know what I mean? I want to do a Goku rice eat off. Just but like I can't. chow it down in like two seconds. Yeah, with the chopsticks, that shit's awesome. You cook bacon with the chopsticks. That's what's up. You gadget eight seven eight seven one game one. Imagine if you like see someone eating with chopsticks, but one stick per ham. It says, we're sorry about that, but how can we make it? I guess you guys will never be able to see that because the webcam is just not good enough to pick that up. But they said, how would you like your refund? Instantly add it to your account or the original payment method? I want Uber Cash. Refund my entire order in Uber Cash. I want Bitcoin. Oh, we, shit. Know we just... We just refunded you $30.66 in Uber Cash. Instantly add it to your account. Can we help with anything else? No. Give How's... it to me in $30 of Bitcoin, but $30 of 2011 <laughs> Bitcoin. Okay, so it says, how satisfied with the support are you? And I'm going to put a smiley face because I'm very satisfied with getting my entire order for free. Despite oh the fact that it is cold and I have the chopsticks I don't care about because I would I could just get a fork. I'm not like but but the yeah, fact the fact there. that my soup is literally just cold. Like it is just a cold soup. I waited two hours for cold fucking soup. Cold ramen. It looks delicious. Like it actually looks good. I don't know if I can I can't tilt this because it'll spill. Um No enraged peacock has admitted the feat. Gadget eight seven eight seven wins the match. Okay. Enraged Peacock. Yeah, he's got nuked. On stream. Yeah, he did get nuked two games in a row by Deck Debbie, right? Finals. I just wanted to see the Treeborn beatdown from when you beat Gary. Can't make tornado eggs with a fork? Tornado eggs. The fuck are tornado eggs? Okay. Guys, wait for me to get in the Krabby game. Patties. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back. I'm going to go grab a uh, 
of work and I'm also going to heat this up. So give me like two minutes and then I'll be back. Okay. The Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza. SpongeBob is a uh, SpongeBob memes are kind of funnier when you're grown up for some reason. Well, Frazier, he went, he went to a SpongeBob rave. It was all about Frazier went to a sponge. Frazier went to a SpongeBob rave. Yeah. Ask what? Him about when he comes back. I don't know if I want to ask him. <laughs> just don't even know if I want to do that. I might just leave that in the Nexus. I wonder if they play that song uh, when he was dancing with the jellyfish in his house. That song was fire. Yeah, it was. That's not a bla a bl 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 That's not a bad song to play. Do the dance moves and everything. A little epic sax guy too. Get a little epic sax <laughs> man in there. Bow. It's kind of funny because there's this guy at my my job. His name's Gary. I think he kind of looks like Gary from SpongeBob. <laughs> that is absurd. Somebody just PM'd me Tornado Omelets. Torm tornado Omelet Master. Tornado Omelet. Oh, whoa. Alright. That looks kind of cool. I mean, that's definitely cool. It's definitely cool. But at the end of the day, right? That's. Uh, I, oh, that's cool. I didn't realize there was shit inside it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool. That's cool. Looks like a little tea. I definitely would, would like to eat that. It looks way too fancy to be street food. They're calling that shit street food. It's like fucking it served all fancily. Looks like a croissant. Croissant. Yeah, that was cool, though. Yeah, this would go for $100 in a high-end restaurant. All cool. right, well, that's fucking wild. It's eggs and rice. That's fucking crazy, because by the way. It's <laughs> eggs and rice. Fra Frazier would pay $100 for this in a, in a reflection of OBS. Well, Frazier will get smacked. I will smack Frazier if he does that. Frazier would definitely buy this for $100. Excuse me? What What are you guys talking about while we <laughs> <laughs> well, we watched the video. Well, I watched the video. I don't know if anybody else watched it. I think uh, Hydro watched it of somebody making tornado eggs, which is like some special thingy or whatever. And it looks all fancy and stuff, and it does look really good. And then Hydro said, uh, that could be sold for $100 in a fancy restaurant in America. And then I said, dog, it's fucking eggs and rice. <laughs> like, it's <laughs> But it looks fancy. And then, and then he said Frazier would pay a hundred dollars for it. And then I said I will smack Frazier. Okay. All right. So we got the finals. Gave him my all, but it wasn't enough. It's all good in range. Peacock, you had a good run. I'm, I'm, I'm happy made for it all. Made of it, it further than I did. All right. Let me. Uh, get very far. Let, me <laughs> let me get into this game so that they can start while I'm fucking over here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so hungry. You guys got to bear with me. I'm a fan of everyone in this bracket because everyone in this bracket is in the Patreon. So that means I'm a fan of them. All right. Let me tell them that they can start. So this month is uh, you guys uh, doing the podcast for two years. Yes. July is actually the two year anniversary. July 15th to be exact. Mm. Which is cool that we did the 24 hour stream and everything and like the first tournament in the month of July. Full circle. Mm -hmm. All right. I told him to load it up. I'm going to have to mute in a second, but I don't see.
How was the uh, Cam podcast today? It was good. It was good. You should be able to, it I'm should gonna, be on I'm the, gonna, I'm gonna save it for my car time. drive. Yeah, it'll be out on Thursday when like I edit it up and everything. Oh. What is this? Oh. All right. This is um hmm. <laughs> Frazier's like, I've seen enough dragons today. I have. For the last for this week and the last. I'm over dragons right now. You can host. Yeah, somebody host this shit up. Come on, let's get the show on the road. Also, I grabbed a can of that good stuff to get me through these last uh, 11 hours. I got 11 hours. I got I got about 10 hours, really, because it's almost 11 o'clock. God, I just want to eat my goddamn food so bad, and I just can't. I'm never ordering from this restaurant again. This is my first time doing it. I said I want to take I want to try something new. And I did say that it was risky to order from some place that I never ordered from when you're actually hungry. And I did it anyway. I fucking misplayed anyway. It's like you trap dust you, you see your opponent has torrential and you still summon <laughs> the third monster. It's like that meme with the guy who puts the stick in the fucking bike and then he falls and he says like fucking black people or some shit. It's like that. That's basically what this is. Okay, here we go. Grand finals. Okay. Dom Roberts. Oh, oh I can't spell. I can't spell because the way I'm typing. Easy. Okay. All right. Before we start, guys, don't start yet. I should do a poll, right? Yes, yeah, a poll. Mm, this is grand finals, right? Yep. Grands. Don. The winner of this match gets a whole fifty dollars. So they essentially win two of Fraser's meals. Mm. I think Fraser's meal was at least thirty dollars before. Yeah, his meal was at least thirty, so they don't even win almost, almost two, two meals. <laughs> Lila, Mill. Oh. He said, "Let me see your hand." Mirror Force, Icarus, Bora, Brain, Kalut, Dead. Um, I've been talking this whole time and I was on mute. God damn it. Oops. Uh, but I was saying that's not a good hand. It was mirror forces checked by Lila. And your opponent knows it and you know it. Um, I was also saying, you know they know. I was also saying it's really cool that, uh, yeah, I'm going to mute in a second because I'm eating and I don't want you guys to have to hear me slurping up soup. But, uh, <laughs> you should try just to see. I think you're, you're Michael cut it out. Mm, no, I don't want to do that to y'all. I, I really don't want y'all to have to hear slurping sounds. I feel like that's so disrespectful. Um, <laughs> you should do a poll and see if it's disrespectful or not. No, because oh like, shit! It, I just realized Dominique Roberts is in the grand final. I didn't realize. Yeah, that's who that is. That's yeah, it's that's, our mod. That's... It's our one and only mod of our Discord. Oh shit! Our mod of the Abner Podcast Discord for over a year now is actually in the finals of this tournament. Dominique, if you win, you can finally get a paycheck. <laughs> job well done he had to go work for it <laughs> oh that's hilarious no we created a patreon tier just for dom that's a dollar he gets access to everything we created a whole mod tier just for him yeah now that said 
now that the cat's out of the bag, don't don't all Can don't let anybody else think they get to become a mod. All right. <laughs> well, you, well, you guys, you guys become a mod. You do it. We're, we, uh, listen, our heart. server doesn't need more than one mod yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I call shotgun. If you know, there's a there's an opening, guys, I'm going to hide myself behind this screen. So I'm going to literally move my screen capture. Let me see which one am I. I'm this. I'm going to move myself so that you can't see me because I just feel so self conscious eating all these fucking noodles. <laughs> In yeah. Asian culture, slurping is a sign of it being good. No, See? that's true. Slurping is definitely what you do in Asian culture. Um, but we're in America, and we're also on live stream. And I know some of I you mean, actually wouldn't care about me slurping up this food. Like I know, literally, some of you are like, I literally don't give a fuck, bro. Like you can do what you want, because every we all eat. We're all fucking human, right? We all eat. We all, we, you know, we, we eat. But like, we all slurp. We all slurp. All right, I'm, I'm still they going to do. <laughs> they definitely slurp in more places than Asia. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, there's some slurpers in chat. Y'all know who you are. You slurping. Type one mm -hmm. if you're a slurper. Mm, slurping that good stuff. Damn, we got 39 watchers popping off. Not bad. Not bad. This Lila is going in. This Lila is going in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said you're not gonna hit my good one. Hmm. Hmm. Well, does that mean one of those is brain control? Did he, is he risking a brain control and just getting blown up? I think Celeste just gonna smack down on the field here, and it's gonna be all the ogre. Damn, oh, one wow. of them was brain control. Dang. I don't know if I would risk the brain control. <laughs> yeah, but I guess you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, the, the one had to be brain control. Oh, Lord. That was Kaius. That's, uh... Oh, yeah, I forgot Dominique was, like, on the chaos stuff. At the, um... That's pretty brutal, still. As a side note, I meant to say this before the game started, but, you know, I'm slow. Hey, guys, I'm shilling for the I Am Nerd podcast. Like, comments, you know, blah, blah, blah. You got you to gotta do the show every now and then. It's, it doesn't come natural to me. That's why I got to do a dumb voice whenever I do it. But, you know, the like and the comment and the subscribe <laughs> and the, all that stuff. And then the, the Patreon, the I Am Nerd podcast Patreon. And then listen to the episodes on Spotify. The most recent episode... Not counting the episode that was recorded live today, was uh, a review of Demon Slayer Season 3. I need to listen to that one too. I'm saving that for my car ride to the Nationals. Yep. I, I actually watched the episode today. Watched what episode today? Uh, Demon Slayer, the last episode. Oh, the last episode of Season 3. Yep. Yeah, we um, did that. The one before that was on Across the Spider Verse. And then today was an interview with Cameron Saunders, who I'm sure everybody watching this, us play Edison, knows who Cameron Saunders is. So, hey, Cameron Saunders is watching this game. Look at look at that. <laughs> Speaking of, look at that. <laughs> Snack said, is that voice he made Bernie Sanders? I'm once again asking. I don't know. I was just doing a random voice. I'm once you don't again have to try asking. to make a dumb voice. Oh, I don't have to try to make a dumb voice. Please subscribe and like the video. It's true. My voice is just dumb. It was born that way. No, nah, that wasn't my Bernie voice. I haven't heard Bernie talk enough to uh, do a Bernie voice. I haven't heard a Bernie voice in two years. <laughs> so it's what? Interesting. 
game we've got here. Icarus Two cards attack. to four. Well, there is a dark arm in hand, so mm. anything's possible. That's true. True. When you have a dad, At least I think it's going to be two cards to four. This hasn't resolved yet. It's a hard thing. There goes the beckoning light. He said, oh, not my hamster. Okay. Do we know? Do we know anything about the hands and stuff yet? Well, Dark Arms and Gadget's hand. And don't think we know the set. I think the set is a new one. Oh, yep. It's new. <laughs> yep. Well, that makes his dad dead. Dead, dead. It was alive, anyways, but. So essentially three to one cards. So eating with hair is really fucking annoying. No one told me this. But my <laughs> hair kept on. Every time I went down to slurp my soup up, my hair would try to get in the fucking bowl. Yeah, hair is an L. Like this, this is an L. Okay. Hair is an L. You just gotta tie it up. I was uh, I was saying earlier, but I think having long hair is easier to manage than when I had short hair. This this right here, this fucking bob that I have, this this Armin, this fucking bob that I have, this is insane. The loss. I can't even get this headphone in. <laughs> Everything about hair is annoying. How much was your outfit? But uh, was it, was it a, expensive? It was a hundred dollars for the costume, and it was, I think, twenty dollars for the wig. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, the costume is very detailed. I'm not gonna lie. Like I yeah. have on a fucking 3D maneuver gear. I didn't even. If only you knew how much time I spent yesterday trying to figure out how to put this shit on. It's really bad, and in my <laughs> opinion. For sitting down is not worth it. If I was going to like a convention, like a cosplay type of thing, sure. But for what, like for sitting here in a chair where you can't really even see my whole body, th this was not necessary. I just needed the Does jacket. It come with, like the boots and everything. It comes with boot covers. Cool. The cosplay got me tripping. Is there like a full Itachi cosplay outfit you can buy? Of course there is. Probably. Every single cosplay you can think of, there's one. There's one so out like there. like a cosplay site where you just buy like... Hydro, are you fucking 12? Use Google. <laughs> like, what is? what are these questions right now? Bro, I didn't even know what a tornado omelet was, so... What are you, seven? I didn't know what a tornado omelet was either. Yeah, okay, what's a tornado <laughs> omelet? What's that? Uh, it's just like an omelet you? that's like spinning. It's like a spin omelet. Are you seven? You don't know what a tornado omelet is? Just spins around. Listen, nobody knew what a fucking tornado omelet was. <laughs> Y'all know what it's time for, though. Time to spin Sork the word. Sorkin time. Mm -mm. No, what? Why is it time for this? It's that why? time, y'all. Here we go. Why is it time for this? He read. He drank the Red Bull. So he's gonna do it. He's gonna turn into a tight. I don't know why it's time for this. I don't know why it's time for this. I thought he was gonna go crazy again. Just dance. Oh, he's starting. <laughs> Man, that wig really sticks on there. That's what I was saying. That wig is crazy. <laughs> That wig is that wig is insanely secure. Like I could not believe how fucking secure that wig was. It's yeah. insane. Yeah, let's assume you're gonna be doing some crazy stuff with that wig. Like jumping around. Like 
I give credit to that fucking wig. That wig is crap. Sorcerer. What I miss? What I miss? <laughs> Willie said that motherfucker uh, is glued. <laughs> he said that would have given me a headache. Next one, that would have given me a headache two minutes ago. I got a headache looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> like looking at you, I got a fucking headache. Well, this motherfucker. That is some nice Karen hair right there. I'll tell you. The wig is secure, y'all. Mm. You you could be like the test person for the wig. Like, they just start sending you wigs to see if they fall off or not. I mean, they will find out with me. Let's start jamming on the Attack on Titan music. I mean, come on. Y'all see what is given. Nerd always asks for the manager. That's right. <laughs> I literally just asked for the manager of the restaurant that delivered <laughs> my fucking food. I'm not even kidding. I literally told Uber, I want to speak to the manager. They said, we can't do that, but we can give you your money back. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Heavy storm. All right. We got some rebel in us. So we're calm. Uh -huh. Dominique wins game one. Dom starts off game one very strong with a dust shoot to reveal a weak hand and take game one. Dust shoot and light sworn seems so rude. Dom is one game away from being the first ever champion of the <laughs> Iron Nerd for... Small Cup. What about Little Cup? Does it got to be Small Cup? I kind of like Little Cup, but it's already been called Small Cup. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, but we can, we can change it. Now, nah, once it's in Chalong, it's it's uh it's stuck. Not, nah, but for the future. No, nah, if it's up, it's stuck. In the future, if it's up, it's stuck. No, it definitely goes down if you just don't play with it. Just don't touch it, and it goes down. What are we talking about here? Are we talking about tournaments, or are we talking about something else? I just opened Sunbreak for the first time in months. I forgot basically everything. Same. I haven't played Sunbreak in. I can't say a year because there's no way it's been a year, but like it has been close to a year. So yeah, my friend that plays Monster Hunter got me to buy Rise when it came out on PC, and we literally played it one time. Yep, sounds about. Did you Rise. play it on the Switch? No, my PC. Okay, no, I was just wondering if because a bunch of people were like telling me to get it on PC, and I was like, I already played it on the Switch. They're like yeah, yeah, but like. We'll play again. I was like, no, I won't. <laughs> like, I'm not doing all that again. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. I'll so do Medina it. Dina was like, oh, I'll get it on PC. I was like, yeah, that's fine. I won't be playing with you though. Yeah, I was like, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm not about the double dipping. 
Yeah, like I already bought and played the game and the, a shit ton of the game. It's like the people that buy both versions of Pokemon and play them both. Snacks, so what decks did you lose to in RBET? You play Chrissy Sworn, right? Yeah, I played Chrissy Sworn. I lost to round two, I lost to Hero Beat. Which was really unfortunate. I'll show the replays after this. And then I lost to um in round four. I lost to frogs. Uh <laughs> ooh, that frog, that frog match. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. That's how I don't regret go. I was gonna say I don't regret not waiting for PC because Me either. Part of the fun of monster like it don't want to be relevant though you were experiencing it like at the time you know yeah. what i mean like as it was happening like on pc it's like you get it but like everything's done already like not everything's done already but you know i don't know yeah, that's kind of why i haven't really because i don't have like a playstation 5 or anything so i'm not really gonna get the playstation exclusive once it comes out on pc you know like god of war you know I also didn't have a PS5 until someone did me a solid. Ooh. And then my whole life changed. It was like the Fire Nation. You know what? Your whole life didn't change, though. That's the thing. You think your life changed? It didn't. I mean, I know it didn't. I haven't even played it. I haven't <laughs> even used it yet. <laughs> I wish I could lie to you and tell you that your life changed, but it just didn't. I mean, I know. I Like I said, I haven't even used it yet. But... When did you get a PlayStation 5? Uh, like... I got it... The same day I saw Across the Spider-Verse. So, whenever that was. Okay, wait. So, when, whenever that so, podcast came out, like, the Friday before that. Or the Sunday before that. Something like that. Because I think I listened to a couple podcast episodes recently when you were like, Oh man, if I had a PlayStation 5... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I like just got it. It was very, oh, okay. very recently. Oh, was the gadget quit? Yeah, the gadget player is out. I mean, if this goes down to zero, Dominique is the winner. Oh no, his internet died. I've been listening since the beginning, just sleeping on the Patreon until now. Shame on me. Did y'all play Nar? Wait, what do you mean by did we play Naruto? Like Naruto card game, Naruto Ninja Storm, Clash of There's, there's a lot of Naruto games. Just Naruto. Straight up Naruto. You know, I never TCG. played a Naruto game before. I played a bunch of Naruto video games. Uh, I've never played the Naruto TCG, no. Uh, okay, we're at the 30 second mark. No TCG was pretty cool, but like, it just died like every other TCG. Mm -hmm. The Kingdom Hearts. Dominique Marks Roberts is 15 seconds away from being the first champion. All right, let's do a countdown. 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, seven 6, six five, 5, 4, four three, 3, 2, two 1. one. Oh. Congratulations, Don. <laughs> you are the winner. All right. That wraps this one up. What a way to go out. Yep. All right. Let's see. He looked at his hands and said, I'm out. <laughs> Damn. Gadget. You know? I don't know. All right. I'm not gonna say. You open a hand of gadgets, I guess. So, how do I do this? Can I, like. Oh, this is cool. Submit scores. All right, that is it. All right, so you guys want to see some cool replays. Let me so see. like attached. Let's see. Let me let me let me look at the replay real quick just to see. Let me see what the hand was giving. I guess, I guess we'll watch. Let's watch game one together. Yeah, we kind of were distracted by wig action for a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what, what he means by let's watch game one together. Like, I watched game one. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not this. 
What is happening? It's all a ham shelf on. You said you're not gonna snipe the wild. Yeah, the the set brain control was uh. Was something? Cause I said it. I don't know. I think you were shaking your head or something, Frazier. But I said uh, <laughs> when I saw him set three, I was like, does that mean he set brain control and just is gonna risk it going away? And then that's what got popped. Unfortunately, I don't think brain control would have mattered. Nah, yeah, it was probably a fine I think idea. He was Regardless, because like the brain control going away meant that he got to at least use Icarus and Mirror Force. So, look at that deck, Debbie, popping off. <laughs> You're such a dick. You know that. <laughs> you are such a dick. <laughs> like you can't help yourself. You are a dick for free. I told you. Look at his profile picture. He said, "Look." He's at the that kind of man that does a dick and down. He said, "Look at that brain control popping off." Dicks out for Blastoise. That okay. Blastoise dicks down. What well, he? Okay. Well, this this hand's terrible. I was making a Harambe joke. Rip. Yeah, you just looked at the hand as like, yeah. Yeah, I think he said, "I don't want to play anymore." <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was like, "You know what?" On second thought, I don't want to play anymore. All right, let me get out of here. Grand Mole. Oh, I can't see the chat. I just realized that the excessive that hand shuffling is always lit. beyond triggering. Enraged Frog beat down. Now the champion fights Frazier. My homie Enraged is enraged now after that DC. Frazier, I. I don't even know what the the EDI FTK. Oh, okay. I tweaked that. EDI FTK with Warlock friend me and I will send a list to you. It's kind of wicked. I don't know. Like, is the do you speak English? Is, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I, don't know, I just don't know what that was. Okay, let's see. Was it this one? Where's my replay? Oh, wait, these are like from the random. Okay, so which one do we want to watch? Should I I'm trying to think about what was from the tournament? Okay, wait, this is tournament. Wait, right? Is this tournament? Well, we're gonna find out. Hey, what's up, Tyree? Okay, I think this is I think this is the second guy that I lost to, I think so. It is a frog player. It is a frog player. Okay. So, I am at a grand total of one fairy after all of those mills. Um, yep, so that's where we are. We get Ryzed. It gets bounced. We summon this. We attack. We mill two, so now we are at two fairies, one, two, three different, four different lights warrants, one, two, three, four. Oh. Main deck crow. Main deck crow. This is the set. So he just drew this. You saw that, right? Yeah. So look at what's Not about crow to your guy. Yeah, look at what's about to happen. Summon JD. This is game, by the way. So JD plus uh, this turns into Goyo is game. But my opponent happens <laughs> to have just drawn literally a fucking main deck dd crow in frogs so Combo. so i don't kill them but look they're still in a terrible spot this this doesn't get them out of, look at this this is still game right like you it's guys still you guys still see game right it's still game right to rip like bring a tool nope it's worse econ still worse They draw soul exchange. Oh, same thing. No, it's not. It's econ? They're at 500. You said brain control. You're an idiot. Oh, well, that's an econ too. All right. So, and then they rip a Kaya's after soul exchange. So like literally DD Crow into soul exchange into Kaya's. 
that is runner yeah. runner runner it has to be like that is insane so that was that was that it had to be that order it had to be that order it had to be yeah because they drew those cards in any other order they actually lose the game on the spot uh okay so game two i open up nuts I'm like, nope. <laughs> so I literally summon Christia on my second turn. The Thalos. Yep. So you see their hand, right? What could go wrong, right? What could go wrong? Guys, what could fucking go wrong? Well, I'll tell you, I have terrible luck in these tournaments. So you're going you're gonna to see what could go wrong. Oh. <laughs> off the top. Straight off the fucking top. Savage. Savaged. Savage! But wait, I actually held Rikos in my hand in case something weird like this happened. So something still has to go wrong for me to lose this game, right? Something still has to go very wrong because this isn't enough to like win him the game. Let's see where it goes even more wrong. Soul Exchange Ryko. What do you think he's about to hit? Just take a guess. Just take a guess. He just fucking hit both my Rikos in one turn. <laughs> I love it. Yo, online tournaments, I swear to God, my luck in these things is outrageous. Like, absolutely unhinged outrageous. Look at what just happened. He ripped Creature Swap, then rips into my Ryko in my hand and the one set in one turn. I had two outs to my own Christia. And then it's just, you know, GG's from there, basically. Like, I don't think anything is going to change. It's like the the better player won. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Mirror Force too. Yeah, insult he, the injury. He, yeah, um, and then this was times two quest. Oh wait, this is the other one. Okay. All right, so here's the other one. This is my first loss. This is round two. Um, so Diva. I think I joined briefly to install this game. Part of it. That Gilman looking fresh in the hand. Yeah. Putting it work though. So nice. one game one. Uh, <clears throat> this game has some sackery too. Like some, this is where things go south because they always have to go south for me for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Okay, so I get Ryko here. I wanted him to spark, obviously. So I blatantly get three cards for the price of just like flip Ryko basically. I get all I get all of this for Ryko. Pretty good. What can possibly go wrong? Yeah, what could go wrong? We're currently at no fairies, so you know there's that, but we're not gonna complain. A mill plague, okay. My opponent has a lot of traps. I finally get my solar recharge. Torrential. Call it a haunted Stratos. Walls the whole deck.
One, two, three, four. So in this position that we're in, I'm like, I don't care if you get an alias back from your grave and add it to your hand. Like that doesn't actually do anything because nothing you have actually can deal with uh, the Christia. So this turn was really pivotal right here. Um, he drew Mirror Force, right? Yeah, he, he drew Mirror Force. He drew Mirror Force, and I drew Lila. And I was thinking to myself, like, okay, I can go Lila Pop, but the problem the problem that I saw with Lila was that I could target the new back row. Obviously, hindsight is 2020, but I could go Lila Pop the new back row, but I am at exactly one, two, three, four fairies. So once Lila is on the field, if this card ever leaves the field, Lila's going to mill three on the end phase, right? And then I'm going to be in a position where this Christia can never like, or like I'll have a hard time getting it out basically. Um, so I do this, right? Because Christia is going to go to the top of the deck. And I didn't, what I didn't want to risk was, I didn't want to risk having Lila on the field. Christia goes to the top of the deck because Gemini Spark is possible. And then Lila would mill the Christia, right? On the end phase. So like if I go, if I go pop and he has anything to like deal with the Christia, I'm in a really, really bad spot. Also, if this new set was Gemini Spark, same thing. Cause I go Lila, summon, activate effect, uh, target this. He goes change Gemini Spark, pop Christia. Christia goes to the top, end phase, Lila has to mill the Christia. Uh, so I was really, really trying my hardest not to lose my whole Christia like that and i told myself okay even if he mirror forces or whatever or gemini sparks it as long as i didn't normal summon i can keep my fairy count low with this and then i still have this so these two cards wall everything do you see what they just drew though one of these is one of these is fine because if you have one of these you can go attack over this but then you get walled out by this honest but they drew a second miracle which kills me so have a good night in rage peacock Thanks for sticking around for a bunch of the stream. Yeah, thank you, Enrage. Thank you for playing in the tournament as well. Um, oh, does Stango need us to pull him back up again? Hold on, let me pull Stango up. I got him. Um, okay, so this game, I open up, I guess, Sark for Soul Recharge, summon it. So I'm in a bad spot. My hand is not very good, uh, but I do have the Honest. And we're just going to wait. So I mill no, no, nothing special. So damaged up, honest. This always feels good when you get this in. So I summon Lila. He's like, no negate. Balance. Yep. Mill three. So we are currently oh at one. God. Yeah, we're currently at one, two uh, names. This is their name on the field. Draws alias i don't really care if they drew alias it's it's whatever um i mean it is a good draw obviously but so i guess all the recharge draw gold sark jane summon crack so right here i look like i'm in a good spot right like they have double alias and grave they don't have any waters yet i have gores in hand i look like i'm in a good spot now here's where things get tricky. So I'm like gold sark for heavy. And I'm pretty sure we're getting close to time. So they attack with ocean. And I was like, okay, my plan this game is honestly to like heavy storm JD, right? That is like my plan. So I don't I don't drop gores here because I'm like, I don't I don't really care about this. And I also have four names already. One, two, three, four, five. I have five names. So I'm sitting here like, okay. And then I'm pretty sure they say time is called. Right. Time is called turn zero. So I was like, well, fuck. Now I don't want to take any more damage. So I'm going to summon this now to like clear this. And it's torrential, which obviously gets used. Yeah. And from there, I just lose. Like I can't, I can't win in time from here. So it's just like, all right, well that's game. 
Yeah, I guess if you knew time was coming up, then you would drop cores. Yeah, I would have dropped cores. Better spot. The, that's another thing too, the 40 minute rounds, but game two, the double miracle, double miracle fusion um, is just wild. And then, yeah, double miracle was wild. Uh, okay, so now what do we want to do, guys? I still have this fucking hot ass wig on. I oh. think one of my rounds because I also went to two. Oh, do you like want to? You want to share the replay so we can go over it? Uh. Oh, are you embarrassed by it, King? Um. Uh, well, <laughs> damn. I, I lost to Flame Bell Assault Mode zombies. I want. So. I, we have to see that. Come on. Please that send is it. fire. Please. Yeah, send that it. is you, fucking you just fire. Said crazy. Yeah. Craziness. Please send that. Send that to you me, please. I gotta see that. Get on my uh, yeah, please, everybody. Do you want to see Hydro Palm get fucking clapped by Flanvel Zombie? Let me find it. I think I played. If I went back and watched it. Yeah, and... Snack. I agree that 50 minutes is, I think, like perfect. I think 60 is like 60 is great. 60 might be a little excessive though, because I think you only need like 10 minutes for all the DB nonsense. But in general, DB takes longer for all the nonsense you have to deal with like like lag is just a thing that you don't have to deal with in real life there's no lag in real life okay let's say 55. sure i don't sure 50 you're, i'm not you're not gonna get a complaint out of me 40 minutes is not enough time though it's just not okay hydro sent us a duel all right so let's see what what happens here also, let me read the chat real quick. Uh, the one only Trueborn Killer Enrage, Fairy Tale ending. You did not get backdoor to hold. Disgusting straddles are, I agree. Unfortunately, fellas, I have to get off. Yo, off. Okay. So I think I'm caught up to chat. What's up, Tyree? Yeah, me and Tyree had a crazy match at the 3v3 uh, this past weekend. Your opponent doesn't great. respect you. Let me just start off by saying that. Um, your opponent does not respect you. So, there's that. Your opponent came into this match and said, I have no respect for you. Okay. it's. I was scared they were going to get a second tomato. I'm going to be honest. That would have been pretty good. Yeah, Snack, I agree. It is definitely harder to communicate with someone. Uh, no, to... I think that's pretty much where I screwed up this game. What'd you do? I stacked Ryko. I should have stacked hamster and then so setting hamster would have been a lot better than setting Reiko. Correct. And it would have mattered here because yep, this would have been a hamster. They would have bounced off of it. Yeah. And then I would have had something to tribute for Caius. Yeah. Kill the no, zombie, no. goblin zombie. You're about to get fucking I'm... clapped too. Your opponent's playing this nice and slow with you too. They're like taking it very slow. Well, I didn't know you was playing Assault Mode till Game 3. That's oh, shit. Thing. So you never even found out. No. Oh, my God. I, I think it. Oh, my God. He's styling. Can't they Assault Mode you right here? Like, isn't there some way to go into Assault Mode right now? Um, He just didn't. <laughs> but, yeah, I could have, I guess. I guess if you can just win without doing it, you definitely do. Because you don't know that he's on assault mode. Yeah. So I would, because like, you I thought he was just like on, because I've seen like flame belt zombies before. But. You guys are assholes. Both you and your opponent are assholes. Mind you, I did the same thing on stream earlier. What are we doing? Uh, setting this heavy storm. Oh. After you get pro heavy, you feel like you have to pro heavy your opponent back. Yeah. Of course. Nothing really crazy there. Yeah, nothing crazy. So, oh god, yeah, you're you're just you just win this game. Yeah, they're out of brain control range. You have compulse and MST. Okay, that was quick. I forget what happened. I get like assault mode. I was like not prepared. Oh shit! Oh, not the snipe hunter. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Yo. What, what was your mind? Oh, what was your mind when this? When, assault mode wait, yeah, I, Hydro. I saw, I Yo, saw as assault soon as he like, oh, that, God. it was over. <laughs> so Hydro, what was your exact like mindset when you saw? Like, when did you know you were dead? 
Um, when he flips Iron Wall, <laughs> which happens a little later, I was like, okay, I can maybe do something. He said, "Bitch, you thought." This Dude, is the, this is where the assault beast hat would have struck fear. Yeah, it's yeah, it definitely freaked me out. I was like, what the heck? You are getting fucking styled on, my guy. This is cool. I, I can still technically win, but he has iron wall. Copium. So. And don't rulers out here now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. I I can't burial back necro to do anything and he has Oh my god. You got fucking cooked. <laughs> oh my god. It went from Damn. zero to a hundred real Oh big. my god, you got cooked. <laughs> oh my <laughs> You got fucking cooked. Jesus you got Christ! Cooked. You got cooked! You got so cooked. Yo, your opponent literally styled on you. He didn't respect you from his first play. His first play was set heavy storm pass. He never <laughs> ever respected you. Oh my god. Holy shit. He never respected yeah. you. Yeah. Yo, your opponent never had respect. Yeah, I don't think he won any more matches though, so. Well, yeah, obviously that's how it hey. goes. <laughs> you think either of the people who beat I me? I wish top, he did no? though. I wish he did. I would have loved to see that in top eight. Okay, we got another one. This was this is from Crops. Hold on. So this is a Crops replay now. Crops, crops. is Beast Beats, by the way. Okay. Beast Who's beats. also my what teammate, right? Isn't that yeah. my oh, teammate? No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. He's playing Ojamas. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no. He's playing Ojamas. Oh. Slash. See, me and Frazier already know about Ojamas. Frazier rolled in and he's fiend in an Ojama deck. I will. I'll go all out. <laughs> Bro, what are these card sleeves? All right, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be perfectly honest. When he would have paid 2000 on this. Oh, wait, you can't even do anything. You literally don't even have something to be chain like one. Yo, this is terrible. Oh, I like this, though. Got him. This is Got nasty. Him. I like this. This is a really lot. nasty, actually. This is this is nasty. filthy. Got this him. is this is gross. This is disgusting. This is nasty. Okay. Nice little. He's popping off now. Oh. Well, he's still good at the guys. Damn. So what's going on with all of these cards? Why did he get a plus uh, fucking three? Oja Magic. Oja Magic. Oja Magic, right? yeah. Oja Magic. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it's an if. You can't even miss timing. Yeah, and then you get a summon blue out. Ojamas oh, are so sick. normal. He already normal summoned this turn, so he's well, going to go pass. country. Oh, yeah, country. Okay. Oh, no, Could it, couldn't you guys just see Ojama Green fucking your girl? Look at uh, Look replay, at Ojama Green. Ah, uh, the replay broke. Crops is broke. Oh, dang. You got to refresh and just go past it again. Is that how that works? Yeah, so what you do is that if it breaks here, you want to like just hit next play a few times and then fast forward past that. Okay. So you pretty much want to pretty much want to fast forward. Point. Yeah, get close to it and then just keep spamming. Hit pause and then spam next Stinga play. knows the workarounds. I do. I'm Frazier's tech support. <laughs> he, he actually is, though. Like, for the boomer that I am, Stengo is actually very helpful in all of my tech-related issues. I come to him first. This play was dirty. Yep. Yeah. Disgusting, filthy. He went like... He started he playing cards, and I didn't know how many pluses he was getting, to be honest. It's like, one, like, once, it, once it happened here, I was like, I don't know how many pluses this is. I'm just going to say it's good. You're looking good. You're looking clean. Yeah, Ojama, Ojama Green definitely is cocking me right? out. Ojama Green is fucking your girl, dog. Look at him. Yep. So now you keep hitting next play. You just keep I'm on just going. going. Ham. Keep on going until we see a play. Maybe he didn't do anything. No, they're doing stuff. Are you sure? Just... He's just looking at the grave. Yeah, they they literally just might not be playing any cards. No, they're you playing just, cards. You could just do fast forward. No. <laughs> yeah, it is broken. It, the replay is actually just straight up broken. Yeah. Oh. All right. Normally that fixes that, but his replay—well, it's probably because 
the fear. <laughs> that's back. <laughs> Just in case y'all forgot. What, that's what you look like. Damn. Uh, let's see. Do we have any more good replays? I can try to curate a replay for you if you, you can want. watch my other loss from the Wait, tournament. Hold on. Let me see. Is this the one where? Oh, my God. All right. This is my first ever RBET. This is my first ever RBET, and I should have known. Oh, yeah, you. <laughs> I should don't say anything. I should have known yeah. that every time I play in one of these things, that there was going to be some bullshit. This is my first ever RBET last year. This is how I knew that I was always oh. going to have some bullshit happen in these tournaments. Good old time on hey, the round. Good luck, have fun, bro. I just want y'all to see the fucking madness. That's that's the first. This is. Game one, round one, play one. Charge. Wolf, Necro, off the bat. <laughs> no. I feel like you just go more ham that first turn, but. He doesn't play Garoth. This was like the the mixed deck, right? Uh, yeah. This is a, well. It sides in the yeah, value. Yeah. yeah, Tom on the round got he topped this tournament, didn't he? He, he did. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look at what he's doing. Yeah. This is Rivet Two, I think. Yeah, I think it is. Him and like somebody else from his team, I think, topped. Yeah. They topped Marcus. the same deck. Yeah. Oh no! Not Light Swords again. Being your downfall. This is my first ever time playing an RBT. Oh, I remember this. This is when you were playing fairies. Yeah. Yep. Look at look at my nice normal summon deck. Fairies so good, aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't isn't fairies just like such a good deck? Look at that herald. You know what's funny? It's actually a little. It's actually a little too OP. You know what's funny? I, I just this is from a year ago. I just downgraded her, um, fairies on my tier list. <laughs> I downgraded it to A tier because this shit is it's copium to say that this is an S tier deck. Like you're fucking lying to yourself. You're playing normal summon the deck. A little delusional, maybe. Yes, you can never be dragon turbo. You can never be light sworn unless you resolve Christie and it goes unopposed. This Gardner, this Gardner both games was just so disastrous. I think I'm going to get double JD this game raw. Like he's not going to add any of them to his hand. He's going to raw double JD me. Oh, here it is. I'm going to get rawed. Rawed. Monday night. That, that, that cold wave looking nice. Oh, no. So you think like right here, you know, the worst is already. I've gotten through the worst. <laughs> I've gotten to guys. I've gotten through the worst. <laughs> I've got like, the worst is over. <laughs> wait, wait. This is a perfect time for the that G one. Guys, what, what about the second one? <laughs> guys, the worst is over. The worst what is over. But what about the second one? Amadara. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I haven't seen this in forever. This is me. This is me using Herald of Orange Light. <laughs> this is me using Herald of Orange Light. Wow. He's like, damn, Impressive. that arrow was pretty good. Yeah. These are all your back rows. <laughs> like I sat Those down. are all your back rows, like really <laughs> the sigh of relief. They're like, whew. This is literally. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> that that was all your back rows. All your back rows were looking out. They were like, oh shit. <laughs> That's like the perfect analogy. <laughs> the forest is being devastated. This yep. is times two walking over my fucking corpse. <laughs> no, that's time two walking over your shining angel. Yep, that's your shining angel right there. He's all beat the fuck up. My Look fucking, at your shining angel. My fucking absolute corpse. Look at your shining angel. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, shambles. that was okay. I want to watch Volvi now with everybody. 
I actually haven't seen it, so. Oh, yeah. Stango, you haven't seen it yet either, right? <laughs> I haven't seen what? <laughs> oh, you're just, just uh, watching. <laughs> you're just here. You're just here and you're watching it. Nobody spoil it. He's Stango, it. just just watch. All right. All right. Guys, yeah, it's, give it's, me a nice turn up on this. this, this, game this? Is, I can't wait for this game. All right, this is unhinged. For generations of gamers, this is where it all began. The cultural icon of the gaming industry. More influential than any pop star or politician. The most famous video game mascot of all time. This is my favorite video. Devolver Digital's very own Volvi. You know him as the star of all your favorite Devolver games. But where did Volvi come from? Many years ago, Devolver Digital hired little-known designer Ronathan Trotfield and tasked him with creating a character that could rival the big names of the day. You have to remember, we were trying to compete with the heavy hitters. Bonk, Gex, Awesome Possum, Arrow the Acro, Bad. And this was no small task. Uh, yeah, we spent a few years... <laughs> this guy's name is fucking Ronathan. If <laughs> Ronathan... To be honest, real I don't hair? really remember drawing it. Look at him. I remember Ronathan showing us that final design. It was a beautiful moment. That face, <laughs> those smart brown shoes, and of course, the master stroke. His one big hand. For gaming? I'd just never seen a character <laughs> with a hand that big. We knew straight away we had something special. Volvi was introduced to the world <laughs> in his first no one's solo fucking game, name is actually Field Run, <laughs> which went on to become a cult hit. We were seeing the sales numbers going up and up. We couldn't believe it. The demand for the character was insane. I think it's supposed to be a rat. And so Volvi went on to star in a string of hit Devolver titles. Hotline Miami. Volvi. Cult of the Lamb. Ah. Grease from Nomada. <laughs> Ape Out. My friend Pedro, Piku Niku, enter the gungeon. The list goes on and on. <laughs> Volvi's popularity had skyrocketed. He was an icon, not just for video games, <laughs> but in pop culture in general. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't remember Volvi from the 90s? Y'all don't remember this? It was like Sonic, Mario, and Volvi. I'm talking clothing, yeah. toys, and That's even a range cool. of what we called legally edible snack foods. Yay! <laughs> Volvi's mystery <laughs> bites! Can you solve the riddle? Join Volvi and try to figure out what's in your mouth! <laughs> what's in your mouth? <laughs> try to figure out what's in your mouth Tastes is insane. And trends are it's a confusing taste! And as the years went by, I kids that began to thing. want different things the from their video game mascots. That's wrong with them in that video. We saw the way the market was changing, and we made the difficult decision to part ways with Ronathan. We had no choice. We needed to keep Volvi relevant. It's Volvi 2.0 in the new game for Devolver Digital. <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all remember this? We lost the big cheeky smile. I don't need your permission to eat a meat. <laughs> Even the big hand. For gaming, yeah, you collect the cigarettes. In favor of something with more attitude. A bong. A bong. Guess what? I have an earache, and I don't care. It's gratitude. <laughs> Looking back on it, I have an earache. Maybe, and I don't care. Volvi 2.0 performed poorly, and the character began a slow but steady decline. So, we made the decision to quietly discontinue the Volvi franchise. It felt like I was losing a family member. Well, a, a, a distant <laughs> no, family mystery. member. Tari, do you not remember Volvi in the 90s? still quite horrible. And, um... Uh, nobody has seen him since. Volvi was huge in the 90s. I miss this Until now! Good evening! Good evening! And thank you all for coming! To a very, very special night. I'm your host, Chris J. Are you guys Volvanites as well? Heard it right. Oh, of course. I was, I dude, I was a Volvanite. So proud I had the to toys. present the launch event for the reboot, rebirth, he has a big hand for gaming. and return of the world's greatest video game mascot, Volvi! 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, settle down, please, because it gets even better. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Baldi's original creator, Ronathan Trophy! I Come on, hate Ron. this fucking name yes. <laughs> so wow. bad. Wow. Wow. Oh my Bringing goodness, him back, Ron, that was definitely a, a big win for all of all, all dumb. Yeah. Me, bro. I mean, look yeah. at him. It's right just Cheyenne in 10 years. Momentous day. Yeah, it's literally Cheyenne. I've been thinking about it the whole time. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. That, that is amazing. And I, for one, cannot wait to see what you and the team at Devolver have come up with. So, uh, what do you say? You want to see him? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, may I present to you the new and improved Volve E! <laughs> Volve E. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god, he is back! Incredible! But how does he work? I'm glad you asked, Chris. Well, we've <laughs> taken the heart and soul of what made Ronathan's character so lovable. I'm but glad you asked, Chris. a really important new update. With the latest advances in both biotech and machine learning, Volve E fuses the DNA of She's a got your haircut, Volve Fraser. with today's most powerful <laughs> she does AI technology. <laughs> she literally has That's my hair. Yeah. In short, Volve E can instantly generate brand new, fully playable games based on simple prompts by the player. Simple prompts, you say? That's right. The consumer no longer has to wait for a bunch of slow programmers <laughs> and stinky developers to be inspired. <laughs> no. <laughs> they can use Volve to play what they want, when they want. Here, uh, let me show you. Hey there, Volve E. Volve. <laughs> oh, wow. That's kind of awful. <laughs> Volve can How talk. How about one that, oh, I don't know, is a cooperative survival sandbox, but with wizards. It's our VR experience. I love Those the way this looks, this art. Listen, and I'll tell you a tale. There they stood. Six alone, the hunter, the nigger, and the wild Did he say the nigger? Whoa! <laughs> Did he just say? Oh, no. I heard. Remember. Is that what he said? Remember. Yeah. That was what he said. Horror inside. Riders drew iron. I know. I think I heard. I, heard, I think I know what I heard. Before it was done, our heroes, yes, everyone, they fell and died. Hey, what game is this? I want to play this. Oh, the wizard with a gun. Yeah, it's the, it's the actual game. Magical Musketeers. See your quest. Whoever made this must have been on that good stuff. They were definitely high out of their goddamn minds. This isn't even the most unhinged part of this video, by the way. 
Like, not even close. <laughs> The phrase was sitting like, oh, this game looks interesting. <laughs> I was actually. I, was, I literally was saying to myself, this actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think this game looks cool. Like, me and yeah. Kenny could totally co op play this. Yeah, it pretty much looks like don't starve with guns. I love games with graphics like comes. this. Like where it's not too like crazy. Soundtrack is killer. Incredible. Yeah, so this so was during minute. Summer Game Fest. This is the Volver Digital's. Uh, was this is them showing off their, their games that no they created with Volve. No one spend any time or effort making it. Correct. There was no real creative process at all. Just Volve E and his wonderful machine learning. Volve. That's supposed to happen. Huh. Oh no! Well, that's a good question, <laughs> actually. That, uh, well, each prompt and game idea has to be digested by Volve E's powerful system, and so inevitably there are some waste byproducts. How about she claps for it? <laughs> uh, so back to the games, um, do you mean to say that anyone can give Volvi a prompt? Even, I don't know, me? Ha. 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 Sure, Chris, <laughs> see for yourself. Oh, sure, okay, Chris. I'm nervous now. <laughs> Hi, Volvi. <laughs> Chris Jane. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of the Talos principle, so I'd like to see something like that, but with new puzzles, a grander story, and big, beautiful worlds to roam around. Oh, and I'd like to see that gameplay right about now. Why does this look like a Disney movie? It kind of has that vibe. <laughs> Which one is this? I can't help but notice that many of these structures are not strictly functional. There's a sense of aesthetics, of beauty here. This place might be meant to test us, but perhaps there's more to it than that. <laughs> what are we being tested sure this for? Scared the fuck out of me when I was a kid. Our worth? Curiosity? Assistance? I keep thinking. Why puzzles? Is it just their symbolic value? Because the thing about puzzles is that they can be solved. <laughs> she just didn't say it. <laughs> He just didn't say anything. Yeah. The thing about oh, puzzles yeah. is that they can be solved. Wow. Now that looks wow. like the kind of game anything. I could really spend my disposable so income on. Thanks, Balby. Yes. And what happened to his big pen? <laughs> <laughs> and the best part is that to create a game with Valve E, you don't need any game experience or uh, any of that tech stuff. <laughs> Who here hasn't dreamt of creating their own game? I have. Right? I have. Yeah. Who there? Yes. She looks unhinged. And I know that's rich coming from me right now. Come on. All right. Okay. All right. Well, ow. And okay. Uh, okay. Be careful. Be careful. No, please, please be careful. Oh, sorry, it's just, I'm such a big fan. I've been playing with Volve ever since I was a kid. All right. So, do you have a game <laughs> idea you'd like Volve E to generate? Oh, uh, okay. Um, how about a super weird walking simulator where you control the character's legs independently from his body? Maybe there's some guys in horses' heads and possibly there's even a mountain? Right. Uh, um... But let's see, Valvi, what could you rustle us I'm up? I'm sorry. I'm like we need a different accent. Get I'm, someone else. I'm crying already. It's too much. I'm sorry. Nate! I'm sorry, Speed. Nate! 
Nate! Nate, buddy, family meeting, let's go. Oh, it's about to get wild. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. You just want to throw him out of the no, I know he's 35. I want him to have He's 35. He's in the basement. He is 35. I want you to come up here and we're having a family meeting. This shit kills me. Eight now. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? This is such a stango game. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sick beat going on. Oh, he's got balance now. It's like the Witcher. Oh, can you not? I, uh, <laughs> It's just I didn't. Yeah, let's go back in time to when you didn't. No, I, I was just trying to catch it with my uh, sorry. With your was foot, using my, yeah, you tried to catch it. I saw it was starting to go, and I just tried <laughs> you to. You just kicked. You thought I'll give it a good kick no, to counteract the fall. Yeah, I was just trying to steady it. I might have over. Yeah, you might. You might I, have. I, yeah, I over. You might have. You might have over yeah, it. No, it's just a little over steadied. Well, it's not steady now. No. I, well. See you later. Uh, uh, Wanker. Yeah. <laughs> that reason I'm trying to understand what I'm watching. <laughs> Tari, how do you not remember Volvi? Property and you still have to buy it. Okay, give her a big hand. I need all the people who don't respect Volvi to Brilliant. leave the stream now because you don't deserve So what happens if we bring a pro into this? Let's give <laughs> Valvi something really special here. What's up, guys? Hey, hey, hey. hey how we doing? Guys, <laughs> I'm watching live. And can I just say, what you were doing out there, incredible. I could not be more excited to be part of whatever this is. And thank you. We're all massive fans of your influencing. What sort of prompt would you like to give <laughs> Valve E here? Okay, try this, Volvi. A much-anticipated sequel to a hilarious online co-op game. Just more gameplay, more levels, just better all around. Okay, Valvi. Okay. Show okay. what you got. <laughs> Human Fall Flat 2 That's right The first game's amazing Yeah, this is a fun game I'm actually really excited for that Human Fall Flat sounds like he's in pain. I know I'd love to get my hands on a copy of that Who wouldn't, right? <laughs> yeah, come on Well, ladies and gentlemen now that you have all met the new and improved Volve E, it's time for him to meet with you as we connect him to Devolver's global network of gamers. Yeah, that's right, come on! Once connected, his powerful technology will be an open source tool free for us all to use. Wow, that is generous. Here we go! <laughs> this is fine. Slight technical hit. Alright. <laughs> 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 
This is like a Black Mirror episode. What the fuck? What the hell? He has a giant hand for gaming. Oh, Valvios? You guys remember Valvios? <laughs> Yeah, stop it, Romford. Ronathan. Ronathan. Oh, my bad. <laughs> we'll only listen to you, Ronathan. This part. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this was too much. Get those shirts. Yeah, there is a website uh, yeah. where you can buy a Volvi merch, which I actually do want one. I'm not even kidding. I said it after I first saw this. I was like, I genuinely want a Volvi shirt. I 100% want a Volvi shirt. Okay, so now what do you guys want to do? We should sell Volvi merch. Well, we we could sell I am nerd merch, but I don't think we're allowed to license and sell uh Volvi I am nerd. Volvi. No, I don't want to put Volvi on it and get yeah. No, I don't want any issues. I don't want any smoke. I don't want no smoke. any. I don't want any smoke. I mean, Balvi might come and get you. He might. Oh, I don't know what that is. Let's see. All right, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna run a duel. Oh. You're gonna have to put Edison in front of. You know. Listen, there was a time where I thought that I would play <laughs> more than one quarter. Okay. There was a time where I genuinely thought I would play more than one. And I I didn't even remotely spell that correctly. Ooh, Eddie's. Eddie's. I saw Hydro Wings. You know something else I, f I forgot to tell Cameron? What's that? When we were talking to him, he needs to, I, I need to put the good word in. He needs to talk to the guy that made this website, and we got to get rid of rock, paper, scissors. Just flip a coin and move yes. on with your life. We need to get a hold of Steve. Just like flip a coin. Like what, what? What is? What's going on? Is it bad that I literally don't know who who's like the grand poobah of dueling book? No. No. All right, we did the first step. Maybe the blonde Fraser on her shirt. I'd rock it. Would you really? Because I can definitely make that happen, Steve. It'll look like those expensive uh, outfits that you buy. It will. Um. Should I go for a stingo or should I just like wait a turn? We try, we wait one turn. We wait one turn. Okay. A singular turn. Oh, we got FTK right me here. As it, I'm like the second in command of the of the Grand Wizard. I mean, you you helped to put this all together, you know. I hope he just 
FTKs you right here. We, all damage. We were on the ground. We were you were on the ground floor when it all went down. He's got limiter removal. He's got limiter. That's right. Honestly, double, I would be here for it. Double fortress limiter removal. I would be here for it. I wish it was a thing where like you know like Twitch plays Pokemon, like YouTube builds a deck, and then we just like go play with it. I think people done something similar to that. Oops, what did I just do? Oh, okay. I changed my DPI. I already, uh, I already uh, suggested to Fraser that we, uh, we run, a, we uh, run a cube draft. Him, him and I. He was, uh, he wasn't about it. Cube drafts, they, they annoy me. They take so long. Yeah. Like they take. So I think I played in. I long. played in one cube before. Oh my god! And, like everyone quit after like one round. So, wow. All right, I might slightly. Okay. Oh. All right. Well. Okay. Okay. That's All right. Four. All right. Now it is the time. He's here to duel. Wait, Don't you, you want to try to? No, you want. You want to try to heavy storm? We're not going for it. What? What do you? Oh, you want me to? What do you want me to do? I. I. I mean. Why are you trading in? Let me hear why. Let me hear what that's for. I was first. trying to draw like giant Trinity or something. Okay. I mean, we we kind of win if we. Do you though? Yeah. If, if a heavy storm goes down. Okay. A double, double dark magician. He's trying to figure out what the fuck, what the fuck that monster is. <laughs> he's looking at me. He's like, he's, I'm he's reading its effect. <laughs> Oh, I oh mean, Lord. he's got Starlight Road. Let's not, let's not pretend. Three Yadas. Three Yadas, right? Maybe he, maybe he plays Solemn. That would be like, that would oh, be the old, right. that would be the old right, right. if it was three Yadas. All right. All right. All right. Halfway there. All right. Listen, all we need him is to just not bottomless us. That's all we really need. Every right. game of Edison comes down to this. Yep. No bottomless. And we get another shot. Okay. He said nope. He said nope. That's all right. That's fine. <laughs> we got another one in the bank. Psalm's already gone. This is great. Rip Giant Trunay for game. Nope. He ain't got it. Please don't send another one. He ain't got it. Fuck. Fuck. It's funny, you can almost just burn him for game. I know. Yeah, exactly. we almost <laughs> can just straight up burn him. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So what you're saying is you don't have bottomless. He ain't got it. <laughs> oh, does Prisma have to stay on the field for for it to foolish? Yeah. Oh, well, now we know. Now we know. He's reading. He said, what the fuck? Oh, damn it. Well, oh, he's dude, actually, he's 200 off. I know. Oh, he's actually man. burning himself so bad that we almost, we almost won this game. All right. That one hilarious. Oh, is that? He's hosting best of one. Yeah. I mean, that's what I wanted to do anyway, obviously. What the hell? Hot, hot ramen. No. You're like the new capital G, bro. Yeah. People What's that just mean? lining out to play. Oh, is that what they do? I don't know anything about that. I remember they would just, I would just go on dueling book or dueling network and people like, everyone unrated be like, capital G, play me. What game what is capital, is what capital game, G? I was about to say, what does capital G play? Is he a content creator? Yeah. I think he still does though. Hmm. I just remember back in the day. Let me look up the rules for Prisma. Mega Mega Capital G. I see. I see.
So when you take in this deck to, uh, is this what you're playing on Nats? Or? Yeah, high chance. Oh, I didn't say <laughs> anything back. Let me say you too. Okay. Uh, I'm going right. to play this at Nats. So what does our hand need? Hmm. Well, let's start off with a good trade in. See what we need. Not that. Nice. None of that. Nope. Double blue eyes. Right. Um. Yeah. Let me just still dig a little deeper. of orange light Harold the wrong one bro right capital G recently made day two at a YCS with pure stun in modern what like fossil dinah and barrier statue what a legend Oh, uh, <clears throat> what's up? Connie, Connie just notified me that, uh, just in case you didn't realize that you're at 11 hours. Yeah, I'm at 11 18. All right, so after this, after this game, I'm gonna end the stream and then restart it. So, because YouTube doesn't allow you to do more than 12 hour long streams, well, it'll, it'll let you do it, but it won't save it. We're gonna end the stream in like five minutes or something and then just restart it back up to do the remaining nine hours. So just be on the lookout. Didn't you okay. start at nine though? Mm, yeah, yes. but he had to he had to end the stream in the middle of the podcast oh, uh, okay. for a second because of technical difficulties. Ooh, I see. Okay. So let me see. So, okay. That would just be brutal if you didn't know that. Like your whole blog is deleted. We didn't know that until yeah. somebody Casey happened Barbie. to mention it. Okay. Casey Barbie mentioned it to me. I didn't know that was a thing. Me either. Fucking wild. Why can't people just have the prison set? Nah, bro. It's always bottomless. Yo, look at how pathetic fairies are, though. Like, let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> like, now I will you playing never... the Green Wizard as an opportunity to shit talk on fairies now. <laughs> No, because, like, look at how bad, like, bro, it's been, like, four turns. I got to resolve Gold Sark and everything. You can put Grand Wizard in defense. And... Yeah, that Insect Power Ranger is a fire card. I don't Ooh. know who he is. Time to go again. But he's fire. Yeah. He's, like, a 2,000 vanilla, but he'd be cool. Damn. Dang. Look at me dying next turn. To... <laughs> what, who am I kidding? We're dying to what? Tell us what we're dying. Yeah, about. it's fucking fairies. Normal summon another shining angel. Ooh, oh, how scary! Worthy. You're gonna die next turn if you don't do anything. Oh, he's making it so we can only play one tremendous fire. That's true. Combo. That is a combo. Oh, oh baby. Oh, baby. I mean, he can't. He can't stop us again, can he? Uh, let's see. The problem is, I don't think you have game. No, if you... I have four thousand, five thousand here. I need to draw something really, really good at the top. 
or he needs to play solo. He won't do it. Oh my God, please sell him. He and won't have nothing do else. It. I told yes. you. I told yes. you. He well, needs damn, to Kenny, your fucking reads are on. <laughs> They're on. <laughs> now, if he has Dude. the bottomless again, this guy's a. Why are you doing all the leg work? He's a twerp. I don't know. I'm thinking about something now. So I only need to play these two spells to win. Which means that I could technically Dark World Dealings first to try to draw into uh, another back heavy. removal. Yeah, like Heavy Storm. Sure. Because if I draw Heavy, it's just summon, summon, activate, activate game, right? Yeah, that's true. So like technically I should probably um, do this. Yeah. You do let them draw on the Herald though, but we'll see. If they have it, they have it. Oh, nice. I just drew a hero. <laughs> I think that this is dead. Yeah, it's dead. So, it is dead. So, so that's how we lost the last time. It is. It is, King. Please don't be mad at me. Oh, I'm mad. I'm big mad. Oh. All right, we're dead. You ever meet somebody that's no fun? Yeah. Too many stops. Too many stops. He can't stop us every time, though. I remember, he did well with Bujins back in the day. Then I split my vodka. Goddamn, I'll spilt my Ooh. vodka. <laughs> this whole thing is a fever dream. There's probably Volvi and me with this fucking wig on. Let me fix my wig. This, this is a Volvi deck. Let me fix my wait. Where's Armin? I just realized. Hold on. Let me fix my shit, even though we're almost getting out of here. Oops. Oh, um. So So where's this going your tier list this day? You said what? Where's this going your tier list? No, this is that's tier for sure. It's the only deck that kills oh. your opponent without them taking a turn besides obviously Exodia. Which I can pull that out too. pretty good so it's otherwise known as dark magician format yes uh... mm. this two zones thing is so triggering you can turn it off I oh, just you... did, yeah, but I wish that people would. Yeah, yeah. Didn't have to. I heard that it's kind of like broke or something. I'm not really sure. Broke? Yeah, like when you try to host in Classic, apparently it just doesn't work. Mm. I think it works. Mm. Stagio, can you do me a favor? Can you just test that? Check it real quick? There's a, there's a reason why I want you to check it. Okay. Let's take a peek. <laughs> I'm going to host in classic. All right. We're hosting classic. It's Waiting for a curious. duelist to join. And then I'm going to leave immediately as soon as I see the field. Okay. You saying good luck? I'm not going to say anything. I see a classic field in front of me. So, so, so classic works. Classic works. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who's spreading this this narrative. Of, uh, you know how you know how you can you can ask Gary if the trash came and he'll tell you yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were in here earlier and Gary was like, "Oh yeah, classic's not working. It's 
He said that? Yes, Frazier was like, how come nobody's hosting in Classic? And Gary immediately was like, oh, Classic's not working. What? <laughs> Why did he just make something up? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> he just said it. That's a fucking good question, Stango. <laughs> Why like, did Gary just make, make something he up? He was like, he's a gay, it doesn't work. What? Excuse me? <laughs> Sounds like your guys, Gary friends, like, just trying to, he's out for you guys, just trying to make your lives harder. <laughs> Messed up the uh, true hero with his, uh, his match. Yeah. What about, uh, Taro? He told him he was play his opponent was playing black wings or something in top eight, and it was frogs, so he right? normal. Wait, no, he told him it was baby turbo, and his opponent set one monster for turn one, and then um, I attacked into it, thinking it would he be summoned a Veyu and attacked into it. And it was a frog. <laughs> it was a dude. Oh, no, he thought it was a Veyu or something. Damn, that's crazy. My opponent brain controlled my eradicator dude and just did not attack with him earlier in the game. You just needed to banish him. You needed him out of there. Yep. Dimini's countless back row. Stop having so many damn back row. Let me kill you, goddammit. bullets all right i'm gonna do one exodia we're at 11 27 where's exodia uh do i have the exodia deck saved on here i don't know but you're caught in it close you're like fuck it i think i can get an exodia in before time i don't know if i have the exodia can how you much time you got like 30 minutes oh Stango, can you send me Exodia? I actually don't have it. How do you not have I, it? I delete bullshit decks. I got Ojama Exodia. Like zombies. No, no, no. It has to be our Dragon Exodia deck. Do we really not have it on here? Oh, wait. You know what? Hold on. Let me... Let me check something real quick. We're gonna move I'll, on. I love seeing the growth with Stango, though. I delete bullshit decks. When he first got into Yu-Gi-Oh, he was only bullshit decks. Like, he yes. played fucking... <laughs> Reasoning Turbo and Goat format. Oh well, that deck's not bullshit. It is bullshit, but not the not the kind of bullshit. It actually just won a tournament recently. Zilly Dragon Turbo that is for for goats. Oh uh, well, that deck's way way better than Dragon Turbo. That oh, shit plays man. fucking Demok. Demok do be cool. Demok be fucking broken as shit is what Demok do. I actually have some wild ass replays yes. of uh, FTKs. Alright, let's see if we can get some poor unfortunate soul. Thomas Darn. Alright, we did the hardest part. I'm as darn. Fairies are an awful matchup, yes. Alright, we're gonna end. Fuck. Dang. Where, where was this at turn one? Alright, anyway. The, the, the jig's up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start the mail yet. <laughs> Did a shuffle one time. Yeah. Yeah, just shuffle one time. Get that shit back to the top. That's actually cool. <laughs> now I'll see if you draw it again. That's the plan. Yeah, I'm having terrible luck. Everybody's just drawing perfect. 
Is this fairies again? This is a DD Warrior League deck. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Google <laughs> Book glitch. Did you see that? You see how that worked? Wait, did it really come back? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Proven. Well, Proven. At least, at least it wasn't a 1 0. Ain't no, Ain't no way. way. All right. He yeah, must not know three about these bad the boys reason why I don't trust Dueling Book for anything competitive, by the way. And for people we who don't know, it. this is an actual thing with Dueling Book where you can literally just draw the same card that got... That um, happens in person, too. No, it does not. The in-person glitch? You, you can... <laughs> the in-person glitch means you got cheated, King. <laughs> 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 I don't have to tell you. Now we're calling it the in-person glitch. Now we're calling it cheating. Wow. I think I saw your hand glitch through my deck there. Can this thing, how many can this hold? Max three. So Max you have of to, three. Yeah, you have to do it. Okay. Yep. Uh, all right. This well, my, let's just keep trucking on. It's my spell well, counter deck. He obviously doesn't have the Herald. Yeah. But you're still going to put counters it's, on it anyway. He's just That's playing fine. Warriors. So this Warrior deck. The Warriors. This is dangerous Warrior. to play this card, but I have to. You really have to, actually. Yeah. Uh, He's got the attack DD Crow. Alright, another counter. Uh, I could activate Super Juve just to activate it. And then go yeah. draw. Mallet. Yeah, yeah, that sounds fine. And then Mallet after. It's not like you're melting for less since you're getting a draw anyway. While wow, he drew the fucking Herald. Wow. <laughs> Bro, tonight is not real. What do you say? Yeah. Hold on, let me copy his thing. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That's insane. That is insane. Why did I run into two fairies in a row? He's gonna, he has oh. the soul and purity of light too. Um, okay, so uh kinda wanna just pass. Do you draw anything well, off of you? No, I haven't. No. Well, I guess I should I should do this then. Yeah. Hope to God. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, all right. Wow. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. GG. Are you gonna save your VOD or are you gonna run it again? No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, end the stream and then restart it. I just want to see if that actual, if that herald came off the top, because that's wild. Okay. Yep. What's up, Billy? Why do you feel muted and hated? Bad Yo, for the jokes earlier. my opponent really. That is insane. You got Ooh. the better player one. That's right. Yo. Dueling book is. I don't think you ignored. You said what? I don't know. All right, guys, give me a second. I'm going to stop the stream and start it back up. So. You're going to have to, I guess, refresh the page or something. I don't know how it works, but I'm going to stop it real quick. <laughs>